tires and tools. This is a tidy workstation for all of your tools for jewelry making. It is brilliant. It's going to make it quicker for you to make jewelry as well. Now our deal of the day is another of Alison and I's favourite. It is the endless loom that we have. If you love making stretchy bracelets and you want to take it to the next stage, this is the tool for you. Alison and I will rave about it. It is brilliant. That's our deal of the day at 11 a.m. So it's going to be an exceptional weekend. Please do join me on Saturday and Sunday morning. Buying with Jewelry Maker online couldn't be easier. Just head over to our website, jewelrymaker.com, and click on the register link. Simply fill in the required fields and you can shop 24 7. You'll also be privy to a faster checkout and personalised offers. Jewelry Maker, your one stop shop for all your jewelry making needs. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. Here at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easier to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. Did you know that when you book a Jewelry Maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our Jewelry Maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to book towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. You're watching Jewelry Maker, I'm Jenny Cleary and we are joined this afternoon by the one, the only, Gemma Crow, everybody. Round of applause, me and Adam. 
I'll clap you, you clap me. I am so okay. excited about this show. So we've been, well, you've been planning this for a very long time. Yeah. And uh, uh, the project that you've done here, Gemma, is just outstanding. Of course, it's got a Valentine's theme, but the hearts are for every single day, I yeah, think. Yeah, I just put those in, but they make a nice pattern anyway, don't 100%, they? hundred percent. This is such a gorgeous yeah. design. Yeah. Actually, Carol had it up the other way earlier and said, wouldn't it make a beautiful hairpiece for somebody on their wedding day? Yeah. Uh, kind of that sort of period drama, period costume kind of feel yeah, from this it as well. It's great up the other way. And I've had loads of suggestions about using it as a belt and all sorts. So beautiful. Yeah, I think you can sort of take the design and run with it. You can. Yeah. And of course, don't forget uh, our Valentine's offers. Check out Facebook to have a look at those. And don't forget that if you are wanting to stick with Gemma throughout this entire project show, you know we're going to repeat this on YouTube. It goes straight on YouTube. Or you can always hit record. But don't panic about anything. Enjoy the show for now. It'll be on YouTube later on. Now we have got for you a five o'clock mega deal not to miss out on. This is three thick, gorgeous chains no, in sterling great. silver. We're very excited. We've got some Steve special deals coming up for you. We've, of course, got the elements that make up Gemma's kit. So I'm just going to give you a little bit. And I know that you need to use these, Gem, as well, yeah, don't do. you? Yep. We've got some hematite. Some of these out the way. Three strands going under ten pounds. No, absolute bargain. Well, I'll have some of that. Thank you very much. Yeah, yep. and they're such versatile gems as well. So we were not going to use all three in this design, but these will go with everything because they're that neutral. And they're and that great to have in your stash, aren't yeah, they? Yeah. yeah and and you know great. what? You've put it together with copper, and it just looks incredible. Mm -hmm. I never would have thought that. Yeah. No, the the bundle put together by Becky, I gotta say, is absolutely exquisite. So yeah. Well, big, we do love her. Soft to bet. Well, she's many, ta many unrecognised talents, actually, which we won't go fully into. Now, look at this Chrysocola, and it did make a huge, dramatic um, emphasis yeah. on your pieces. Yeah, this is, the, this is the focal for my design. This was, you know, I got this and was like, yes, that's stunning. I love Chrysocola anyway, but what a beautiful strand. Chrysocola girls just want to have fun. Don't they? Of course. Look yeah. at that. It's <laughs> luscious. Happy Valentine's Day, by the way, to each yes. and every one of you jewellery makers. Um, we hope you have... It's about love of everybody. You might have a cat that you love. I, I love everybody. I treat you lovely every day, don't I? Don't I? Yeah. You, Paul, you said, where's my flowers? Mm. Now, look at this strand of Russian dioxide. These are little, tiny, yeah. mini, faceted, gorgeous gemstones. Yeah. They're fabulous. They're beautiful. And they make so much impact, don't they? Just they using, really do. You know, just one, they just add that little bit of um, that sort of definition, I think. Mm -hmm. they're, they're coming up they're at two really o'clock. They're really gorgeous. They are. And again, they're, uh, they're featured in, in both the pieces that you yeah. can see. I'll, I'll bring the, there you go. You can see that uh, there's lots of doop, doop, doop. And they're just a wonderful little flicker, aren't they? Yeah. They work so well. Yeah. Going under £20, then we've got some copper wire for you, some antique bronze wire for you. We've got it all going yeah. on. Yeah. We have got it all going on. So we want to get to the first demonstration by about half past, yes. don't we? Yeah, I'm ready. So I'll tell you what, um, we're going to start with... Are we going to start with the wire, are we? I've got the wire here. I need to pass it to you, apparently. We're okay. going to do this at half past, the All wire, right. the copper wire. Uh, but we are actually going to start with something that is miles away from me. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just going to wait for Adam to deliver it. So sorry. Sorry, Adam. Thank you, Adam. Here we are. Don't forget, hi, uh, don't forget you can uh, email us in if you've got any questions for Gemma whatsoever, mm -hmm. then do, uh, not That's email us, way. text us in. 60777 is the number to text. Start your message with the word JM Studio. Well, oh dear me, I've got the wrong thing. In four, there's some lovely rose quartz. Is it Mystic oh, Coated? Yes, no, I've got the wrong... Oh, Do you know what? I know what we've got. We've got the wrong products because I saw Carol do that earlier. Isn't it lovely? Oh, that's lush. Lovely, isn't it? Uh, we better put it... Oh, I'll tell you what. Back. Is it rose quartz slabs, these big pendulums? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, look, look, it's over there. there. We haven't, we've oh. got all of the last. Oh, it runs smoothly. Mm. It's Valentine's Day. Um, I'm not going to name any names, but they're blinded by love today. I think that's what it is. That's what it is. Cupid has shot them in the eyes. Now, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what that was supposed to mean. Now, let's <laughs> kick off the show with these coins. I love these. So these are like a, a larger version of the pips. Yes. Um, and I just love them. I love this facet. I love this shape. They're yeah. lovely, aren't they? They are, yeah. This, yeah. this is a very love strand, isn't it? Definitely. I think Cupid just shot me in the eyes as well with that one. <laughs> <laughs> They're gorgeous. Aren't they gorgeous? Yeah, they are. Really beautiful. 
that Cupid is a rascal. <laughs> the colour is very soft and subtle. I'm thinking bridesmaids. I'm thinking summer pieces. I think these would be so pretty in bracelets. I think these would be so pretty in anklets. Earrings dropping from a rosary link, which would work really well in a necklace as well. There's just so many opportunities. I love rose quartz with sterling silver, but I know, Gemma, that you like to throw lots of different coloured wires at this as well. And it just works because you've got that lovely rosy tone. People know rose quartz. It's yeah. a it's a gemstone that people are very very aware of even if they're not massively into gemstones yeah. we grow up with this gemstone don't we yeah I think I think it is it's one of those universal ones everybody knows you know and yeah and it is gorgeous and like you said it can be mixed with all the metals it looks really romantic with rose gold it looks really fresh with silver um, it looks quite um, I'd say vintage if you put it with gold mm -hmm. or with your antique mm -hmm. bronze or your coppers. It, it just is really, really quite versatile. I think it could look quite Grecian or quite apple blossom if you put it with something like an, um, an Amazonite. Yeah. I yeah. like um, putting greens with this gemstone too. So yeah. you could go m uh, more of a striking green, you could go yeah. more of a, a peridot mm -hmm. and get that sort of spring summer vibe from this one. And I think there's a, I think this is a very happy gemstone to work with. Mm -hmm. If you feel like I do when you work with things. I, I like the whole spiritual connection with gemstones, which if you like, you need to tune in on Sunday night. Just saying. Oh. Because I've... Uh because we've got a, like a bit of a spiritual show going on. Have you? Yeah, I'm very excited. Oh, I'll, be, I'll be tuning in for that. I got the text while I was up a mountain the other day. Uh, the OKY65 is your item code for this beautiful strand. 45 carats of rose quartz. So the gemstone of friendship, platonic love, yeah. Yeah. lots of spiritual connection if you believe in that kind of thing. Six mil rounds, we've both been bouncing around ideas about this strand. 38 centimetres uh, that houses 40 five carats for under ten pounds is a sensational deal and you can pay in three ways you can get uh, on the phone and you can call us with a visa card or you can uh, you can put this on a credit card or paypal uh, but there are also three ways to shop on the phone so 800 644 jewelrymaker.com if you're doing it in a webby way or you can download the app which is great because you can take us with it with you wherever you go mm. that's good it is lovely isn't it yeah. It is. Especially if you're going somewhere you don't really want to be. Yeah, or if you're stuck in traffic. Or, exactly. Yeah. In a safe way. Not yeah, in traffic. Like, like, probably no, like as a passenger. Stopped. As a passenger. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, sorry, I can't see that. I'm gonna, is it from Aisha? Yeah. I'm bringing this over. Come on, Doris. Here we go. Um, that's what I'm just calling the pad eye Doris. I'll put it there. My eyes are terrible, everybody. Uh, I've been looking forward to Gemma's show today. I love hey. this style of jewellery. Thank you, Aisha. Um, gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful. Ah, oh, good. Christopher says, stunning. Thanks. Christopher. You're not wrong, Christopher. At £9.95 for this one, VQKY65. You've got a 30 day money back guarantee on everything you shop for here at Jewelry Maker. If you shopped with gorgeous Carol and Claire earlier, then it's 3 95 1 PMP all day long. Where else does that? It's mad that. Yeah. It's brilliant. It is. It is brilliant. I know. I've made it. I've done it loads of times where I've bought something and thought, yeah, I'm going to go back and buy yeah, just the other be thing. Yeah. Because you don't pay any extra then, postage. Yeah. And we're it's so clever that well, you don't have to put it all in one basket and check it out. Can we literally wait until mid after midnight mm -hmm. till we run off every order that comes under that one address. Yeah. Just imagine what we're doing for the carbon footprint there. I love it. Yeah. Instead of sending out three or four separate packages, yeah, no, which is absolutely. what would happen if you were shopping anywhere else, I think. Yeah. I mean, I'm not in the packaging industry. Uh, Nine pounds and ninety-five pence. <laughs> <laughs> It is true. It's a true fact. It's a true fact. I've never worked in logistics or packaging. Now. <laughs> and you'll be glad for it. If you think it's bad when you see the videos, the things being slung over your, slung over your uh, fence. Now, these are great, big, gorgeous. Would you call them? They're pen pen like pendants, aren't they? Would yeah, you call them? Definitely, definitely can be pendants. You know, they're certainly the right size um, for pendants, aren't they? Definitely. They're large pendants, even. But, you know, they're also gorgeous for just using as beads. I absolutely love them. Mm. Yeah, they're gorgeous. I think that great big surface area wants to be, well, either hung, if you're into the whole healing thing, great yeah. for that. But 
I think it would be wonderful for wire wrapping. You've got these lovely strong edges, mm -hmm. uh, so you can encapsulate something really nice. So you could do some soutache with this as well, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, they're, they're, they're versatile, aren't they, this size? Because you, the scale it can be used with sort of your chunkier jewellery, so your textiles and um, things like that, or you can use your seed beads to go round them. Yeah, again, really versatile. And, and just lovely. The clarity is excellent. And, and what I like about these kinds of gemstones is the organic properties that you can mm. you can certainly see from the off yeah. you look at these and you you can feel almost that i think that you've got that you, you can and you can tell it's amethyst and amethyst yeah. is a gemstone we've known about for a long time it's a very important gemstone historically it's a gemstone um worn by vicars and priests who've sworn an oath of sobriety yeah. uh, to signify that it's actually said to stop them getting drunk but I don't know if there's any, there's probably no proof in any spirituality with gemstones and don't get me started with it because Paul goes quite mad. <laughs> but um, that is it. It's February's birth gemstone as well. Yes. So it's, and I think, isn't amethyst a lovely thing, a lovely gemstone, sorry to call it a thing, I don't know why I said that, a lovely gemstone to incorporate into your Easter pieces. Yeah, definitely, because it's that springtime colour, isn't yeah. it? It's the colour of sweet peas and, mm -hmm. and, you know, sort of, it, it's also said to be the colour of creativity, which is, it is. You know, which is nice as well. So if you're trying to, Put, you know, portray a message or have a theme within your jewellery, then that's a nice thing to have. I think so too. Uh, there's ever such a lot you can do with these slabs. I'm going to count them for you in just a sec. These are only 14 95 One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's £1.50 each. That's amazing, isn't it? <coughs> it's incredible. And you know what, you, if you just wanted to make a really statement piece of jewellery with that, all you need to do is just, I would just restrand it, um, put some spaces in between just to give it a little bit more length maybe or even a chain link in between have a real statement necklace just with a clasp that's really all you need to have easy peasy exactly yeah. so, you can make it quite an inexpensive make can't you yeah but then because yeah. you've got amethyst if you're making to sell please don't give we're giving you tra i believe we're giving you trade prices absolutely hand on my heart because if you go anywhere else Definitely. and try and find genuine gemstones like this first of all do you have that doubt in your mind is this really what i'm um, is this really amethyst is it color glass yeah. well you you can actually when you purchase going into your um into your order history you can then click on the gemstone and it will give you to download and print for free at home if you want to yeah. the certificate of authenticity if you don't have a printer or like mine your printer's always got some kind of problem with its life uh, then we'll just you can add your order for 25 pence and we'll send it to you in a little card yeah. and now we're going to continue on and we're going to give you this time very happy strand i oh, really love this yeah. strand yeah it's bright and cheerful isn't it very mm -hmm. summer I like the way it's knotted like this, Gemma. Do you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, and that is a great way to sort of space them out and protect the gemstones as well. So you couldn't necessarily use... I suppose if you are knotted, you could use it as it is. You could um, have knot a few of them, so you've got yeah. a long bit to then clasp up, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah, you could. You could, but it is a nice way of doing it, isn't it? The yeah. Knots. It it's it's great really to have fluid. a mix of these colours, especially if you've lost your mojo where it, when it comes to putting colours together, mm. which I think, I mean, I'm hands up very guilty of that in everyday life, putting colours together. Sometimes I think, oh, I can get it so wrong. This kind of strand, you can see they all go together beautifully. I love the coloured cord in, in there. I love the way that the dye in the, uh, in the agate just really highlights those yeah. strong points and, and the points of difference within yeah. the formation of the gemstone. I think that makes it a really interesting strand. Lots of different colour, lots of different colour saturation going to certain points. Mm -hmm. Like where it's crystallised, it seems to be a lot paler and you and you get a bit of a window into that don't you yeah you do and you get those lovely formations it really just like you said it picks out that structure so you know it's you know genuine as well which is always nice agates become much more um of a, a well-known gemstone lately i think there's been um the biggest shopping channel there is I, I i think we all know which one that is three letters one begins with q um huge huge um campaign at the moment with, with this gemstone and jasper there's a, a brand on there that, that gives you gorgeous pieces of jewelry but they're a lot more expensive yeah. than, than the price we're about to give you would suggest however that is the price that, of, of agate at the moment on the market yeah well agate is everywhere in the high street at the moment mm -hmm. in um uh, faux jewelry so you know mm -hmm. um, you can buy sort of replica agate which is made with acrylic yes um, you can yes and in all your you know clothing stores high mm -hmm. street clothing stores it's everywhere and you'll be paying probably for that, which is a replica or a fake, 
probably more than more than you're going to pay for this whole strand I should have well you're right because even in the even in those high street shops you're looking at about 1999 a, a made-up necklace e with a few pieces yeah, sort of, yeah yeah look at that 695 so that is just it doesn't seem to be reflective to that but it is because we're giving you a trade price mm. because we we buy these in bigger quantities we get them at a lower price and we can pass that saving on to you which means please don't undervalue the gemstone when you make it into jewelry because you can command a higher price for this if you wanted to and that way you're keeping the standard for the rest of the jewelry makers and you're making this an industry that could possibly then go ahead and you can make a living out of yeah yeah. I think it's such an important journey, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it is. We've been talking a lot about that this week. Yeah. And it, and it is. Yeah, you do. You do have to not undervalue. You have to think about what you... I would say that when you buy these things at such great prices, you have to think about what you could replace it for if mm -hmm. you needed to. Yeah. Um, and then that really helps you focus your mind on actually the value of it rather than what you paid. Exactly. And, and you, do you know what? It's going to give you that kind of confidence because you've got all those wonderful colours. EGK, Y73, lots of you there. Caroline's taken two. Stella's taken two. Donna, Elizabeth and Alison. Kayla's messaged in. I'm just waiting for it. There you are. Hiya, Kaylee. Hi, Kaylee. Wow, I love that piece Gemma has made. It's absolutely stunning. Kaylee from Cambridgeshire. I had a dream about someone called Kaylee from Cambridgeshire. Oh. It's just come to me. That's weird. That is. Hi, Kaylee. <laughs> I knew that you were going to text us in before I even knew. <laughs> I knew before I knew. Six ninety-five for all of these coins. They are just gorgeous, and you're getting two hundred carats guaranteed. I'm going to leave that one with you. And we did I whip my hand away then a bit quick? Sorry. So these petals, I think, are great for anybody that's just working with wire because yeah. they're easy. You'll see these grooves in these flowers. Easy to get the wire into to just sort of prong set. A really great one for practicing those. But how cute would these be as buttons? Yeah, buttons or just little little um, embellishments on a on a hair slide. Mm -hmm. You know, or you know, um, sort of home decor pieces as well. I think these are lovely for. So like, you know, popping around candles or, or to make mobiles for outside and things like that are really nice. Especially with summer coming up. Yes, yeah. that's a perfect idea. Yeah. Putting them around a lampshade yeah. would be a cute idea yeah. too. Yeah. Using these. Definitely, actually, the carving is really definite. Sometimes we have flowers mm. and you think, oh, is it, a, is it a nice rounded star or is it a flower? These are definite flowers, aren't they? 100%. They're definitely flowers. And you've yeah. got little um, glass round beads in between. Yeah. I love, again, the different colours here. You've got these mossy greens. You've got some real burgundies in mm. here. Um, but then, actually, it's really funny because then you get the, the paler pinks in there, too. But they all go really well together. Yeah. yeah, really. It's that lovely palette, isn't it? That's what I think. It's quite a broad palette, but it, they all tie in and work really nicely together. And that can be, that can be inspiring in itself. You know, these, you know, might not necessarily think about putting peach with sort of like a tealy green, but actually... You know, this helps you tie those together, doesn't it? Well, if Mother Nature does it, exactly. We we can't exactly. argue with Mother Nature, can we? EVG P73 under ten pounds. Now you're getting twenty-seven of these. I'm not very good at maths, but that's pennies each. It's not many much, is that? It's not many pence. Twenty-seven. Twenty-seven. Thirty-seven pence, my lord. It's like Thirteen pairs of earrings. Look, you're mathsing left, right, and no. centre. It took me Thirteen than it pairs of earrings. <laughs> Don't than I can't it maths? <laughs> honest to goodness, I am terrible at 15 it. Thirteen pairs of earrings. They cost you what was it? Thirty-seven, so <laughs> seventy-four pence each. That's uh, seventy-four pence a pair. They're fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. I love them. Fancy Jasper. And again, Jasper's one that we know, yeah. isn't it? Lots yeah. of you there. A January birthstone coming up next for you. Ooh. So stay where you are, because where is it, darling? Oh, where did I get it from? Well, I haven't got that. Do, 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 do. I'm just going to wait for receipt of it. It's not here yet. Um, but let's talk about January's birthstone because... Of course, garnet has been around since the Bronze Age. We can yeah. trace it back to about 4,000 years, I think it is. Um, to me, that's just absolutely outstanding. Think about how... Over time, garnet must have been like super treasured, more than a mm. diamond. It was, yeah. thank you so much. Um, it fascinates me. Yeah. It fascinates yeah. me. Such an important gemstone historically. I love, I love garnet. I think garnet is, if I had to choose one gemstone, like it would probably be 
tough between garnet and I love my jaspers, but if I was going to go for more of a transparent gemstone, garnet's my favourite, mm -hmm. I think. For the clarity, for the colour, for the... Uh, uh, is it the because weight, you get... The feeling, yeah. the Yeah, the colours. You get such a variety. Yeah. And I think, uh, actually, well, I, I'm definitely guilty of this when I first, before I started working for Gems TV, that's now Gemporia, I didn't know garnet came in anything other than, than that typical rouge noir yeah. colour. Yeah. No, but of me. course, we have got now, well, I mean, we haven't just got it now. We've had these gemstones for a long, long time. Um, but it's coming to light now that actually, if this is your birth gemstone, it's more than that rouge noir. You've got that pomegranate seed colour. Mm. You've got that incredible mandarin color the zavarite greens there uh, and you've got in this box a really lovely first of all what a lovely way to display gems is what a great gift for anybody that's either into gemstones or has a january birthstone yeah yeah i think yeah or it yeah, it just like collectors, or even if you're you've got a stall, and anything like this helps people connect mm -hmm. with something or choose a gift for somebody. Yeah. So you can say, well, garnets are this, you know, they like this colour, and it's their it's their birthstone. Mm -hmm. It's it's lovely, isn't it? I think so. And, and what I love about this is you can actually you can trace the gemstone up to where it came from here. So you might have somebody who's absolutely obsessed with Madagascar and you want to buy them this box because you've got a gemstone in here that comes from Madagascar. And yeah. you can see, so we've got some Indian, um, I was going to say ruby then, garnet. Um, we've got some from Tanzania. We've got some from Nambia and from Madagascar. You've got the information on each one of these gemstones as well. It comes boxed with that lovely magnetic clasp. Mm. This is a quality gift for somebody. You've got those four rough pieces. Now, I wouldn't necessarily make those into a piece of jewellery. I think it is about displaying. And I think you're right, Gemma. I think this is about educating your customers. If, and, and what's this going to do for your integrity if you are making jewellery that's genuine gemstones? How many people do you think are going to doubt you? Like, mm, is it real? When you've got something like this, I think that gives you more, more of a substance, more yeah. of a story, more, more evidence to your customers if you're making jewellery to sell, of your interest with genuine gemstones. And yeah. it gives them a lovely insight. And when you learn something new, you're instantly engaged with somebody, aren't you? And you're instantly mm -hmm. wanting to know more. Yeah. And then your customer will go away remembering they didn't just get a gorgeous piece of jewellery from you, they also learned something brand yeah. new. Yeah, and they got the knowledge and, you know, your expertise. They're buying into that whole process, aren't they? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think when you learn something, you always remember who taught you that thing that you yeah. never thought you'd know. Yeah, you know? and then you've got a story to tell when you give the gift. Uh, so I always like it. If I, I, if I buy a gift for somebody, I like to know who I've bought it from. And there's usually a story yeah. that accompanies, and then you can... You can pass that on. And exactly. Then they pass that on. And it is all about stories, isn't it? Exactly. And Tom is just proving that in my ear by saying he remind, he, he's re reminded of the time I taught him how to get uh, a purple yolk in your egg. And it's true. I did teach you that. You're still not allowed hens, no. <laughs> um, I'm going to show you a picture, actually, uh, later on. Um, but basically, if you feed your hens uh, beetroot for a number of consecutive days, the purple comes out in the yolk. Yeah, it's really interesting. Ooh. It's cool. Uh, Fourteen pounds and ninety-five pence. GPV are fifty-nine. Um, so when I was away, my mum was um, at home looking after my son, and she texted me a picture, which I have got on my phone. I'll show you later. Jenny, there's a chicken in the house. How do I get it out? I've had to lock the dog upstairs. <laughs> but mum, how did the chicken get in the house? She says, I don't know. I just turned around and I and there was a hen in the. <laughs> Brilliant, mum. Well done. <laughs> so funny i'll put it on my facebook page for you uh, now we are going to give to you a gemstone that i think is a is a great one in its own right but also so fantastic for adding a little bit more depth to your piece when you don't want when you don't want too much drama and you don't want something that's going to overtake anything a smoky quartz is the obvious one to go for isn't it yeah definitely it's so luxurious i've been i've been working with um is this strand a strand slightly smaller in size than this one um, for challenge for the challenge show ah. um, and it's I've just fallen in love with it all over again because we haven't had smoky quartz very much for a few years and so I haven't really worked with it but it is so luxurious it feels beautiful it sounds beautiful the colors it, it's the sort of brown you can wear instead of black you know exactly. I mean? Yes, it's, I know exactly what you mean. Cool brown. It so is. It's, it's, it's like a chocolate. It's like a deep it's, chocolate, but with clarity. Yeah, it's like a grey. Demerara sugars. It's beautiful. I just love it. Do you remember those really expensive 
Um, like rock sugar you used to get. Like my gran had it, it was like super expensive. I think you can only you get it in that. Like chips, it was almost like. Big, yeah. yeah it it like kind of reminds Himalayan me of like, rock salt. Exactly, that, yeah. 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 It, it kind of reminds me of that. It looks and feels expensive. It's got this incredible clarity to it, you can't eat it. Um, but these will go a long way. <laughs> Paul's now laughing at me for comparing a gemstone to a really special sugar cube. Well, we've all got lovely memories of childhood, and that was one of mine. I apologise. Here we go. You can put these. This is one of my childhood memories. Well, it's because I used to eat them, and my gran used to tell me off for eating them out of the bowl. Uh, £14.95. I think I would pearl knot these, gem and yeah. put them into a necklace with a, a really lovely big fat clasp. Yes. Yeah, that would look that would look nice. Mm. That would look nice. Pearl knotted, nice chunky, because you've got a nice good you've got a good sized drill hole, so you could use a nice chunky um Eslon thread or something through mm -hmm. there. Um, and that would that would look lovely. Look at that. I'm always thinking to put it with gold. Yeah, I think it looks really rich with gold. It does it looks so expensive. Uh, you could I mean it'll take anything, won't it? Yeah. 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 14 95 as well. This is the National Gemstone Scotland. Smoky Quartz is another one. It works so well with rose quartz. It's wonderful to put with pretty much anything. Mm. Think about this with Chrysocolla. Then think about it with rose quartz. Then think about it with something completely different like a jasper. And mm. it will take it. And, and to have something that versatile in your stash, even if you're just doing stash building today, you're looking into your craft room and you're missing quite a few items and you want to get something that's going to... The, maybe you don't want to break the bank and you just want to buy a gemstone that's going to go with the existing strands you've got in your stash right now, then this is the ideal one because it will make your gemstones go further. Mm -hmm. It will make whatever else you're doing go further, whether it's your wire work or anything else. And, and this kind of strand here can make a big chunky statement piece, but it can be a gemstone in its own right just on a necklace, can't yeah. it? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It, 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 it's so versatile. I'm just thinking, like you put it with anything on that stand and it's mm -hmm. going to work. Absolutely. It's, it's so versatile. It goes so well with amethyst. Yeah, it looks gorgeous with that. And then you could take something like the diopside. Yeah, see, again. it takes it all. Pearls. It, it looks great with pearls, yeah. doesn't it? But even yeah. that hematite. Yeah, you know, definitely because you've got that smoky. Like I said, it's got that cool, that cool brown. So you've almost got. Look at that. That's that lovely. great together. Yeah, that's lovely. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's really, really versatile. For fourteen ninety five, you've got ever such a lot here. Wrong. They're fourteen millimeter rounds. They're um, incredible price. Uh, Shamala, you've got yours. Pauline, you've got yours. Alwyn, uh, there's loads of you there. Now, before we get into the first demo, which we have promised you one each of the um, each of the the hours up mm -hmm. until five o'clock. Um, until then, but before then, we've got an incredible first star buy for you. Bare copper wire, it's a bit of a buzzword here in this building. It Everybody is. that works with wire tends to really um, really home into bare copper wire. Yeah. Why? Um, when, uh, for me, I love the colour um, and also the versatility of it. So there's no coating that you can scratch off, so you can be really robust with it and mm -hmm. you know, you're not going to make any ah, mistakes. Good point, yeah. Um, you can hammer it, you can texture it, you can patina it. So, it, you know, it's not a finished necessarily a finished piece it can be you can just have it as it is but it, it means you can take that process a bit further if you want to if i don't know what patina means maybe i'm a new um, okay, jewelry yeah. maker what does that mean so um copper or and silver and lots of metals will um, naturally oxidize mm -hmm. so the process of oxidizing is that it, it reacts with the oxygen and you'll see roofs and things that have gone green you know like copper roofs and yeah. minarets they go green and that's the oxidization so you can uh, alter the color by by almost forcing that oxidization to happen um, quickly. Or so it makes it look way. aged, it makes it look um, a yeah. little bit more shabby chic almost, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah, so you can darken it, almost like blacken it, and then polish up the highlights, or you can make it go green if you use different processes. There's so, it, you know, it, there are the, 
what you can then evolve it into is, is um, not limited. So I say, why not? Because it can be as it is, or you can take it somewhere else. You can make um, some really gothic pieces yeah. when you do that. And, and yeah. honestly, and, and you can make almost sort of Viking-esque pieces as yeah. well. There's, there's a lot you can do with this copper wire. And I think once you've started using it, once you see its limitations, um, well, in fact, there, there, there seem very, very few limitations to this, uh, this bare copper wire. That's why I guess you guys love it so very much. Yeah, I love it. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Have a look. We're going to give you a very special deal. 0.4, 0.6 and 0.8 for 6.95. You get 10 metres of each, so that's 30 metres. Your per metre price is very, very low. I would work it out for you, but I'm quite stupid when it comes to maths. <laughs> um, INXC85 is your item code, so you've got 30. Meter. Now, if you were to go and buy this by the meter, which, by the way, if you rock up to that craft store that rhymes with Bobby Shaft and you go in there, first of all, bare copper wire is not easy to come by. No. Second of all, you'll pay often by the meter and you'll pay definitely, I think, more than 23 pence a meter because that's what you're paying here at Jewelry Maker today. You know that all of the coppers are going to match. You know yeah. that everything's going to be on uh, the same. We've only got 40 left now. Louise, Sandra, Norma, Diana's taken five. Anne, Kay, Annette, uh, Aileen, you've got yours. Chris, Myra, Mandy, I've got Candy in uh, London as well. Wilma, you've got yours. Lancashire, Jill in Middlesex. Uh, Chris in Suffolk taking two. Uh, we are, we're going to listen, uh, well over half of the stock of this, three quarters of the stock of this has gone and sold out now if you mm -hmm. want to be able to complete Gemma's project this or the antique bronze wire are going to do it really nicely you yeah. could you can incorporate any color wire you want but you chose to go down the bare copper wire route didn't you with this one yeah well we I've combined the, um, the antique two. bronze with the copper so you get that contrast mm. and I haven't done anything to the bare copper I've left it as a bare copper so it's got that lovely rosy gold finish um, and in this project I've used um, from this bundle, I've used the 0.4 and the 0.8 um, in this bundle. But obviously, why not have the 0.6? Because then you can make your ear wires and things like that if mm -hmm. you want to. Well, it's great to have it, isn't it? You sort of take this a bit further, yeah. Yeah. Now, we're going to give you the, uh, the antique bronze shortly, but I know that Gemma wants to get on and uh, give you her demonstration. So we are going to start that, Gemma. Okay. What are you going to show us well, first? I'm going to work, be working because the first thing I'm going to be doing... In fact, can I put that with you? Of course, yeah. Right? Where's the bracelet? Let's um, bring that in as well. And I can refer to it then. So the first thing, the first thing I'm going to show you how to do is obviously make the framework and all the components okay. um, that go together. So um, to, to do that, we need the 1.25 mil wire that's in the antique bronze, which will be coming up in a minute. So the, these, these basic elements. So this is made up of um, one piece that sort of um, is like a scalloped piece that makes the sort of main framework then for mm -hmm. adding the components. And then... Um, and also makes the neckline. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Then I'm going to show you how to do the little hearts and the little swirls that fill the spaces. And then we'll do the next bit next time. So um, the first thing I'll show you then is to create the actual neckline piece with um, and including the scallops, okay, to, to, to start us off. So this is our baseline then. Okay, so I'm going to leave my... Um, 1.2, uh, sorry, 1.5 mil um, wire on the on the reel. I don't get too um, concerned about it being a thicker gauge. We're not going to do anything too fancy with it. So the shapes we create are really simple. So it's not going to be um, too difficult to manipulate. Um, and to get it started, if you just run it through your hands um, as firmly as you can, so that you're getting a bit of heat and a okay. bit of resistance as you pull it through. So the more heat you can get into there with your hands. Um, the more malleable and easy to use it's going to be. So um, bear that in mind. Um, so if you find it's cold in your room, keep it warm for a bit. Put it on a radiator even for a little while. OK, so I'm going to leave it on the reel so that I don't run out and I don't... Um, but we're going to use probably about 50 centimetres for okay. the neck. Um, and again, depends on how big you want to create it. Um, and to go through this with you today, I'm not going to do the whole neckline. I'm just going to do a small section like, like this and bring it put in fact and get that out of the way. But if anyone has any questions, you're, you, know, we, you can always yeah. text us in. And Gemma is uh, fabulous on social media. You've got a Facebook page. How do I find you on Facebook, yeah. Gemma? So you can find me, JM Guest Designer Gemma Crow on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Or um, 
I've got, also got Gemma Crow jewellery page or if you're in Crow's Mojo in there. So there's loads of ways to get hold of me. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, so I, I'm just going to do a small section because actually it's the same, just repeated. So I only need to show you these two little bits so that you can get the gist of how to do it. It looks amazing just like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So again, if you don't want such a big statement piece, this is maybe just a bit more subtle mm -hmm. for you. Um, even just one if you wanted to. So I'm going to show you how to do this. So um, to help you out, use some bell making pliers. Um, and I've got these big chunky ones. And if you haven't got these use maybe a lipstick or something with a similar sort of size diameter there. And I think this is probably about a 20 mil. Let's have a look. Just, I, I'm always guessing measurements and I shouldn't really, should I? So yeah, this is about a 20 mil diameter. Okay. Okay. But as long as you use the same instrument um, to, to do all the things, it won't matter as long as it's consistent. Perfect. Right. And, and then to start us off, so where we're going to start is sort of the neck, the centre of the necklace then. So I'm going to leave myself a nice long tail here to go up around the, around the neck and do up at the back. And then I'm going to start by creating a little um, V shape. Okay, and that's basically where the, the detail of the necklace is going to start. So I put my flat nose pliers in and just push with my thumb against the pliers to get a nice... V shape, and then I'm going to use these bell making pliers to create a um, a semicircle, okay, or a scallop. Um, and I'll tell you what, just because just because we're on the telly and it's, this gets it gets <laughs> noisy with this reel rattling around, I'm going to cut mine from the reel just to make it easier to keep okay. it in the right place. Okay, and then I'm going to take so I'm going to take my bell making pliers and I'm going to position them onto the wire, and I'm going to sort of push the wire around either side until I get a scallop shape that I'm happy with. So that's going around the pliers there, making a scallop. Okay, and I can sort of line it up. Um, if I take it off, actually, so you can see. So then I want to make my next scallop. So to start that, I'm going to put my pliers in, sort of opposite, if we imagine it as a half, as a half circle, sort of opposite where we started. Put my pliers on. Hold nice and tight, and again, push with your thumb against the pliers. That gives you a sharper bend. If you just turn your wrist, you'll get quite a, um, a rounded sort of loop rather than a nice sharp V. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're going to change over again, and I'm going to do one more scallop just to demonstrate how this works. So in the necklace, I don't know, do you want to count, Jen, how many scallops I've got in the actual... Piece? It's just this bit here, isn't it? Yeah, those bits. And one. That's it. Two, okay. three. So we want to try and make sure that our next, you know, we finish at the same sort of point. Eight. Eight scallops. So mm -hmm. in, the, in the piece that you've been seeing on Facebook and that Jen has got over there, there's eight of these. So you can continue to do eight. Let me just, I'm just going to recount Sorry. to make sure I'm right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. 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 <laughs> okay, so I've got my two scallops here, and then I'm going to just push, I want a nice gentle curve here, just so that it doesn't come straight out to go around the necklace. Nice gentle curve there, and this is then going to be shaped. So I'm just using my fingers just to rub against the wire to pull it into a bit of a curve. And don't get too caught up on that at this stage, um, but we just want to sort of set, set the shape. Sorry, Jenny, <laughs> stabbing you with my, That's with my okay. wire. Okay, so... Um, just get that sort of sort of set. So there we go. There's our framework. Then doesn't look like much, does it? But that's that's what we then put all our components mm -hmm. into. That's your base. That's, that's your our, frame that's to work our upon. Base, yeah. Okay. So if you want to, you can just kink the wire. Um, if you want to keep it in this shape, which actually sometimes can be helpful, just literally kink the wires against each other just to help you keep that circular shape. Okay. okay? Yeah. Move that shot there. So there's there's our start, and then we need components to go into that. So um, we want components that are like little hearts, and components that are like little. Well, what they look? They look like little dog noses, don't they? So <laughs> yes. gonna, these are going to sit into the scallops, and mm -hmm. these are going to sit in between in the V's. Okay. Mm -hmm. So to create these, I've used um, again the 1.25 wire, and I've cut um, for the for the hearts. You cut an eight centimeter length of wire, so each heart is eight centimeters, and then each of the sorry, that's the hearts. So each <laughs> of the hearts are eight centimeters. Yeah, and each of the scallops are ten of the little dog noses. Um, 
are 10 centimeters. Okay. Okay, so cut as many lengths of those as you need. And then to make the heart, we'll start with that. I'm going to use my um, ruler. Now, use your ruler every time because um, it actually, it, it, these actually need to be as symmetrical as possible so that they all fit together. Okay. Okay, so it's like, if you imagine it like a clock and all the parts have to fit, otherwise it won't, won't, it won't connect. Yeah, so um, we've got our eight centimeters there. So I'm going to find the four centimeter, which is halfway along. And I'm just going to go to the side of that because... If I go onto the four centimetre line and bend, whichever side I bend on, I've lost two mils or something where the pliers were. Brilliant point. Okay. So, so you've got a couple of mil across or just one mil across? So just go, I would go like two millimetres across mm -hmm. from the four and make sure you remember which side. So you've got the longer side, so push against the longer side. Right. Um, with your pliers. And you're creating that V from the longer side yeah. then. Yeah, so can you see how much room that takes up, that yeah. bend, yeah? So that's something to remember when you're sort of doing halves. It's a great point to make as well, yeah. because the natural thing to do is to go bang on centre. Centre, yeah, and you lose a little bit in the bend. Yeah, great so, tip. So um, grab a hold of um, that V and you want to push against it to create a nice V. Now, I would recommend that you do them all at the same time. So count how many you're going to need, do them all at the same time so that you get that angle the same each time. Okay, can you see those angles are off? So I know I need to adjust the angle. Oh, so do them all like that first. Make them all up into their Vs first. Yeah, yeah and I would guarantee that. And so long as they sit inside each other and they stay parallel, that's how you know they're about the same angle. Fab. Okay? So do all those first, um, and then we're going to um, do the the scrolls into the centre to create the heart shape. So I'm going to hold on with my pliers. Now, <clears throat> this is a 1.5mm wire, so actually working from the tip of your pliers is going to be quite tricky because there's a lot of resistance. So to make it easier, just come in a bit deeper into the jaws where you've got a better grip and it's going to be easier to manipulate. So okay. hold on nice and tight, as close to the tip of the wire as you can and push again with your thumb. So you're holding with your dominant hand and pushing around the jaw of the plier with your non-dominant hand, okay? okay? And then keep the pliers in there, swivel them round, and then push again. Um, and this time, we're not pushing quite so tight, we're letting it just roll around, okay? So we're using the bottom of that V as a lever to help us pull that wire around, okay? And just roll that into place. Now, at this point, you may have to, you may think, well, actually, I'm not gonna fit another one in there. Um, so you might have to adjust the angle. Um, and you'll do that all on the first one. So if I just adjust that slightly now, I know I need to just adjust the other one so I can then marry the other Ah, up. so do it as you go. Make yeah. sure you offer them both up together. Yeah. I mean, as you get going, you'll get an eye for this. But just to start out, it's those little things that will make a difference. And it's what makes it neater, neater when you yeah. bring, it, bring the whole project together. Yeah. It must tie together much easier. It does. But also, I'm going to say, like, um, when you're doing this, don't get too disheartened if they're not all exactly the same, because actually, if you look really closely at mine, I'm not going to encourage that, but if you look really closely at it, you'll see that there's some discrepancies, some distance um, in the spaces between the hearts. There's a few discrepancies, but actually, when you put it all together... Visually perfect. You don't, you don't really focus on those things, so don't get too hard on yourself with that. Um, but just keep it in mind. The I bet you're you hard get. on yourself with that though, Mrs. Well, yeah, sometimes I don't get the luxury of having of being able to change it because I've got time. <laughs> so that's probably a good thing, otherwise I'd spend forever on something. Um, right, so you get your you got your hearts and you've got so they're ready to go. I've just I've just um pulled that one out of the right uh, the wrong place. You've got a couple of hearts there. I'm gonna need three for this, but we'll just do two for now. And then we wanna make these little dog noses. <laughs> so um, they're like curly C's aren't they so 10 centimeters like I said and then we're going to take um, our bell making pliers or the mandrel that you use to make the scallop so we want these curly curves or these dog noses to be the same size so they, the same circumference same so you can offer them so that they sit they tessellate mm -hmm. nicely within that frame okay mm -hmm. so I'm going to go roughly to the center this time you don't have to be perfect on center um, because you can adjust as you go. So I'm sitting them into my pliers here and I'm going to pull the sides round. Don't do it all at once, pull the sides round. Okay, and once, you can, once you're here, you can see actually this one's a bit longer, so I can push that one a bit and then put that one to meet it and keep going until you get them sort of meeting and the same length. Mm -hmm. okay, that's sort of how you can centre it. So you've got, you've got like this long 
U shape. And then we're, again, we're going to roll the edges in. So again, a little way down your pliers, as close to the end as you can, and push, push the wire around to make these curls. Okay. Mm -hmm. And again, we'll try and make these as consistent as you can. Because everything we do with these is, is as much about the negative space as it is about the shape. So it's the spaces and gaps that these are making between each other that are also part of the design. Yeah. So we're going to try and make them as close in size and shape to one another as possible. Otherwise one will stand out against the other yeah, one. Yeah, or you won't have enough space to fit that, bit, that bead in between them or, you know, which, you know... As, but like I said, if you do them all at the same time, like I've done this one earlier, and now coming back to it, it's, hard, it's you know, harder you think, because well, you forget you've how forgotten. different can a scroll be. Mm. But actually, they can be quite different. <laughs> so, so make them all at the same time. Right. So now we've got our components that are going to sit in. So we've got our two little, two little noses sitting there, and then our love hearts that will sit into each of those V's. So you'll have another one to go there. Perfect. All right. So the next bit I'm going to show you um, to round off this demo, and we'll come to the next one after. Um, is to hammer this frame, okay? Um, so I'm gonna take take a, a little hammer. I've got my steel block and, and rubber mat here. The rubber mat is only to absorb some of the sand and shock. You don't actually need it. Just protect your table if you're using the, the steel block. And I've got a little hammer, and I'm just going to hammer these um, sections. Okay, so just tap, 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 all the way over. So satisfying. Try not to go too heavy on it. We're just you can. It's better to do lots of little taps and some great big ones. You get dents, and if you happen to come down in the wrong sort of at an angle like that, and you get a dent, and you've done it really hard, it's hard to hammer that out. Yeah, so start again. Tap yeah. tap tap is always better than whack whack whack. Does that, does that sound right? <laughs> Tapping, not whacking. There's a, there's a new new slogan right there. <laughs> okay, so we're tapping that down, uh, and what you'll notice is. It does change the look of it, doesn't it? It changes, um, sort of, now it's gone from being wire to metal somehow. Yeah. It's like alchemy. Um, but if we, if you aren't sort of very practiced at using a hammer and you find your mark and scratch your wire a lot, hammer the back because the other side would be, uh, you know, as nice as your block. So that's nice and smooth. So hammer the backs, all right? Mm -hmm. So then we'll do the same with these. We'll hammer all these down. I always say don't put your fingers on the block, come off to the side and hammer. Because if you hit your hand here, oh. it doesn't hurt, but if oh. you hit it on there, wow. it will. <laughs> so. Ouch. <laughs> okay, so. Get all those hammered down, hearts as well. Um, just actually, a, a good thing to mention here is when you're, when you're um, hammering a shape with bends in, um, it's best to hammer the, the sort of point area first mm -hmm. because that will help prevent it from splaying because you're ah. hardening as well as flattening. So you're okay. hardening the wire, making it more robust. So go from that point outwards. So hammer those bits first. The antique bronze wire that Gemma's using is on your screen just now. Okay, so um, next time when we come back to this, I'll show you um, putting these together, weaving them together and using the, the diopside. I okay. think that's what we've got next. That's the next here. stage, it certainly is. Okay. Uh, OAXC30 is your item code for the antique bronze uh, wire. So you've got 1.5 millimetre, which is what's used for the torque, wasn't it? Yes. Uh, then you've got the 0.6 and the 0.4, all for just £9.95. You get 10 metres of the 1.5, well, in fact, 10 metres of all of them, um, which is incredible, especially for that 1.5 yeah, millimetre. to get 10 metres of the 1.5 is unheard of at the uh -huh. moment. Yes. So, like, I'd be, I'll be multi-buying this because, if, especially if you've got any of my Quick Makes DVDs, anybody's got any of those at home, a lot of those I use the chunkier gauges, which are hard to get hold of, and we generally only sell them in three metre lengths now. So yeah, grab, so get them now while you can. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Now we are going to. Um, Do you this one? We're going to give you a little heads up. I've got the Russian dye upside here, haven't I? We've got the Russian dye upside, and then you're going to do another 
demo, are you, on the Rosh and Dopsa? Or are yeah. you going to do a challenge on this as well? No, the, the demo, uh, the next the demo, demo that, I yeah. do is with this. With, with I was going to say, we can't challenge her as well, Beck. The next stage in the design uses this gemstone. She knew what she meant. That's all that matters, really. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, what? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I was thinking smoke's of coming out of your ear. Challenge me as well. Please. Have a look challenges this week. Well, indeed. I know, well, yes, indeed. Have a look at where the Russian dioxide is featuring here on, um, on the bracelet. And, and the same yeah. actually reflects into the, into the necklace piece. Oh, there you go. So I had several near-death experiences. I know you're all, you were all asking me on Facebook. <laughs> I think I had about nine. I knew there would be. I knew there would be quite a few. Well, at one point, I cried quite a lot. Did you? Yeah. We, I came back from... Me and my daughter went skiing for the first time, and uh, we accidentally got the wrong ski lift to a black run. And Mia got taken off by the snow patrol because she got off and she just literally went Hoof! and she just looked like Bridget Jones, like just making a whole snowball where she was going like that. So they took her down and I was just stood there while they took her down this black run. Two, two of the snow patrol just held on to her and took her down and they left me at the top and I can't ski. So I'm snow blowing down. I thought my ankles are going to snap and I'm crying because I'm so scared. It took me two hours to I get down do it. it. I and I was cutting up all these skiers while I was crying. I couldn't see because I was crying because I was so scared. And I'm not a crier, but I thought I was going to die. <laughs> And I thought, not only am I going to die, my daughter's going to watch me from the bottom dying. Oh. <laughs> I was fine. I was, and then after that, I wasn't scared of any of it. No, I should not. Should <laughs> now, we're going to give you uh, another quick treat before we uh, go to a break. That's only one. That's only one of the stories. <laughs> Mia fell off the ski lift as well. Which sound I could only hear, and it sounded hilarious. Mummy, badonk! I was like, "What are you doing?" She went, "I got too comfortable and scratched my face, like, and I just fell off because I just wasn't holding on." I went through a fence. Oh dear! It was so embarrassing. Thanks, brilliant. But it was—I haven't laughed so much in I don't think in my life actually. Now we have got for you. Look at these. I light the Viking gemstone. Yes, it is. These really, to me, are inky blues yeah. in an iolite. Yeah, um, it's a gemstone that um, has been found in archaeological digs. Mm -hmm. um, there's been artefacts found with um, sundials mm -hmm. and iolite next to the sundials. Many, many findings like that. So um, the, the association we think, or well, historians think, is because iolite would be used... To, um, as a navigation tool. Yes. With, along with a sundial, which I didn't know until my sister told me, and she's a historian, so I believe her. Okay. Because she's a doctor of history, specialising in the Viking too, period. She's, she, definitely, <laughs> she definitely trumps any of my knowledge, but I know, I know it's been used to navigate um, in, in modern times. Um, somebody recently used it to navigate an aeroplane. They took all the navigation tools off and they navigated in an aeroplane with it. Um, so, and I think it's to do with how the light comes through the gemstone, yeah. what colour it is, yeah. um, and how it refracts through. So it's, it's a polarising, they're oh. saying in our ears. Sun through the clouds, yeah. But ah, they, de but they, uh, yeah, it was with a sundial, and my sister was telling me the association with that, the sun on the sundial and things. I don't know exactly what it is, but how, how fascinating is it that a gemstone can navigate you. Now, yeah. and this brings me back to spiritual healing and, and gemstones in connection with nature and why they might be here on this earth mm -hmm. and why we need to remember or wise up to the fact that actually this isn't just here to look pretty. It's here to act as an aid to assist in, and, and I think it's a mir I think things like that are miracles. Yeah there's, I don't, yeah, there's no accidents, is there? There's no accidents. I don't think so. It's Nine it's pounds and ninety-five pence. I mean, I don't know if I can get back to Letchworth Garden City with this eye light. I'm not sure how it works. Nine pounds and ninety-five pence, but it's beautiful. It's going to add depth. It's got that incredible. It is like if you think about the um, the inky blues. Yeah. That's what they're like when you were used to use an inkwell at school and, yeah. and, and have cartridge pens. Those incredible deep. Deep, yeah. Deep blues, yeah. but it's with an ounce of clarity there as well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, this one has almost got like a 
almost tanzanite -y, isn't it? It's I always like, think so, yeah, I, mean, I do. It's, that kind of blue. It is it's a gorgeous colour. And this is a lovely, it's a lovely gemstone. You've got, you know, rings. These would be gorgeous as rings, I think. I think so They've too. I think they're the perfect shape for them, aren't yeah. they, the size? Yeah, really lovely. They're just gorgeous and they're only 9.95. A very historically important gemstone, a beautiful gemstone. I think a gemstone we're still discovering more and more and more about each, each year. Yeah. Yeah, I would say so. And it is, you know, blue is the colour of the year, isn't it? So mm -hmm. it's probably going to increase in popularity because of that too. You know? I think so. I think blue's, blue's said to be the world's favourite colour, isn't it? So yeah. Statistically, one third because of it people, goes... One third of people choose blue and you would consider how many colours there are. That's not like... How many people there are? Yeah. There's well, many, many people in this one world. <laughs> <laughs> one third is a huge amount. Uh, now, join Gemma and I, who are just two humans in this uh, very big world. And this one human here is going to be talking you through the rest of the project, which I know you're going to enjoy. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details and either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user friendly and easy to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. 
At Jurymaker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. It's time to give you that Russian diopside. And I think every time we hear Russian diopside, there's a big, it's a big buzzword in the industry. If you don't know Russian diopside, it's, well, it is two words, actually. Yeah, isn't it? Sorry, got that bit <laughs> wrong. Um, so Russian diopside is really heavily sought after because of its saturation of colour, because of its clarity, and its rarity. Because throughout the year, there's only a, roughly a period of about three months where this gemstone can be mined. For the rest of the year, uh, the mines are closed because it's just absolute arctic conditions yeah, i mean even in the summer this it's it's full of snow it's cold it's freezing uh, but it's just a little bit more accessible um, this is a gemstone that in the jewelry industry a um a, a sentence is associated with this gemstone in the jewelry industry that it is everything an emerald wants to be because mm -hmm. of those things i mentioned that saturation of color the clarity that you get with this gemstone a real strength and power a sparkle and a fire all of its own it's just beautiful um it is it is often when the big um gemstone convention happens i think it's in hong kong I'm pretty sure it is, the big trade centre there. I've been there many times. Um, not to the trades, uh, to the gem fair. I'd really love to go. Um, but uh, it, it was told to me once that this is one of the first gemstones to go because there's only a certain amount mm -hmm. and it, it's very, very heavily sought after by those big names. You went to London and saw mm -hmm. some of the biggest names in the jewellery industry. I did. I think it's because it gives such a striking, striking colour and a striking effect on any jewellery that is made yeah. from this gemstone. Um, it makes a strong feature to any piece and it will, I mean, that colour, of course, will last the test of time. It's the colour of nature. I think, well, green is definitely my favourite colour because of, of, of that closeness to nature. And you yeah. know I love a bit of nature. I do know you love a bit of I nature. I love a bit of nature. <laughs> um, I think these are such pretty sizes as well because you can make lots of different CDB projects out of them. But what a great accent they've been, Gem, to mm -hmm. your pieces. Yeah, they have. They have, um, you know, with being such a tiny... Um, little gemstone it, it's amazing how much impact they have mm. because that color doesn't dilute does it when it with it being a smaller gem no nope. so if this was like a, an amethyst or um a, aquamarine it's it's almost got its color in numbers hasn't it like, yeah um but this it's, it really packs punch on its own and, it, and it's been perfect in this design just to add those tiny little accents that actually make all the difference without overpowering the statement yeah. of the piece. Yeah. So I've got the gemstone strand here and I'm just going to place it next to the bracelet version of Gemma's mm -hmm. project. And you can see these accents here just drawing a focus, working so well together with the colours of the mm. wire, working so well together with that hematite. And what a combination that's been yeah. as well. Yeah. I mean, Works it's beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. yeah. It does. How were the drill holes on this? How do I treat so, it? So, yeah, you can get... Um, I, I'm using a 0.4 wire through this that there was no issues with any of them getting a 0.4 wire through i don't think you can go any bigger gauge than that um but yeah 0.4 wire is is fine and and obviously strong enough to 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 use as well in the designs but it, you know with this design we've channel set them and we've used them individually so you know you can do all sorts with these I don't think it goes a very long way because of that yeah. colour as well, doesn't and it? Just to mention also, I've had one strand, it's then the necklace, the bracelet, which is a lot of um, dark side gems mm -hmm. in the bracelet because there's five channels set in between each part. Oh! Um, so there's a lot in there they, that they use right the necklace, and I've still got about 30 left. Oh! 30 gems oh my left. Word. So it goes a long, long way. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, we're going to give you a fantastic price. 
24 pounds and 95 pence is what you should be paying and in fact if you were to seek out this gemstone i think you'd find much bigger price tags than the one that we're giving you every day on our website which is on your screen just now but because this is part of the project because we're bringing it to a live show we always try and give you a better price why do we do that well more of you are shopping while you're watching than perusing on the website mkn v48 15 carats of chrome diopside of course from russia 14.95 a tiny price a yeah. big reduction for you That's you've got a 30 day money back guarantee of course you get for free a certificate of authenticity with every piece that you buy that's a genuine gemstone from us here at jewelry make you just go into your past orders and click on it uh, so as soon as you've gone through the checkout process you can do that one pmp 3.95 no matter how much you've got in your baskets um, from midnight until midnight each day here at jewelry make you don't have to check out once you can check out each time we'll work it all out out for you. 0800 6 dot com if you're doing it on the web or tap to download the app. Now just on the bottom of the screen you'll see um, you'll see that little um, what we call it a ticky uh, and it says uh, spend 20 pounds today. There we go. And get a free gift with your order. Oh, really? Now did you not know that? No. Yes Gemma Crow I have been sharing it on social media. <laughs> have a look. Here is. Hang on. <laughs> One of these could come if you spend twenty pounds or more. Yeah, but look, how much would you pay for a strand of ruby? More than that, wouldn't you? That you got that amazing. Eyebrow. This is sorry. This is a selection of what you may get for free. A strand like this, like any one of these. So I've got some tanzanite. I've got some citrine. I've got some opal. I've got some. Aren't Aquamarine. they just lovely? Aquamarine, peridot, ruby, <laughs> ruby. Yeah, I mean, anything free is great, isn't it? And you only have to spend £20. You usually get a free gift if you spend a lot more than that. But I love free pounds, gifts, £20 yeah. can be easy to spend today. <laughs> I love a free gift. Do you remember um, there was a cosmetic company called Yves Rocher back in the day? My mum mm. used to get a few cosmetics and you get all these things for free for in free, a box. Yeah. yeah. I'm all over that. You don't really get that anymore. I love it. I love it. Um, it is all, always nice. Yeah, so creepy. there's a, a, a cheeky little... A uh, love heart deal for you. Happy Valentine's Day, Gemma Crow, my oh, darling yes. angel friend. Happy Valentine's Day. Or Galentine's Day, as me That was yesterday, Galentine's, was wasn't it? it? Yeah. I thought it was like today. You no, Galentine's is yesterday. The, oh, yeah, your well, girlfriend's. Do boys have Valentine's Day then? Do they? Palantines? Oh, Palantines. Yes. You and Ben are always having a Palantines. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, Gemma, what are you right. going to show us next, my darling okay, so angel? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be using um, the, pe the um, dark side in a few of the demos because they, they sort of span right through. But for this demo, we're going to concentrate on um, joining the, all these components together and adding our little dark sides to the bottom of each heart. Okay, so we're going to do that bit for now. Okie dokie. Um, so I've got, I've cut a workable length of 0.4 wire off. Now it's up to you what you're comfortable to work with. Um, but remember, you don't have to work from the end. You can work from the, big, from the middle and sort of work one way and the other to make it a little bit easier to handle and save okay. you having to add wire in. What do you usually do? I usually, I work from the middle. So I usually yeah. cut myself two metre lengths. And then you um, know you've got the half and, and half And then I've got half side. and half. And even if you cut a two metre length and you're doing the whole eight Eight scallops, mm -hmm. did you count? Eight, um, I did count eight. Yeah. Now, if you're doing the whole eight, you will definitely need to add wire in at, at some point. Um, and the nice thing about this weave, um, it is really easy to add wire in. So. If you will start from one side though, can you just work off the reel? Uh, no, you can't, uh, because, unless you pre-threaded. Oh no, because you need to go in and out of yeah, it, don't you? So yeah. it would be too difficult. Yeah, no, it's not, it's, not the, it's not one that you can do that with. You do need two open ends, really. Right. Okay, so what I'm going to do to make it easier, don't start with a heart because um, we'll get the stability in and then we'll add the heart, so that's the tricky bit. Okay, so I'm going to start with um, doing one of the scallops, okay? So I'm going to go, like I said, I'm going to go from halfway, I'm going to start halfway through this scallop here. And what we do is we wrap the scallop four times before we start, so I'm going to go around it. Oh, by the way, this is a 0.4 um, copper, bare copper wire I'm using here. So I get that bit of contrast between the bare copper and the antique bronze. And it's more tonal than contrast, which is really nice. Okay, so I've wrapped four times. Both my wires are point pointing upwards. So I'm going to pop that um, scallop into position within its sort of housing in there. Um, and then I'm going to take I'm just going to work with this side for just a moment. So I'm going to take that all the way around both wires now. 
just the once, and then around the, just the scallop four times, okay? So one, uh, just around, sorry, what should we call it? Should we call it the dog's nose? I've got to be I a like that. Name. I like the, dog's, the nose. dog's nose. Oh. So we're just wrapping it around the, that, the top of the dog's nose bit. <laughs> we're going to do that four times, okay? So we've got four little wraps in between. Now, uh, you know, keeping this consistent, um, so always doing four wraps, every time if you want to change it you can do two wraps but just keep it consistent doesn't matter um just would alter the design a bit so once we've got four four wraps around where they're going to go one wrap around both again i've just got to let everybody know that the russian dioxide strand has been uber popular and it nice. looks like is it three quarters of the stock gone Three quarters of the stock has gone. Look at me mathsing. But we do have lots and lots of unchecked baskets. I think if everybody checks out, we'd definitely be limited stock. So make sure you're checking out uh, Florida, Essex, Yorkshire, Susan, Caroline, Shamalia. Uh, we have got Jennifer, Christine, collector in the Shire, Megan Cornwall, and quite a few on the phone lines have not checked out their baskets. So please make sure you do uh, because we are going to be limited stock very shortly. Sorry, Gemma. That's all right. So all I've done is I've done... Um sort of repeated that three times this way and I'm ready to do the fourth um, around two but can you see this is this here is about where I want to attach my my heart shape in yeah so I'm gonna stop there yeah can you see that's where I want to sort of attach my heart in there so if I stop there and then I'm gonna work this way till I've got the same amount of wraps this side okay um, and also just make sure that this is staying in the right position within because if it if it moves too far out of the way it's hard to shift it once it's all wrapped mm -hmm. so i'm going to wrap a few times this side now so i'm going to do four four around the top of the dog's nose okay one, two, and you switched three. the bear copper wire this time didn't yeah, you yeah so this is i'm using the 0.4 bear copper okay uh, and around because this weave is like it's not only tying it together but it's also decorative you know so um choosing you know which weave you do to give you that nice sort of decorative finish as well okay so that's three so i'm going to do my fourth wrap round and i think if i look at that now i'm roughly in the same place each side i could potentially do another one i think i will actually just to even it up i'm going to do one more round you'll find that they'll all be roughly the same anyway because you've used you know mandrels and things to create everything you've yeah. got everything as close to the same as you possibly can and you've, you've had an opportunity to offer it all up at this yeah. point as well, haven't you? Okay, so one more round here and then I'm ready to bring my heart in. Okay, so that's about right. So that's there. So now I'm at this point, I can then bring my heart into position. So I'm going to pop that into, into position there. Okay, and then we're just going to wrap now just the scallops. We're going to leave the dog nose out of it. I'm going to wrap now just the scallop to the, to the heart. Okay. okay. So you can, again, choose any weave you like, but just make it consistent. So I've gone once around both together, mm -hmm. and then I've gone um, twice around the scallop. Okay. okay so one, um, and bring it through, and two around the scallop. Make sure you're pushing it up nice and tight with your thumb each time. So you're getting it nice and snug together. And then once around both wires together. Okay. And then twice around the scallop. Okay, once and twice. Okay, and then it looks like now, if I, I'm about at about the right place to pop a little one of my little diopsides in uh -huh. in here. Okay, so you you could do a few more if you wanted, but um, you just judge it by however it looks right by eye for you. Because if two wraps like that works for you, then leave it at two. Don't try and go down further if you're not going to have space to put your little diopside. Okay. okay. So I've brought that wire to the front. Um, push your heart into position. And at this stage as well, remember I was saying you make, might make some minor adjustments to your shapes. Um, so you can see it's a little bit proud of the scallop there, so you might want to just separate the heart out a bit, pull it, pull it apart a little bit so that it sort of sits into that angle better. Yeah. OK, so those little adjustments you'll make as you go along. So once I'm at the bottom of the heart there, I'm just going to take a little dart upside and thread it onto my wire. Let that drop into that little section in the heart there, and we'll just um, 
wrap that into position so that's now anchored in and we can repeat that pattern now so once around both twice around just the scallop once around both and then I'm ready now to go into adding the next scallop along and you'll repeat that exact process for every scallop you've got so scallop heart scallop heart all the way around mm -hmm. adding the diopsides as you go but this is the fun part you've done all of the construction work yeah. and then it's like putting it together yeah. just becomes the yeah. the fun part doesn't it yeah and then filling in the little spaces with the gemstones so if i if i leave that there for now then the next one we'll do we'll look at i don't i'm not sure if it's the um chrysocola next i think maybe yeah I okay i'm excited for i don't that. know Oh, it's the uh, hematite, the hematite next. The hematite yeah. next, if that's all right with you. Yeah, that's great. That's great. Fantastic. You can do either or, so yeah. Any questions whatsoever at this point, but please don't forget, we repeat our shows on our YouTube channel. You can text us in, of course. We'd be delighted uh, to have a text from you today. 60777 is the number to text. Please start your message with the word GM Studio. Uh, but as I just said, you know, after each show, we work to get it onto YouTube as soon as we can, don't we? Um, if you haven't done so already, please click to subscribe our YouTube channel because there is so much information on there. If you're just beginning wire work and you want to lead yeah. up something like this, go and get started. Go and have a look. There's so many uh, amazing shows. Yeah, In fact, they go is. back to way back when. Yeah. Way back yeah. when. Wow. Yeah, all the way back to... 2009? Yeah, something like 2010? that. 2010? No, I reckon it's before oh, no, that. It was 10-year anniversary, yeah. so 2010. Yeah. Oh, yeah, because we're 2020, yeah. <laughs> Oh, me and Matt. <laughs> now, let's, let's crack on because we've got some amazing things to give you. Um, whilst I'm just getting the next box, I want to give you the five o'clock mega deal heads up. Mm. I don't think that's going to last. I don't think we've got another, enough, another stock, enough stock. Uh, now, one of my favourites, and I think you'll like this one, Gemma, because I know you love a bit of orange. You caught me then, haven't I? Oh, no, you have a cup of tea, slurp. darling. You have a little slurp. We all have. We're having a cup of tea with everybody at home. What's the time? Yeah. It's tea. It's, it's, oh, it's, it's a cup of tea o'clock before yeah. everybody. Some jewellery makers have to really build up to going on the school run. Yes. So just having their final yes. bit of peace for yeah. the day. This is it. Now, I don't know what's going on with Paul today. It's, it's very funny. Um, I shouldn't say that out loud because now he'll play on that. <laughs> I absolutely adore these. The yeah. saturation of colour in this strand is, to me, an absolute delight. And I love the way you've got the, well, actually, we're probably calling these top drilled, but to me, they're bottom drilled because to me, they're this way up and they mm. just make the most delightful rings. They'd make amazing cuff links like yeah. that. But because you've got that drill hole, hole in the coulee of this gemstone strand, you've got so many options, Gemma, haven't you? Yeah, yeah, you have. I mean, it, it, they're gorgeous in macrame because they sit proud and that, mm -hmm. that, that thread going through is invisible because, you know, you can't, you can't see it once it's tucked into the bottom of the macrame. And then, again, great for briole drops. Um, yeah. Great for rings, like you said, because they sit really proud. So good, lovely cocktail rings. But also if you squish them together, you can make clusters of four, that yes. or three or four, that tessellate really nicely and give you lovely patterns. Would you like a beady bead? Yeah, yeah, just you could tie it together. We use a monofilament or mm. wire, twist it together. But yeah, they're, they're, they're just gorgeous. Earrings, I think you can't beat them just dropping. They're gorgeous. Um, even from a, a long spacer tube, mm. you know, our lovely spacer tubes. And you can yes. draw the wire up through the spacer tube. Little, little loop on the top, you've got a beautiful pair of earrings. It looks so contemporary. This is one of our Steve Bennett deals. It's a Steve special. Now, Carnelian is a gemstone that uh, is a very, very heavily associated with Egyptian jewellery. The yeah. history, yeah. the history literally rolls right back. So you can go ahead and have a lot of research. So let's give you more insight on Steve's special deal. Be a super saver. I thought I'd do a do a little. Um... I was waiting for a VT. <laughs> no, Gemma. It was just. I thought there was going to be some talking. No. A little video. There should have been. There should have been. I was going to finish my sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> now we have got for you. 
the most sensational deal. I think this uh, carnelian strand is super useful as well. Mm. Without, I don't like to use the word useful, but it, it is useful if you're jewelry making because if we have a look at all of this strand, you will see. So from here, um, you've got a, a clear graduation going on there. Yeah. So this is either a tapered piece of jewellery, a suite of jewellery, mm -hmm. individual rings and earring sets. Yeah. And what a striking, striking colour this really, really is. So Put it with beautiful. turquoise. Oh, yeah. And oh. Um, lapis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Put it with turquoise lapis. That's gorgeous. That's very traditionally Egypt Egyptian, isn't it? Definitely. Um, but yeah, but again, it always it makes me think of sort of Moroccan and quite spices and, you know, those sort of aromas. Orange, yes, I mean, orange. Cinnamon I, tones. I love orange. Me too. I, I think it's the most inspiring colour. I love it. So, it's so rich, isn't it? Yeah. That's gorgeous together as I well. I think that's zest delicious, isn't it? We're going to give you a better than half price deal. How do you want to deal with that? Well, you better be a deal quick because... <laughs> We're going right down. Am I being weird today? Nine pounds and 85 pence. Uh, they can confirm I am being weird, but let me tell you, I know I'm being weird. So just so you know, I know it. Uh, ITV X71, let me count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 on the strand. Jackie, Melissa, Karen from Dartmoor. Uh, Sh uh, Shamala, you've got yours. Dorota, you've got yours from the Shire. Helen, Diane, Roz, Collector in Cambridgeshire. Jill, Anne, Mo, Amanda. Great to have your company. Melissa, Hampshire, you've got yours. Christine in Malaga, jealous. Aileen, you've got yours. Kent, you've got yours. Linda's joined us from Lancashire. Half the stock of this strand, in fact, over that now, has gone. Uh, you're loving this deal, so am I. And, and you know what? What a great one for summer. Mm. What a great one to take us then through to, uh, to autumn, too. Because yeah. you've got, I mean, put it with the smoky quartz we had earlier. Uh, you've got such an autumnal piece, but then put it with something a little bit fresher. Maybe something of a combination like this. Yeah. And there, we're, we're on a summer holiday, aren't yeah. we? That's an orangery, isn't it? It's like a, it's a <gasps> orangery. tea room. Yes. Yeah. It always goes well with amethyst too, Gorgeous doesn't it? And that's an all year round piece. Yeah. Goes with that smoky quartz. Mm -hmm. Again, it, it, you can put it with. I mean, put it with a chrysocolla that we've got coming up later. Where is my chrysocolla? On the bottom of that. Oh, it's yeah. falling off of that. Oh, list. yeah. Well, that's that. definitely going to go, isn't it? It's delicious, isn't it? <gasps> it really is. Or just on its own with your base metals, you know, suspend it from a length of chain, have a cluster um, or a tassel of it. Oh, 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 look at that. So you put in this yeah. hematite with stuff just makes it that's sing. Sassy, doesn't it? isn't it? It's really, it's really modern, it's isn't a bit it? Feisty. I like that. Go on, Gemma, you're feisty. Put it together, wear it out. <laughs> <laughs> I will. You've got all the sass. She's got all the sass, this one. Uh, nice sass. Yeah. Good sass. Mm -hmm. uh, nine pounds and 85 pounds. Good sass. If your sass was a flavour, it would be strawberry and lime. Mine? Yeah. Do you think? Yeah, with no, a never, splash of never, kiwi. Never had myself as a strawberry person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. did, you, did you just taste taste my aura? Mm -hmm. I do do that. Yes, I do that. Sorry. I just tasted Gemma. I'm sure that I'm sure lime would be there somewhere. No, it, it was. I said strawberry and lime. Yeah, I think lime would definitely be there. Mm -hmm. It is. It is there. I'm telling you, it's a fact. <laughs> I knew I was being weird today. It's all those near-death experiences. They've made me do lally. I'm just happy to be I alive. I have to think of what you taste. <laughs> What your taste is? I don't know because I can't. I can't taste yourself. No. no. <laughs> I don't know what I would taste of. Now, here we go. I think plums. Pardon? Plums. <laughs> I would taste like plums. Yeah. Plums with like what a kind nutmeg of plum? With a nutmeggy mm. sort of. Like a green gauge plum or a Victoria no, plum? No, Victoria plum, yeah. It Ooh. might be because that's what you're wearing today. I've been influenced. I mean, that's okay by me. But I think plums are good, actually, for you. Plums are plums good. Plums and nutmeg. Plums and nutmeg. That sounds like a delicious sauce. It really does. Now, yeah. let's have a look. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, jewellery makers, you know what we're talking about. Listen, jewellery makers, we're earthly people. We are, we're not of the sane variety of human being. We're of the spiritual, we're creative. creative variety of human we're being. Creatives, yeah. Taste, Adam. Let me look at you, Adam. 
Mm. You taste. You'd you'd be like chicken with spices. Spicy chicken. Yeah. Spicy chicken. I thought we had to go with the fruit. Right, oh no, oh, it's just okay. all about the flavour. Any, any, any flavour. Oh, no um, uh, Becky is candy floss. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely candy floss. <laughs> They're all going on. Now, come, come, let's focus. So, here we have, for me, and, and actually this strand to me is very spiritual. These are because of what you can do with them. They're pendulums in my head. Yeah. They are to be swung from a very long, long necklace. Yeah, definitely. And you know you can do all the answer, asking of questions and if mm. it swings one way, it's this. If it swings the other way, it's yeah. that. If you think that's all stuff and nonsense, and I would not blame you uh, because I am, you know, half full of stuff and nonsense, <laughs> then these are beautiful, beautiful elements in a necklace, yeah. a pendant, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, it's simple on their own, you know, they, they look great just sort of very casually with leathers and sort of mm -hmm. cords and things like that but equally they look great on a on a length of chain like you said you know as part of a tassel or a pendulum style piece there are six on the strand <laughs> somebody's texted it who texted this in somebody's uh, just shine, texted actually. in i think elizabeth's got us bang on oh, yeah. i think you both taste a fruit cake definitely <laughs> Have you got whiskey or brandy in yours? Oh, I'm f I'm half whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's definitely yeah, brandy. I think is it? Yeah, we had to turn it into that, didn't we? <laughs> we couldn't just be an ordinary fruit cake with a bit of marzipan and icing. <laughs> this gorgeous strand, this incredible chevron amethyst, uh, and you can really clearly see those chevrons. Is February's birth gemstone? Mm -hmm. It's a gemstone that's going to work very well in your Easter pieces. Having that purple towards yeah. the end of February. Um, JQV. Is that a Q or an O? No, Jenny, it's an O. J-O-V-R-36. This is going under £10. You're going to have to hold tight because this one's going to fly out by the seat of its tassels. We don't have that many. Hundreds of you shopping. We've only got 42 of them at 9 95 God. That is a great price, isn't it? If you saw these at a rock and gem show, individually, yeah. £5 each. Yeah. More than likely, that's what they'd be. And, especially and people like, wouldn't and, mind and, that. Like the more chevrony the markings, probably the more expensive they're mm -hmm. going to be. So absolutely, you know, you're going to. And I think that's important as well when you're using them. When you could use that as the inspiration to sort of direct the flow of the wire work or um, soutache if you were using some other medium Ooh, with yeah. them. Um, also, you can you can pr price accordingly. You don't have to charge sort of. They don't have to be the same price each because they're the same size. You can actually pick out the most unique or the most interesting. Definitely. Say, this one actually is worth £20. Uh, because, and then you can back yeah. that up. Yeah. yeah. Now, well over half the stock has gone. We're seeing lots of multi buyers. Uh, Lynn, you've got yours. Collection County Durham has two Hampshire, Janice, Mo, Elaine, Pauline, and Melissa, uh, Maureen, Lynn, Leslie, Edinburgh, brand new jewelry maker. Welcome to jewelry maker. Isabel, Hazel, Tracy, Jeannie, uh, Collection Essex, Cumbria, and Lancashire. Uh, Caroline in the Channel Islands, you're there. Now, there's a few of you coming through on the phone. I slight queue. Bear with it. It's only about a minute long. Hit one to beat the queue. You've got a 30 day money back guarantee on everything that you purchase. We've got an amethyst later going at an all time low. Okay. A brand new low. Ooh. Yeah, so if you love amethyst, stick with us, my darling angels. Is it no matter strand? what flavour you are. Is it that strand over there? Yes. Oh, this 10 millimetre round strand going under £10. Yeah, yeah, Gemma, it is that, yeah. Yeah, because they work perfectly with those they as would. well. Of course. Mm, very nice. Mm. Mm. Very nice indeed. It is, isn't it? Can I have that one later? Not yet. Oh, oh it's tease o'clock, isn't it? Now, what did you say there, darling angel? Oh. Yellow sapphire. Oh. Oh. oh, that's so pretty. <gasps> Two of these earrings. Mm, that is that's so yellow. Well, it's a yellow sapphire. I know, but yeah, I don't know. You know when you... You hear things like it's a yellow this and it's just got a hint of yellow. Oh, this no, is strong. That is. Would you put this? Oh, I'd be tempted to put that with a garnet. I'd be tempted to put that with something deep red to really mm. bring out that yellow. Yeah. I think if you work with Argentium, this is your one. Yeah. Yeah, that, yeah. That's stunning. Pure silver, sterling silver. Oh, that real good. gold. Have it set. Take it to a jeweler if you wish. Mm. This is just beautiful. Mm. That's, I would have that as an, as an engagement ring stone. 100%. Gorgeous. 
I mean, sapphire is traditionally quite an, is an engagement stone, so well, why not? A yellow, and yellow is the colour of love, isn't it? So, you know, that's gorgeous. Yes, and happiness. Yeah, love and happiness. I think, I think yellow is the colour of love traditionally. I think somehow it, it got changed to red. I think it's the whole passion thing with red, wasn't it? Yeah. No, there was a reason for it, wasn't there? And the, and the heart being that shape, somebody just made it that shape to make it look better, because obviously the shape of a heart isn't as cute no. as what an actual heart looks like. No. Now, look at that colour. Look at that clarity. The sparkle from this is just divine, isn't it? Wouldn't you love these in a pair of stud earrings and maybe a matching ring? Mm. Wouldn't you love three of them in a ring? Yeah. To make a trilogy piece. That would, that would be gorgeous. September's birthday. It'd be a bit big for three in a ring, though. Do you think? I love a big ring, ring, Gemma. I don't mind. No, I think they're perfect for that. Yeah, they could. You want to make a statement with that yellow. Yellow is my one of my favourite colours. Green and yellow, favourites. Yeah. I just adore this. Yeah, that and is have so half stunning. a carrot. Yeah. There, it is absolutely, it's a beautiful cut. absolutely adore this six by four millimeters i think we can just just sit a minute and visualize where you're going to put this maybe it is going to go in an engagement piece maybe you've got someone really special that has asked you to create something maybe you're looking to design rings of a certain caliber mm. it doesn't have to be a ring it could be jewelry of a certain caliber and just think about the fact that you get to give your customer or that special loved one, your best friend, something with yellow sapphire in it. This is not an everyday occurrence here at Jewelry Maker. No. And we're going to give you the most ridiculous price that's going under £20 and not by a whisker, a whisker. You need to be very quick. We've only got a handful of these and I would hate for you to miss out. Just sixteen ninety five. Go, go, go. Grab this in your basket. Remember you've got that backup in the reassurance of a 30-day money-back guarantee. Remember that you can go into your past order and you can download and print out your certificate of authenticity. You could take this to a jeweller. You can go and have it valued. You've got 30 days to do that. But we've only got a handful of these left. So now is the time to secure yours. Uh, it's like you on the phone lines for these loads. Of Listen, if everyone checks out, this, this has actually sold out. Melissa, you've got yours. Leslie, Jim. Jill, uh, Middlesex has two, maybe it's earrings for you. County Durham, the same with two. Mary, you've got yours. Chris and Somerset, you've got yours. Uh, Sharon in Cardiff, Hazel in Derbyshire, Gail in Bristol, brand new jewellery maker, Amanda in Hampshire. We are now very limited stock. You need to check out your baskets if you want to secure yours. If people start buying multiples, then we're really in trouble. Yvonne, you've got yours. We're going to have to leave that one with you. Sorry, I, I got a little bit like I was in a horse race then. <laughs> Down to the final furlong. Now, <laughs> sorry. 21, ta, ta, ta. here we go. <laughs> yes. Oh, I love the shape of these. Aren't oh, they lovely? lovely. Yeah, the, this is a tactile strand. Yeah. I'd say this is a sensory bead strand. Definitely, and they've got that sort of cat's eye feel to them, haven't mm -hmm. they, as you roll them around, because of the slight mistiness. Yes, I love that. Mm. This is the, I talk about my grandma's amber beads that she had. Mm that I used to grab and she used to say you can make a wish on each one or if you oh. tell it your worries. This is perfect for that kind of yeah. worry jewellery, yeah, you know? Yeah, that's a nice idea. It's a brilliant, a lot of, a lot of um, sensory jewellery is that, you know, you can twiddle it and as you twiddle it, you think about what's worrying you and you move on to the next one. Mm. And it's, I think it's lovely to create sensory jewellery. And, and it's a gemstone of friendship as well. Mm. If you have a friend who's worried about something, how lovely would it be? You know, not for profit or anything other than giving someone something beautiful and you can say, I made you a worry bracelet. Mm. I made you a worry necklace. When yeah. you're feeling worried, you can just hold on to it and give yeah. it a twiddle, think of me, think of the fact that we're, we're friends and you know there's love there and this is a gemstone that signifies that mm -hmm. you know this this can be so much more than just a necklace or just a bracelet yeah. you can you can give it some some meaning and some substance to yeah. it especially when it's something like this definitely yeah we've only got 27 of this strand left and you get ever so such a lot on the strand so it's a it's a really lovely actually it looks misty or like mm. yeah Gorgeous. It does, doesn't Great it? It's price. that kind of colour that's, it's just so feminine. But you're, do you know what? It's like a hazy memory. It is. It makes you want, I, I wanted to touch it to see how it felt because it, it looks like it would be soft. 
it's I not know, it's smooth exactly and shiny. What you mean. Yes. It's, um, it's got a real softness to it, like you said, like a whisper or a memory. It's lovely. It's lovely a strand. it's a glow. It's a it's a beautiful saturation of colour. This is a stunning. Both you and I both honed in on this one when I put it on my hand. Yeah, yeah. Because it it, 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 make, it draws you in. As well. Yeah, absolutely. You know? It's gorgeous. Yeah. I think it's sold out, so we're gonna have to move on. Mm. Give them a little kiss. Because we like them extra special. We do. Now, here's one for you. I thought this was um, Golden Obsidian when I put yes. it, because it was quite far away. Oh, that's lush. Isn't it gorgeous? And sometimes you'd be forgiven for thinking that you're seeing almost garnet tones mm. in here. Yeah, you would. That's a lovely texture. It's a very interesting strand, isn't it? Yeah. Hey, this would be good for masculine jewellery, too. Yeah, it would. Look at the it fossils would. in here. And then you think we like texture, because although these haven't got an external texture, they've got a real internal texture, so they'd be nice to go alongside. Mm -hmm. I've been working with concrete recently. That's you really say this. exciting. I'm imagining you there with your with my mixer. cement mixer, <laughs> with your hard hat on. Yeah, it's not quite as, uh, it's not quite as robust as that. It, uh, but yeah, it will work well, those textures, because they haven't got the outward texture, they've got the inwards, and so they're nice, nice sort of drawing together, but also mm -hmm. different, lovely. Well, I'll tell you what else is lovely. This is supposed to be 11 95 but you know what? That's... Steve's done a little cheeky Steve Super Saver. <clears throat> I think when we see 11.95 genuine gemstone strand, we're kind of happy with I'm that happy price. With we're that. very happy with it already. Yeah. We're going to take this down. Please do repeat that. What did you? Whew! Lorks alive. Lorks alive. Not to be confused with orcs alive. Six pounds and twenty-nine pence. That is a crazy deal. I think these would be great on a leather cord or on three of these on a macrame bracelet. bracelet. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. And that would be a profit maker for you. Those kind of become your bread and butter pieces because they're the pieces that you can make many macrame bracelets out of this. Yes. Well, in fact, let's... You can. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's slow count them in threes. One bracelet, two bracelet, three bracelet, four bracelet, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 15 lots of three in here. Yeah. That's loads. Yeah. What's 15 times three anyway? 45. So that is 15. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is 15 macrame bracelets out of With that. But you could sell three. it five pounds each. Mm. Yeah, you could. Yeah, you could. And that would be really reasonable, wouldn't it? And you'd make a massive profit, should. wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah. I love stuff like that. And, and you don't have to sell these for much more than £5 each to make a profit, which means that your customers are going away, skipping gleefully away. And they've got a nice present for somebody for just £5. Mm -hmm. I think it's brilliant. And you can use all different types of colour cords with this. You could make it more feminine with pink cord or with a purple cord. But you could go just deeper and darker and make it more of a unisex piece. Up to you. Yeah. Yeah, up to you there's a lot there is again a lot mm -hmm. of scope there isn't there definitely definitely yeah. i think that's gonna sold out now we're gonna keep continuing on i love these top drilled rounds because well you know why they just yeah. work so well in rings and with yeah. bracelets where they don't dig in or uh, a beady bead you can't see the matrix and i love the fact that these are graduated this is one of my favorite strands that we have of car carnelian because of those things now these are called corner drilled which i always pick up on <laughs> because i just can't drop things i've never seen a round with a corner <laughs> <laughs> I just won't let it go, will I? I just won't let it go. No. I've got to learn to let things go, jewellery makers. It's one of the worst traits I have. <laughs> now. <laughs> yeah, no, these, these are great. And see how they sat on your hand when you have them on the neckline. They sit very proud of the yeah. neckline, which is always, you know, it's nice. It, it's a little bit different to just using a round, although you, you can use it in exactly the same way. However, it's got a, be a benefit if you are making it into rings because if, if you had the drill hole up here, you'd see everything coming. You'd have to sort of decorate there. You yeah. don't really need to do that no, with they're, these. They're perfect for that, aren't they? I think if you haven't got any top drilled rounds, you need some yeah. to understand how they work, to see how beneficial they are when you're doing different styles of jewellery mm. and, and, and to play around with them. 
They'd make a great brooch because you could make a lovely flower out of these. Yeah, you could. Yeah, make a flower framework and just mm. yeah, stitch it into the centre. And again, like you said, it just it looks more professional when you can't see the mechanism mm. or the, the way it's attached. And with the, the drill hole being sort of off centre or at the top then of the round, then you don't see it. Mm. A great price about to come your way. ABRU 31, 14.95. Great for cufflinks as well for that, because yeah. they're because then you're not drawing everything yeah, through. Yeah, absolutely. And it, and also, if you wanted to sort of stick them into um, sort of bezels for like earrings, again, the drill hole is at the bottom, so you won't see it. So you can just sort of stick them into the little cups that do you know what I mean? Glue yeah, them in. Exactly. Yes, you straight glue away. Them in and you you won't see the drill hole. Perfect for that. Yeah. Aren't they are such a striking colour as well? They're gorgeous. Just adore them. A B R U thirty one, please be quick. This is such a special price for you. Um, and th these are on a graduation. Nine uh, to eleven millimetres on the graduation, so you can make that lovely tapered really piece too. Really, really special, lovely, lovely shape, lovely size. The fact that these are top drill just, just gives you a whole new level that the, yeah. these are going to take you to, which is brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. Well done to everyone that's got theirs. Uh, we've got to continue on. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Paul just went, jewelry in my ear. Oh, yeah, I heard that. <laughs> it's gone mad. <laughs> Ah, these are lush, aren't they? These. Sugar cubes. Yeah, do you, I always think of bedrooms and using these in some kind of way to make a curtain tie back or yeah. something decorative. I really like these a very lot for that. Mm -hmm. They've got that sort of fairy, fairy, but you, you know, you could use these as the body of a unicorn and then wire work around them. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can definitely incorporate them into sort of more sculptural pieces. Certainly um, fantasy pieces as well. Yeah, but I, I think they're lovely. And, you know, they look very um, sort of soft and feminine and, um, you know, fairies and make you think of all definitely. sorts of legend and, you know, mermaids and things like that. However, so you could team them with your purples and your other sparkly um, textiles or sparkly gemstones, but actually you can make them quite um, funky and trendy and a bit more bohemian if you just tie them in with some unusual products like wood or, Ooh, yeah. um, you know, sort of rougher jaspers or big links of chain. You can really change the look of these. You, you know, I think it's easy to get caught up in that iridescence and... F and I'm fully caught up in the iridescence. Yeah, and, 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 <laughs> and it's really popular. So, you know, if you're selling jewellery on, it's such a popular look, isn't it? Definitely. Um, but, you know, don't, don't you, I think sometimes we get stuck in that box. Actually, these look great, really juxtaposed against something really earthy mm -hmm. and dark and, you know, textured. You can put it in a big overhead piece, can't you, with, yeah. with, with other gemstones that uh, can make them a, little, a lot more adult but have that sort of fresh fantasy mm. look about them. I feel like if I'm walking through a magic enchanted wood, I might rest upon one of these, mm -hmm. just have a little sandwich or something. Yeah, sit down, have a relax. Yeah, I'm make small when I'm in the magic... You know, yeah. but you could do a little wire work fairy. You could. I don't know why I look at these and I see, I know that you're saying don't get caught up in the... No, they look like... They in look that like mystic quality, but I do. They're ethereal. Fairy wings and dragonfly wings mm -hmm. and, yeah. I mean, that is, yeah, and, and, you know, that is the trend at the moment. So it's, it's really... It's always been my trend. Yeah, you've always been mermaidial, haven't you? I've always been a mermaidial kind of girl, yeah. yeah. Peacocks are my ting. <laughs> I know peacocks. And you know what I say about peacocks? They accidentally stayed... Mermaids uh, and unicorns disappeared back to fantasy land, and peacocks just couldn't fly high enough to get through the vortex. Ah, so that's why and, they're here. And uh, that's why they're here still, because there's no way, there's no way they're of this earth. Either that, or they come from another land that we in, we're yet to discover. They they are incredibly beautiful. Mm -hmm. They really are. It's true, Paul. In my head, anyway. Have you ever seen an albino um, peacock? Yes, I have, there. yes. they no, Well, I have seen them in Prunish Abbey, but there's a place in Tring in Hertfordshire oh, right. where you can go and stay and it's got um, oh, just knows. white. What are they called? They're called something. Probably. They're, they're, they just look like brides. They're amazing. They're Beautiful. so pretty. Love them. Because we've got a peacock and two peahens at home. I'm talking about pretty. That's lush. I think I need this one. 
Paul's saying peacocks aren't that weird of a creature. Have you not ever seen one fully peacocking at you with all of those incredible colours? <sighs> it is mad. Giraffes have to be like that because their necks need to get right to the top of the tree. They make every bit of sense. Now, this is one of my absolute favourite. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. It's Citrine. It. Yeah. Gemstone happiness. Yeah. How beautiful. How true a gorgeous yellow. Those wonderful, uh, uh, the turning of the hay mm. in the summertime, those golden tones. Yeah. Happy memory tones. When, the, when you've got a little crack in your window, just first thing in the morning, and the sunbeams just peek straight through your window, you know it's going to be a beautiful day. That's yeah. this colour, it isn't is. it? It is. Love it. I love it. It's actually so luxurious. I think it's just luxurious as well. Mm -hmm. It's so golden, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's absolutely stunning. And look, because each one is different. Mm. I would not call these nuggets. No. These to me are fasted and cut quite deliberately. To they're just they're they're just beautiful. Look, um, a lot of these are, are, are rectangles. Some of them are ovals, but they're all gorgeous and they're all organic in their formation, but they have a definite facet to them. Yeah. What a, what a price. That's amazing. Yeah, that is an amazing price coming up. Love this in the summer. Yeah. So I would, pretty. you know what, I simply rosary link that. Mm -hmm. I just have it as a really simple necklace. Beautiful. Just rosary what colour would you, why would you use? Gold. Every mm. time with citrine. I, I cannot break away. And even though my favourite's copper and mm -hmm. um, rose gold, I can't break away from gold with, with citrine. With citrine. No. It's can't. beautiful, isn't I've it? I've tried, I can't. <laughs> 981. That's all you're paying. And I think, again, people understand citrine. They know it, they mm. see it. And yellow gemstones are so, so hot at the moment. Mm -hmm. People are seeking yellow sapphires, yellow diamonds, yeah. beautiful yellow citrine. And of course, you're more likely to get yellow citrine in a. Um, or citrine. I don't need to call it yellow citrine, do I? You're more likely to get citrine in a much bigger carrot weight than you will of any of the precious gemstones. Oh, yeah. But what an effect it has. One of my absolute favourites. Ros in Cork, well done to you. Kia in uh, North, uh, North Port Talbot, you've got yours. Marjorie in Glamorgan. Penny in Hampshire, you've got yours too. Isn't this just divine and heavenly? It is. It's so beautiful. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. The price, the price is incredible. Isn't it just? Yeah. I'm happy. Such great quality. I'm so happy. Much. It's the gemstone of happiness. They all laugh and at me. It's the gemstone of crafters and like and yes, people like I've I've had a piece of citrine in my purse for about four years, and I, like all my family, I give them all a piece of it in their mm -hmm. purse. Keeps the money rolling in, Gemma. So you know, and um, you live like a Kardashian now. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> In my head, I've got that money, and then I spend it all at once yeah. and go, oh. Have it for one day a month. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> That's so true. And the Kardashian oh. for one day a month. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no. And then all you do is spend the money on your bills, but, but hey. You know, we're not, we're, not, uh, we're not poor, are we? Do you know what I mean? But, th but they say the craft, uh, crafters have it in their money tin, and it, you know, attracts. It, attracts. It, yes, it gives a cash flow, apparently. Yes. Yes. So Which I'm all up for trying. I mean, you know, why not? get that in my pocket, please. Why not? I have to drape your whole <laughs> self in it. <laughs> Indeed. Listen, as long as we can pay our bills and give our loved ones a little bit of this, that and the other and, and we can eat, yep. then we're as rich as we could be. Mm -hmm. HPR, use zero nine. If you're ever doubting it, listen to Dolly Parton's Coat of Many Colours. It brings you straight back down to earth. £9.81. Have you ever listened to that song? No. Please listen to it on the way home. Uh, okay. I can actually, yes I will. Yes, please do. All You'll right. be like, I understand. It's such a good song. <laughs> it really is. 981, loads of you there. Sue, Lynn, Denise, uh, Shawnee, you've got yours. Alicia, you've got yours. Um, you need to check out Baskets, uh, Port Albert and Glamorgan. Mm. Well done. I, I just love them. I yeah. just love them. That's Righty so Hogles. Gorgeous. We're going to give you now. What are we going to give you now, darling? We've all got coat of many colours in our head now. Other songs are available by Dolly Parton. I don't think I, I can't. Gemma. I can't think of it. Me and my friend last night were on the phone and we were singing to each other 
Um, I can't sing at all, so it was really bad. Um, but any song that had stop in it, and we in just the name kept of love, for ages. Oh yeah, I love like, stuff like that. that. It went on for ages. <laughs> and I, and then, yeah, Were you in stitches? You Googling this. <laughs> <laughs> she was definitely not doing that I ever had. No, so I you don't trust that. her. Oh yeah, I would too. <laughs> Stop. Yeah. Now, look at this colour. To me, that's such an art deco colour. What do you think? I say that these these are friendly. That's how friendly. This is, this is always what they remind. They're, they're friendly, and I think it's because. What do you, you mean know, by that? You know all the social media icons. They're all that sort of rounded square little oh. shape, and the colours are. This and that's because it attracts us as a friendly shape, size, colour. I think it's friendly. <gasps> it just feels like a friendly. Yeah, you're not wrong. Friendly shape and colour, yeah. And, and very mindful, it's that sort of... Mm, cool and calm. It's the colour of all the, you know, if you buy a mindfulness journal or book or poster or you see an advert for a meditation class, it's always this colour. Mm -hmm. It's got that calming sort of association with it as well, hasn't it? Definitely. They're These really are just beautiful, lovely. aren't they? Yeah. 16 millimetres, bang on the nose. Um, stretchy bracelets? Definitely stretchy bracelets. I was just about to say, stretchy bracelets and stretchy anklets, really nice. <gasps> Ooh, because an anklet, yeah. It's a way you can wear like a, a chunky gemstone that's quite big on your ankle because it's nice and flat. Mm -hmm. Then, you know, obviously, you know, if they're too proud on your ankle, then you risk injuring Well, it's a bit hurty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know a little bit it. hurty. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they these, are quite uncomfortable are though sometimes, blankets. aren't they? But they're perfect if they're, um, if, if they're in this kind of... And, and this is such a comfortable shape to wear. You're that's totally it, yeah. right. Uh, here we have a whopping carrot weight for you, just 6 95 There's a lot you can do with these. Mm. You know, we're just talking stretchy bracelets and, and you'd be able to make two, maybe three stretchy bracelets out yeah. of this. Yeah. If you space them, which you can more. do even yeah. more, but great for over the head necklaces, yeah. summer pieces. Yeah. Let's not forget it's going to be summer one day soon, Very surely. Soon, yeah. And, and also cufflinks, rings, they're ideal for mm. that. Upcycling your flip-flops. You oh, know, you yeah. You can macrame them onto your flip-flops. That looks really nice. Oh, we're the only country, pretty much, that call them flip-flops, aren't we? Are we? Mm -hmm. They're called thongs everywhere else. Yeah. Which is funny, isn't it? I like flip-flops. I do too, because I don't want someone saying, I like your thongs. No. <laughs> you go, how dare you? <laughs> wrong oh, colour thong. Yeah. <laughs> Look. Oh, How these gorgeous are, nice are these? Top drilled twisted drops. Mm. They're nice, aren't they? Because usually the twisted drops have got a slight sort of facet on, but these are smooth mm. all the way over, which is really Your eye nice. goes sort of yeah. rolls around them, doesn't it? Yeah. I think these would be nice for making petals out of in a wire work project. Yeah. What do you yeah. think? Yeah, definitely. Like, or a fascinator, you know, something with one big focal feature flower. That would be really nice. Mm. Yeah. Nice and thick as well. You've got a lovely... Mm area there that you could perhaps prong set onto or gallery wire onto yeah or you know um, using other mediums like sutash you could sutash around them couldn't you mm -hmm. we use them in with your shibori because you've got that sort of depth that profile on there definitely yeah. these should be 24.95 how many can i count them would you mind if i counted them i don't think you mind quite a would lot you? On there isn't there mm, one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen they're going to go for, what did you say there, Becky, darling? Less than a pound each. That's really good, isn't it? Think about how these could be handbag charms. You could have these um, as in a little angel charm as well. Mm -hmm. A lot of people like to keep hold of. Yeah, or bookmarks. That's another. Oh, a great one for bookmarks. And yeah. this shape, you could almost do something Easter related out of these oh, yeah, as well. Yeah, Easter egg like that. Yeah. Thing. Oh, I love Easter. I can't wait for that celebration. £11.95. BUGP05, 410 carats here. And we had 16 on the strand, didn't we? So mm. pence each. Was it 16? I can't remember. Or I think it was. We've got to move on. We've got to move on. And this time, we're going to give you one of your favourites, Gemma. Yeah. Woodland Jasper. Now, this strand always reminds me of confetti, of all different, or blossoms. So, you know, like a Japanese blossom tree? Yeah. Look at that one. Oh, the markings. Are yeah. There. Yeah. Yeah. They're very, like, cloud-like, aren't they? Yeah. Or florets, like, um, you know, if you did printing with a cauliflower or something. So that sort of look. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's a bit random. I mean, bit. only you but saw that, but yes, so I get exactly what you mean. You know, like you do potato prints, you can print it with, like, broccoli and, uh, and cauliflower and things. It looks really nice. I mean, go to <laughs> dinner at Gemma's house, you never know what you're going to get. Now, 
<laughs> I just adore the markings on this one. It's one of my favourite yeah. strands of Jasper that we've got. And look how summery and pretty those colours are. Then if we look at the strand in its entirety, you see, so to me, those four that I just picked out there were very feminine and very floral. Put them all together, and you've got a completely different look. Yeah. You've got those nutty tones. Yeah. But, of course, you can individualise those. You can put them all in their own colour groups. Beautiful yellows, prettiest of pinks. You've got some incredible purples there with some... What would you call that colour there? I mean, with, I mean that's amazing, it? yeah. It's lovely, isn't really, it? Yeah, lovely colours and textures. I'd want to see really this. Lovely. It would have to be in a bracelet or a ring because I'd want yeah, to see it. I think it would be really nice as a, as a, a bracelet. Mm -hmm. Also, like glasses chains, I think because it's quite, quite a neutral palette as well of colours. So you can exactly. probably wear it with anything. Like. Or a nice glasses chain. Yeah, that would look nice, I think. FKG P40. These are yours for just seven ninety five. That's really good, isn't it? It's a brilliant price. I love a bit of Jasper, I do. Yeah. Totally natural, by the way, in case you were wondering. And, and there we go, because if you hit that wall we were talking about earlier, if you hit that wall where you just lose your mojo for colours, mm -hmm. all you've got to do is make a stretchy bracelet and you are back on the road to creating. Or maybe you have got very limited time, very limited dexterity, I'm not a doctor, and you want to make mm -hmm. something. Because we know crafting in any kind of way is heavily associated with mindfulness. Mm. Just to be able to make something as small as it might be, as, but it's something beautiful, something you can give to somebody as a gift. These are things that make us feel good inside. Yes. Making things, giving gifts to people we care about. Mm -hmm. What a lovely strand to be able to give you back that sort of, that yeah. mindfulness. This is a lovely yeah. one for you. Seven ninety five. Now, after the break, we've got the hematite bundle that uh, is, is towards Gemma's, uh, is an element of, should I say, Gemma's project. Yeah. You get a trio going at such a low price. Did we say this was going under £10 for all three? Because why would we say that? <laughs> <laughs> I think we got a little bit of bananas, but it's just in keeping with uh, you and I, because we've been called fruitcakes, haven't Definitely, we? Yeah. So off you go for a little slice of fruitcake, and these fruitcakes will see you after this fruitcake. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Here at 
at Jewelry Maker, we're always making improvements to give you a better shopping experience. We've recently upgraded our website to make it more user-friendly and easy to navigate around. We now have the Guest Checkout function, which allows customers to check out quickly without creating an account. Our homepage now informs you with what's currently live on the show, recently aired items, and today's deal of the day. We've improved our website navigation and added new categories to help customers quickly find the products they want. Our online range is growing fast with over 7,000 products available for you to purchase. And don't miss out on hundreds of brand new clearance lines with more added every week. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Create, wear, share. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. The Jewelry Maker Wall of Fame is where you get to showcase your skills as a jewelry designer. Each week, one lucky entrant will win £100 credited to their account, and the runner-up receives £50. If you want to enter your design, just send a photo to studio at jewelrymaker.com, or you can post your photos to Jewelry Maker Studio, Ivy House, Henley Road, Studley, B80, 7DU, and make sure you don't forget your customer number. Get making and good luck. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Welcome back, you're watching Jewelry Maker with Jenny Cleary and the wonderful Gemma Crow. Yeah. Uh, now, we have got, and the crew of course, mm -hmm. um, now, we have got that triple deal of hematite for you. Let's just remind you of the areas in which Gemma has used this gorgeous hematite. Now, a little has gone a very long way, yes. and do you know what, I'm so shocked at how fan fantastic this looks together with all the different because I think you do get sort of a, a metal finish with hematite yeah. you get sort of a gun metal don't yeah. you and doesn't it just look incredible yeah. together with the copper it does together I, with the antique bronze it, it looks fab it's all worked really really mm -hmm. well and you know um we were at Spring Fair the other day. Um, ah, you were. With, you know, with um, some of the buying team. We were looking around for inspiration and you know, obviously new products and new things we can perhaps bring um, to Joy Maker. And gunmetal was a big mm -hmm. part of it. So I think we've done lots of rose gold, haven't we, and all the mixed metals in that way. But I think gunmetal is the next one that's going to be really big. Well, they're saying gunmetal and pewter, aren't yes. they? Yeah, so, so that's, you know, this is going to... Be really popular it is mm. this gunmetal is gonna be really popular yeah. like what you did there <laughs> uh, it was a, it was hidden there but I, I sourced it and I picked it right out now I think that this strand looks great together like this mm. I think it looks incredible really what you've done but macrame mm. but putting this on a leather cord just one of them will look sensational. You could put a group of three of them, couldn't you, with knots in between. There is quite mm. a famous jeweler that does that. Yeah. And gosh, they're expensive. This yeah. is a great way of replicating something like that. Mm -hmm. And we are gonna give you the most sensational deal because I did tell you that they were going under 10 pounds. At the price you're seeing on your screen, that's just 6.95 each mm. at 20.85. Very good. Hematite, a gemstone we've known and loved, very heavily associated um, in a healing way. Yeah. A lot of people wear hematite to help with blood flow and things yeah. like that. For its magnetic properties. Mm -hmm. um, Ours is demagnetised so that anybody can use it because obviously yeah. if you've got a pacemaker or anything like that, you have to be careful. Yeah. Ours is demagnetised, but always check. Mm. 
rosary linking these and, and actually playing on that sort of Viking feel with the pewter or the gunmetal yeah. finish would be a lovely yeah. source of inspiration, wouldn't it? Yeah, great Celtic pieces, that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Nine ninety-five. That's three thirty-two a strand. I think we can deal with that. I love this deal. I'm happy with there that. There are loads of you. Hello, everybody. Hello, jewelry makers. We hope you're having a wonderful day today. Um, we've only got seventy of these to go around, which means well over half of the stock has gone. Yeah. Collector in Holland. Hello to you, Justine, Tracy, Aileen, Vicky, Diana takes three. Melissa and Mo and Meg and Mary. All the M's. Uh, Angus, you've got yours. Sheila, you've got yours. Lynn and Suzanne. Uh, we're we're over allocated almost we're approaching limited stock um, it, but if everybody checks out we are over allocated what does that mean well it means there are more in baskets than we actually have stock of so if you don't quickly click check out then you'll be in dangerous shark infested no stock waters Kaylee you've got to check out Paulie you've got to check out uh, Dundee oh less than 20 left Oh, 25 of you going for the last 20, so seriously over allocated. And there are a few of you on the phone lines as well. Tracy in Hertfordshire, Carolyn Hertfordshire, uh, Dublin, check out, Kent, check out, Swansea, uh, check out, Hampshire, check out, Surrey and Essex, and Dundee, check out. Uh, we are seriously over allocated on this deal, which is going to annoy you greatly if you're getting everything so that you can replicate exactly what Gemma's done. Now, we're going to pop the wire, these look like they're going to sell out. We're going to mm -hmm. pop the wire on your screen, and I am going to zip it and uh, Gemma you're going to inspire us once more okay so next phase is sort of um, I'm gonna go back to using the um, dark side as well because obviously some of it it's all linked in but basically we're now going to sort of add some detail around the tops of each heart and in between each heart so um, the, the bits that link it together so this is where we want to probably make a few adjustments to um, the tops of the hearts because we're gonna put um, a hematite in between each section. Uh -huh. So if they're spaced a little bit far right, this is where we can just manipulate them to bring them a bit closer together. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna take um, round nose pliers or flat nose, whichever you feel happier with, and just gonna manipulate these hearts out slightly. So just to beautiful. Bring them, bring them in a bit closer together. Um, and if you want a little smaller space there, you can just sort of, you see it, you're only really making little movements it's best to do them once they're in situ rather than try and get them all um, all done before we link them together. You can keep because offering it up and, and... You can, yeah. yeah. And also, you know, if you, you might have a slight discrepancy in the sort of the depth of that V there, which might knock everything else out. So best to do these bits whilst it's in situ and don't get too caught up with it um, as you're as you're going through the design. So just make your little adjustments to make sure that you're happy that the spacing is roughly the same between each one, okay? So it gives you a nice sort of even spaces to work with. So the first thing we're gonna do then is we're gonna use those hematite and we're just gonna pop some onto my 0.4 millimeter wire. Okay. I'm gonna hold onto that and these are gonna go in between each of the hearts. Fabulous. Okay, so I'm just going to hook those in and again I'm starting with the center of the wire so I've got about a meter each side so I can keep working with the one piece one side that way one side that way so wrapping around there like so and then we're going to continue to wrap around the top of the heart shape Okay, so we want this hematite to sit at the points that are closest together, mm -hmm. so the, the widest part of the heart there, so that's where we want it to sit, nice and snugly in that space. Um, and we're going to wrap, wrap, wrap all the way to the top of the heart. Um, it sits really neatly, doesn't it? It does, and do you know what helps that is that that we flattened the wire on the heart. Ah. So that really helps it sit nice and flat. Yeah, because I was just seeing how you look like you were effortlessly popping that in there. And yeah. It just sits so neatly. Um, sometimes where you're trying to pull it round and there's not enough space between the, the two wires, you know, mm. the loop and the heart, you can sort of, if you want to, you can open it out slightly and you can close it back up if you need to after, but it just limits the amount of time you have to spend um, wrapping around because if mm. you have to start threading each time through yeah it really um, sort of slows you down so we're going to wrap all the way to sort of where the heart sort of sort of top starts to sort of roll into its 
into it, um, the next. Mm -hmm. So we get to sort of the top there. We then go into add on. I think in mine I've added on three of the little chrome dot sides. So I'm just going to pick three dot sides up here. If I can. So it really does help having them on a darker background, these gems. Yeah, because you could see them, can't see. you? Yeah, so there they are, sat onto the wire. Three, three just bridges that gap really nicely. So just pop those like so, and then we can wrap um, wrap this into place as well. So this time we're going to have to do the threading because the, you know we can't just go round and round this time, so we're going to have to thread each time through. Okay. So all the way around and then thread through. So there's a quicker way of doing it. So this is how I do it. So I'm going around and instead of finding the end each time and passing it through like you're sewing, so it's not like a needle and thread. Mm. So you can do it that way if that's how you feel comfortable. If you want to speed it up a bit, you can just sort of fold it through and then pull the rest. And that does um, sort of take a bit of the pressure off of the wire because... Um, you're only working, you're only bending one part of it at a time. I see. Whereas when you go, if I take it again from the end, I work hardening the end every time. Ah. Um, because I'm using the whole length of wire, so I'm pulling it from here, then I'm pulling it from here to get it through like a thread. Yeah, yeah. So if I just literally offer it through... It's easier like, like that. that. The only a bit of the wire that I'm affecting is that, that little bit mm -hmm. here. The rest of it just follows. And then that'll soon be tucked in anyhow. Yes. So, you know, I, I find it speeds things up to do it like that rather than try and find the end and thread it through, especially if you're working with, like, a metre length at a time. You know, it can become quite arduous to do that. OK, so you do the same all the way along. But I'm just going to show you, whilst I'm at this point, how to sort of bring um, this into the neckline. Now, I've added, you'll notice on mine, if I bring this one up, on that last section, I've added another part to the framework. So if we see, I'm sort of, he this is this part. Yeah. So I've added this extra piece. Ah, uh, yeah, so, the swirl. So it, one, it sort of tapers the ornate design and sort of tapers that ornate design off towards mm -hmm. the back so it doesn't just stop starkly. Yeah. And it gives us extra um, sort of rigidity in it as well. Yeah. So if I just show you that bit there, and we'll link the two together. And then we'll um, put it down and wait for the next bit. The next bit being the Chrysocolor. We've had questions as when the Chrysocolor is coming up. It's at four o'clock. Yeah. Just so you know. On your screen right now is the antique bronze wire. Okay, so what we want is a shape that's going to sort of mimic all the other shapes but sit nicely into that space there. Okay, and you've taken the 1.5, have you? So I'm using the 1.5 mil wire again. Um, and I'm just going to pop a bit of a a bit of a spiral on the end there. And you can flatten this with the hammer if you want to again, like we did before. Okay. So just pop that there and sort of just manipulate. And again, do both at the same time. So make, make one, and before you stitch it into place, make sure you make the next one as well. So we just offer it up so it's not quite, um, it doesn't quite fit into that space so snugly, so I need it a bit bigger. So we just roll it down a bit more and smooth. So that's going to sit in there. Okay. It sits quite nicely and sort of mimics this part as well. Can you see it? Yeah. It sort of all lines up. And we want it to sort of come a bit wider. So it's going to follow the line first and then come a little bit wider. And we'll channel set in that section oh, there. So okay. it comes sort of around the neckline, not all the way to the back, but just helps taper that design. Perfect. Off, okay. Yeah. So we're going to attach that bit in at the same time as we sort of bring these beads down. So come again round to the side of the heart, and you can use. I think I've used a, a hematite again here to go through, but you can use a combination if you want. You could use diopside and hematite. Okay. To sort of bridge down to the next bit. Round. So about here, now I'm ready to pop on a bit of hematite. I'm going to pick one of those up. Down to here. So I'm just going to wrap that into place first. So that's there. And then I'm going to take that wire and start to um, weave what will be 
um, a channel set here. So if I go all the way around like that, then to the back, and then all the way around. And we're going to do this a couple of times to start off. So round to the front, all the way around the bottom, all the way around to the top again. So we're just taking it in turns to wrap the top and the bottom, and we're going all the way around. Okay, so mm -hmm. round, round. And then as soon as you get to a point where the space between the two is wide enough to fit a gemstone, you start adding. You know, I'm going to come back to the diopsides now. So I'm going to bring into this space here. Yeah. I'm going to bring in a little diopside to sit. So just grab one from over here. And you'll find on your dark side strand, you know, you'll find some odd, some little variations inside. You'll find some that are slightly smaller and some that are slightly larger. So anything like this where you're tapering, start with the smallest um, and then work up to your larger ones. They take that wire beautifully though, eh? Yeah, they do. So that one sits in there. So this is channel setting. So mm -hmm. I'm going to bring the wire over the top, making sure the gemstone sits in between the two wires and then bring it round. And if you struggle with that, keep your thumb on top while you pull that wire okay. in, just so that it doesn't close it. If, if these close up, what's going to happen is the gem's just going to sit on the top rather than in between. Okay. Okay, so that's round. You come underneath, you don't add a gem on the underneath wire. Wrap it around there, and then you can add another one. Okay, so we'll just add another one here, and, that's just, and then we just repeat that all the way along. Just find one more. Okay, so over the top, all the way around, underneath, all the way around. Okay, and you'd keep going, and if you look at the one I've got, as it gets wider, so I've managed to get four of the diopsides before the, the space is wide enough for me to add one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of the hematite. beautiful, isn't it? And then four and then two. And that will help you keep that taper the same both sides as well. If you count the gemstones you use, it will help you keep that taper the same on the other side when you come to do it again. It's beautiful, Gemma. Okay. So Absolutely that's, stunning. That's that bit. Oh, just quickly before, because there is a little bit of a difference between the channel set on the chromed upside and the um, hematite. Because the hematites are bigger, um, what you need to do is create the space for it to sit so basically the spaces need to be um sort of half the size of the gemstone so right that, because the drill hole so if you've got a four through. mil gemstone do it two, two mils, mils yeah. and then put the bead on and then so half the gemstone is one side of your wire half the other oh so that you've got so, an equal space either yeah. side okay so we'd wrap it maybe two or three times before we add on the gem. The gem, so that it, it's got the space to sit, so they don't all cluster on top Makes of sense. one another. Okay? Makes sense, yeah. So that's, that's that bit. So we carry on. I've just added, so all I've shown you then, just to get make sure you're, you're where we think you are ready for the next stage, I've done these top bits, okay? Yeah. And then the start of this back bit. Perfect. All right? Yeah. And that's where we are for now. Okay, Chrysler Cola coming up at four o'clock for you. Let me give you a little heads up on our five o'clock mega deal because it's going to be mega. I definitely think this one's going to sell out. Look at these beautiful chains, thick sterling silver. You're getting a trio of these. They're just gorgeous. And they're coming up as your five o'clock mega deal. Do not miss that one. Now, we're going to start with a very beautiful strand. Have a look at what I've got for you. Yes. Gorgeous triangles as well. And when do we get triangle nice. cut? Beautiful, aren't they? Yeah. Have a look. Look at the depth of blue. They're lovely. They are, aren't they? Look at the edges that you're getting here. And I love that they're drill hole just here. Now, I think these would look nice in a ring, and you could do mm. one pointing up and the other two either side if you had three of them pointing downwards. Yeah. yeah. And, and you could start with the small ones if you wanted to do that. And, and these mirror each other until they go to the centre when you usually get a... Well, mind you, those look about kind of similar, don't they? You get lots of pairs with this one. How many have I got in each? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven on my strand. They're really lovely. Aren't they? They are indeed, Gemma. Blue sapphire. Mm, I thought so. They're really lovely. 
It's the classic sapphire, isn't it, that people yeah. associate that blue with? That I think these could, they were a bit tanzanite blue. Yeah, they were. They, they? And they I was thinking, like a, is this hazy, tanzanite? More Burmese sort yeah. of hazy blue, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, it's a nice shape, a nice cut. Like Very modern. Quite, yeah, quite modern. That's it, easy to, easy to work with because, you know, you haven't got any distractions with facets or anything like that. So you can go with whatever style you like with these. They're natural as yeah. well, which I was just looking, straining to see. Mm. Madagascar natural blue sapphires. Yeah, Incredible, amazing. isn't it? Mm, Especially when you see the price we're going to give you. 14.95. Yep. That's, that's brilliant. <laughs> What do you mean, or is it a Steve Steele? I didn't know this is it. Oh! Can't go lower than that for Sapphire. We can, because it's Steve's special deal. I think. Well, we just heard the price that these are going to, and Gemma said, you're getting carried away. <laughs> I'm getting carried away. <laughs> Be quick, they're natural, they're sapphire, they're Madagascan, they're September's birth gemstone. We all know sapphire, don't we? Yes. A precious gemstone strand. Put these with rubies, they will look divine and heavenly. That's, yeah, that's oh, lovely. Eight pounds and 45 pence. Let's talk about eight pounds and 45 pence, shall we? Think of it in change in your pocket. Maybe there's a five pounds and mm. cut the three. Well, you know how eight pounds 45 works. <laughs> Look at that in your hand and think, what can I buy that's this special? Oh, this, is the, this is, if you only have eight, £8.45, but probably the best thing you could possibly ever buy with it. Yeah, probably. Think about what it. Else? Think about what £8.45 could buy you that was this special, that could perhaps make you a huge profit, that had this kind of substance behind it, this kind of reputation. It's precious. Yeah. No, it's not. There's not many things you could buy. There's is not. There? Not many things you can buy, really, for 8 45 There alone. isn't. So I think that is, you know, a, a precious gemstone. You can't buy a pair of jeans for £8.45. Pence. Yet here we are giving you sapphire. <laughs> it's a bit bonkers, really, it's isn't it? bonkers. <laughs> bonkers. Uh, well, Mary and Jerry, they knew it. They were in. Vicky, you were in. Linda had two. Susie, not to be outdone. She's got two as well. Helen, Gemma, Deborah taking no prisoners with three strands in her basket. Amanda, Linda, Melissa, a collector in Devon, why wouldn't they? Diana, three for you. Cersei in Hampshire, check out your basket. Helena, Hassan, Dawny, Dawny, there's only 10 left now. You've got to check out Mick, Mick, check out your basket, Mick. Helena has, Sarah has, Caroline's joined us from the Channel Isles and we are going to be limited stock any moment now. The £8.45, it looks like they're going to sell themselves out. What a deal. That's a great deal, isn't it? Whew. Just little <laughs> sapphire earrings. Mary and Jerry knew. Yeah. Straight in. Straight in. Just never messing about. They're not going to miss out, are they? They're never missing out. Ooh. No. I like these. I like these a very lot. And I like them because... Oh, my voice is going. I like them because you've got a point to the top they're of these. Nice shape, and yeah. they're flat on the bottom. Yeah, I've never seen these, um, these particular ones then, with this shape. Aren't they great? Yeah. Like a pyramid cut. Mm -hmm. Lovely, aren't they? Mm. Yeah, really nice. Do these remind you of pressed flowers from back in the day? Yeah, on the, yeah. And the, in a book, you'd, you'd open up a book that your gran had and a load of dry flowers would fall out. <laughs> yeah, actually. Uh, have you ever made your own paper? Did you ever do that when you were younger? Yes, like out of pulp. Out of pulp, and you can put seeds and little flower yeah. petals in. That's what this looks like, doesn't it? Like your own, oh, like you've made your own paper. Such a shyer thing to do. Do you think? <laughs> oh no, you do that in the shire. You also make your own perfume out of rose petals. Yeah. And you also coat rose petals in sugar and eat them. That's what we used to do in the shire. Do you? Oh, they taste lush. Never done that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> No. I mean, it might not be a thing that you should do, so just do look it up first. I'm not a nutritionist. <laughs> I'm not sure you should do it. <laughs> <laughs> I was always chomping on a rose petal. Here we go, 14.95 for these, they're beautiful. However, they're not that price, no, no, no. Do you see what we're talking about with the points at the top? Can you see that? Yeah, yes. you can, can't you? The, the way these are faceted, yes, yeah. you can see it there. Great, and in Alison Tara's Dagger DVD. Oh, I haven't seen that one. It's not actually called the Dagger DVD. It's called Wirework Projects, I think, oh. but it's got daggers and swords in it. It's brilliant, you'd love that, you'd love it. 
I You're would. all about the daggers and the swords, Gemma. Yeah. I could see you doing a reenactment as like a warrior. <laughs> yeah. With a big shield. Yeah, I could do that. That'd be you in the boots and everything. I feel like we should both do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do reenactment re jewelry re and then go to a reenactment place. Um, yeah, Matthew could take us. Matt could take us. Yeah, he does that, doesn't mm. he? <laughs> no, we're yeah. going to be on the same team, oh. obviously. That's me with my shield there. They were like, are you asking Gemma for a fight? Absolutely not. She's from Gloucester. Uh, <laughs> absolutely nowhere I'd win that one. <laughs> BUB R36. All Cheltenham girls know not to mess with Gloucester girls, don't yeah, they? There is a good rivalry, isn't there? Yeah, there is. It's like girls. Biker Grove and Denton Burn all over again. £8.81. If you know, you know, don't you? <laughs> if you know, you know. <laughs> Biker Grove from back in the day. I don't go out in Chatham because of the Chatham girls. <laughs> oh, are they horrible? I'm so sorry yeah. that I come from that place, if yeah. they're mean to you. Yeah. No, if you go to Gloucester, it's to be fair, you. the girls are lovely. Yeah. And they're like the kind of girls you go out, out you know, you're in the loo. They're like, oh, I love your skirt. Yeah. You just wouldn't get that from a Cheltenham girl. No, she'd look at you. If she loved your skirt, she'd be jealous. Yeah. She would not tell you. Maybe they've changed. I hope maybe they've changed. Yeah, we're generalising a bit, aren't Yeah, we? I am a Cheltenham girl, so I feel like I'm OK to say this, but obviously you're not allowed to say it. Uh, it's like when people are horrible about your sister. Only I'm allowed to do that. B U V R 36 You don't mind anyone being horrible about you? Yes, you do. They're just gorgeous. I don't know. They, they, these took us right round the beaten path, they did, didn't, didn't they? they? There we, we were, did. one minute reenactment, and the next minute in a toilet in a Gloucester club. <laughs> <laughs> it can happen to us all. <laughs> <coughs> oh. 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 Yeah, put them together. Use them together. Of course you would. Tiaras. Yeah. What was I thinking then? That really made me think of something then. So we've put... I just put this with the sapphire. Look at that ruby. That's lovely. Oh, I think they'd make a lovely uppy downy project in a tiara. Yeah, a lovely uppy downy project. Uppy downy, <laughs> uppy downy. You know what I'm talking about. I love rubies. Yeah. I love them. What were you thinking? Because you saw this new one. I think Ooh. I thought bunting and sort of um, yes. sort of quite nautical when I saw it. I think maybe because they remind me of the sails and the, the red and the blue. And oh, so. a little bit French, oui. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Very Henley on Thames, you know, that sort of vibe That's to it. That's not France. Henley on Thames. Well, I didn't say France. I said nautical. Oh, yeah, you, you did. You said France. I said France. I don't know yeah. why I associate nautical and France together. <laughs> I think it's because of the blue and white stripes. Yeah, yeah. Now, you know what I mean. Love this. Yeah. Love really pretty. Them I think they're great together. You've got the other ones. It's definitely. like summer fates with all the bunting. Yeah. That's Love it. that. Fourteen ninety five. You're just getting the ruby. I'm just putting it with the. Oh, I love that. I it's love lovely. it. It mm -hmm. is lovely. Gorgeous. Lovely ruby pendant. Lovely ruby ring that you could uh, create out of these. Give them a kiss and send them on their way to a next star by, which is that amethyst that you've all been asking about. Now, too much, too much of the bands in between that. Now, uh, we showed you this strand earlier and so many of you have texted us in and it's happening now. 10 millimetre rounds of gorgeous amethyst and you can tell that this has that organic feel to it straight away. We can feel that earthly quality to this mm. and I just adore it for that. Now, we did tell you this is going to a brand new low price. Yes, brilliant price. Well, it's going to be a bit of a bananas one, this one, I think. Is you it? better get poised, everybody. You better get ready, because I'd say these will sell out very, very fast. So you've got that organic quality coming from these. You can see the formation of these gemstones. You can see the depth of this purple. You can almost visualise those rosary links. You can almost visualise those, those knotting techniques in between these, popping them in a sensory bracelet, a chakra bracelet, maybe. Check out Sunday night show if you love a bit of chakra. <laughs> W N and I don't mean Chakra Khan. W N K Y ninety four. You're not going to believe this. A birth gemstone, 
February's yeah. birth gemstone. You can individualize these. These could be pendants. They could go one in each ear for earrings. You could use one or two or three of these in a, in a gorgeous wire work macrame piece. Everybody's going to know that these are amethysts. I think it sings for itself. Yeah, definitely. Well, you'll be singing if you get these at this price. It's absolutely a brand new lowest ever price of just £6.95. Have you already opened a basket with us today? If so, you've paid your P&P. Add these for this pocket money price. And again, imagine that £6.59 in your hand. What are you going to buy for, with it? Is it going to be as special as this? Six, could this be an investment? Could this make you money if you make something to sell on? Could this be one for you to get in stock ready for your Mother's Day pieces? Definitely, that's not far off. Mm -mm. It's in March, isn't it? Yeah. Melissa, you've got your Sandra's got two, of course. No prisoners. Uh, collector in Holland, Norfolk's got two. Chrissy, straight in two. Janice wasn't taking chances, she was first in. Claudette, you've got yours. Gemma, you've got yours. Mo, you've got yours. You're shopping happy today. Mo, you paid your PMP quite a while ago, so you're happy now. Uh, well, I hope you are. Mwah. Don't like to assume. Uh, collector in Angus, you've got yours. Janet in Cardiff. Uh, Aileen, you've got yours. Wonderful to see yours. Sandra's have got two. Uh, do make sure you're checking out baskets. Well over half the stock has now gone and been allocated. Small queue on the phone lines. Hit one to beat it. It's a free phone number. So please don't worry if you're hanging on the telephone as though you were blondie. 0800 644 655 is the number to be calling. If you'd like to do it in a webby way, it's jewelrymaker.com or if you've got the app, do tap it. It's the quickest way to shop. WNKY. 94, 270 carats for just six pounds and 59 pence. It's incredible, isn't it? That's a great price. It's a great price, a it great is. strand of beautiful gemstones. It is. Gorgeous. Now, we're going to give you something else gorgeous. In fact, we're going to give... Oh... I like this strand. Oh, it pretty. looks really fun and playful like this. Yeah. And I think if you are going to be just restranding and putting it in stretchies, this is a great one to take to uh, school fates so that the children can pick something for their mum that's a pocket money price. Yes. Brilliant. But you start to adult these, maybe rosary link them, yeah. maybe put them in their own colour groups, mm -hmm. maybe put them in groups of three or groups of two, yeah. and then you've got an entirely different look. And this really is um, a, a bit of a chameleon of a strand in that way. These are Easter colours, right? Yeah. All together. Yeah, the happy, fun, Very celebration colours. Yeah. Yeah. But they can be so much more than just that. They can, yeah. I mean, they, they look great. You can, they, you can actually ombre the colours, like, because Great they, idea. they um, blend so nicely into one another. Like yeah, you they can look see these two, yeah. Like this. But actually, you can go right from your sort of um, lemons to your orange, and then into these sort of red, purple, reds. Mm. They, and they, the, the blend is really quite gra gradual. You can't see that on first glances, but it is, and it looks lovely, sort of tapered like that. That's a wonderful idea. I really love the crackles in this yeah. strand. So to get those, you heat quartz up into it. Can't take any more and it cracks. Mm -hmm. A bit like parenting. Uh, <laughs> Z, uh, that's just a joke, of course. ZVG P70 is your item code. These are just £7.95. They're 10 millimetre rounds. They're on a 38 centimetre strand. You've got all those colours in there. Uh, ordinarily, you'd have to buy these colours separately if you wanted yeah. a, an array of colours. So for me, this is a super value for money because you're getting one strand and you're getting... How many colours can you get in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Eight, nine, ten colours. Yeah, lots of colours, isn't there? And Actually, more, than, more than that, I'd say, because then you go. So you've got that's ten different strands you'd have to buy. Yeah. And I'm being quite conservative there, because actually some of the colours you get, the, like for instance, there's ten. The oranges. The there? There's a couple of different kinds of oranges yeah. in there. If you can see, I'm just it's plucking like them together like pinky that. Pinky orange and then uh -huh. yellowy. And orange. the yellows are a little bit different to each other. Like that one's quite a pale yellow, and you've got a stronger yellow. Where did I see it? Mm-hmm. Oh, now I'm going to look silly. No, that one's a bit stronger, isn't it? Um, I think this is a lovely strand. And again there, the, you've got these tealy colours. This one's slightly darker than this one. Can you see that? I mean, maybe it's, it's more um, apparent to the, to the naked eye, but I can see it. So 10, 11 colours in here for 7 95 Such super value. Now we're going to continue on. A lot of you say, in fact, I think it's Hayley, isn't it, who has... Uh, is it, is it Hayley who says her favourite gemstone? Charite? It could be... It could be Hayley. 
It is a lovely gemstone. It is a lovely gemstone. Yeah. It could be Monica. Now, it's that depth of purple, isn't it? Colour of creativity. I feel like we're all mm. pretty. Well, you're very creative, Gemma. It's like amethyst and pearls mixed together. Mm. Which, yes! You know, it's a great combination, isn't it? Yeah. But it's like, because the, the pearlescent swirls in there really, really lovely. Because they are, they're like, a, they are quite pearlescent, aren't they, when you yeah. rotate them? Absolutely. They really are. Yeah, they're beautiful. They remind me of those, the paint pour. Um, yes. You know, videos and things. I, could watch I love those. paint pouring. I could watch those for days. They're like... I still so love doing that. To watch. I know, I love paint pouring, it's so cool. Mm. So, but yeah, this is what they're, they're like, so everyone mm. completely unique. You've got like rutilations in here, yeah. you've got some depth to this, you've got some really light elements. For me, these are pendulums. Mm -hmm. I really love this gemstone for its variety of colour, for the fact that each one is so very different. It's a natural strand of chrysocolla. It's quite hard to get hold of chrysocolla. I think you'd struggle getting it outside a jewellery maker, actually. Wouldn't it look amazing with the chrysocolla? Definitely. Yeah. That's a gemstone that um, you can see for quite high prices yeah. out there. There is a huge <coughs> connection with this gemstone and crystal healing which of course makes me prick my ears up. I want to hear about it. Go and have a look. There's a, a, a place that's got a vault in the title. It's always a good one to go to, in, in my opinion. Now, you've got a really lovely fine drill hole at the top of these. I would just simply want to put perhaps a sort of jump ring style on that and then add it to a chain, like the chains that we've got coming up for your five o'clock mega yeah. deal. In fact, they'd be perfect, wouldn't they? Yeah, I'd say so. so. Really lovely and simple. It's all about the gemstone. But you, know, you can make some lovely little wire work caps, um, you know, just a simple weave that sort of wraps around the gemstone just to give it a bit of extra if you want to sort of mm. em embellish it further or, you know, put your own workmanship on it. Because sometimes yeah. I think it's lovely doing simple jewellery, but you always feel like you need to put your own little stamp. Definitely. So, you know, a really simple little wire top would work, work nicely. Have a look at that colour. Mm. Very individual. We don't see this gemstone every day either. So when it's on your screen and you know we're going to take the price down, maybe you've been thinking about this gemstone thinking, oh, I need to get some price colour. Well, grab it now yeah. because we're giving you just twenty-six ninety-five. Now, this will command a higher price tag here at Jewelry Maker and I think globally. So while you've got it, it's such a unique quality, um, such an incredible colour, such a fabulous carat weight as well at just twenty-six ninety-five. If you have got rock and gem shows coming up and you want to, because this would be one that I don't think everyone's going to have. No, this is going to be more of a collector's. Mm piece isn't it yeah definitely which yeah, to me just if I'm going to sell it on I think right well I can do things with this I can I can ask for that higher price I do love this with Labradorite too mm. I think it's quite a, dram a dramatic yeah it's quite mystical pairing. Isn't it, when you put them Ooh, together. yeah I love a bit of mystic yeah. 2695 WNVR01 now my darling jewelry makers we're going to give to you some was well, some more of Gemma's favorite actually we've got some more woodland jasper but this time in rondelles. Yeah, these are lovely, aren't they? Again, yeah. Great stretchies. They just sit so nicely. Yes. Well, I think the sponsors. natural thing to do is is some um, stretchies with these. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and they're really cost effective, aren't they? You know, these yeah. are always a great, great price for that. Quite nice chunky jewellery that you can you can create with that, and I think it would be sort of seasonless. You could wear it all year round. Just you have a little bash of the knee. Bash my knee. Oh, bless your darling heart. <laughs> Come on. On the, the little outcroppy oh. bit. <laughs> sorry, Gemma. Okay, sorry. Now, I think you could put some lovely rose gold or copper jump rings in between these. I think they look lovely like that. And then create maybe a few little charms if you wanted to. Yeah, because it, it's the perfect thing to put charms and jump rings in between, isn't it? Because, mm. because of how they, they sit. Yeah. They sit so nicely together. Yeah, and also they're great as spacer beads with chunkier, you know, imagine those um, smoky, smoky quartz. quartz. Yeah, yeah we I had knew you were going to say that. They'd be great as spacers. They would look those. amazing in between those. Yeah, they would. And, and it, it just randomly, I think, if you put them random, you'll sort of add to that effect. Yeah. Real textured, organic jewellery. Yeah, really lovely. Here you go, ALG P21, just £14.95. Look at the texture. It's a, gen a genuine gemstone, a, a natural strand. Again, I think you can see those, those blossoms inside. We're going under 10 for this. No way. There's gasps of horror <laughs> as we take this strand down in price. 
Under 20 pounds? Yes, please and thank you. That's, that is. Under 10 pounds? Yeah. Did I just say under 20 pounds? I meant under 10 pounds. Yeah. It's a great, it's a great price. Isn't it? Again, genuine gemstones, you don't expect. And it's a good carrot weight as well, because even though, mm -hmm. you know, because they're, uh, they're sort of bigger than their width. Do yeah. you see what I mean? So yes, they're, I do, they're deceiving, yeah. actually, how, how large each gemstone is. And look at that. You can make little buttons out of these. Yeah. I love a rondelle for that. Mm. Little woodland jasper buttons. Oh, lovely. They're lush, aren't they? Yeah. They're so pretty. Very nice. Do make sure you're checking out baskets. Think about the wire colour, because I think these would look amazing with the antique bronze. Yes, yeah, I was just about to say, actually, they work really nicely with the two colours. We've yeah. got the antique bronze and the copper together. Definitely. Again, it's that palette, isn't it? Absolutely. Now, have a look at these, will you? I remember when we launched this shape, and I just think they're great because... They're a new, a new shape, which means new opportunities, mm -hmm. I think. Because when you see a new shape, you think, hmm, right, okay. I don't think they're necessarily D shapes. They're called fancy hemispheres. Fancy hemispheres? I don't know. But they could be, they could be the hoof in your wire work unicorn. Oh. It's, it's a hoof print. It's a hoof print shape. That's yeah. what shape I think it is. Look at the little scallops, like, you know, the, the framework we started with earlier? Yes, they piece. go into them beautifully. Like, you, they would sit really snugly. In fact, let's do it. Let's, let's snug them in. Let's take that out and see if you could sort of use the same sort of principle. Let me take that wire down here because we would make that, those, um, that framework and then you would snug those in. To, obviously, you'd have to make them the right size, but they would sit nicely into that framework, wouldn't they? That's perfect. You could use the um, wire to go, go, go across. And you probably have to put something sort of on it to stop them from flipping over. But you know, this is these are these the shapes that make things really unusual and unique. Mm. And it, uh, new shapes are brilliant because they open up your creativity again. Uh -huh. They, do, they definitely yeah. do. If you mirror them, you could almost do a wire work bow. Yeah. Couldn't you? Yeah, or a, little, the bottom, or a flower basket, you know, you know, make that the bottom of a yes. flower basket. And, and then have the flowers, flowers coming, coming out. out. Yeah. Yes, that's a lovely idea. Honey pots. There's so many, there's so many things, you know, they make you think of. They could be they? honey pot shaped, couldn't they? Yeah. Your tongues for animals. <laughs> you do a wire work cat or something. <laughs> Dog. She's not wrong. <laughs> but then similarly, up the other way could be little part of the ears. ears. Yeah, little mouse ears, they're cute. Oh, little wirework mouse with clouds. Teddy bear ears. Yeah. Little teddy bear ears. Yes, that's perfect. And you need it. this kind of shape. Yeah, little mouse with clogs on, look at, well, yeah, I declare. This is it. Well, we wouldn't say that many things for a rounds, would we? No. So, you yeah, know, they're inspiring already. Exactly. I do think if you're making a wirework unicorn, there's your hoof prints right there. And then you could wirework from them. That is probably the best idea. No, you just use the smaller one. Well, it depends. You can make a big unicorn if you want. You don't want to get that one of them hoofs to the to the backside, would you? Mm. We've all been there. Well, I have. Nine ninety five Q G V R. Nice. It really hurts, especially if they've got shoes on. And don't it ever bruise. Well, I should think so. Yeah, do you remember when the whole, <laughs> Bea's pony bit me once on and I hand? came on, on my arm, arm, arm and it, she remember. kept hold of me and I couldn't get her off. And I was just thinking, please, just let go of me. And I came to work and my, I, I had this massive weird bubble on my arm <laughs> and I fainted <laughs> because she burst. So what had she done? She'd, she'd bitten through like a vein or something and I was just <laughs> a little a bit of internal bleeding. <laughs> She was horrible. She used to kick you as well. Um, but on her back, she was fine. Just didn't like people on... The, if you were on her back, she was fine. Uh, she just didn't like human contact. No, not if she was on her back. Uh, QGB R96, 80 carats of sagnetic quartz. Any time I've been horse ready, I've always had the naughty horse. No, no, that's probably you've got an electric seat, probably. An electric seat. Yeah. It's the way you sit makes oh. the horse go, woo! <laughs> I've always had the naughty one. You've always. got an electric current running through you. Have I? Maybe. <laughs> Maybe yeah. that's what it is. 
<laughs> yeah, why are they naughty? They're always on their toes. Yeah, or just harassing the other horses. and They do do that. Yeah. Or they and thought, one, I can have this this one, or I'll, I'll be able to totally get her do off. what I want. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. you're kind. Uh, yeah, and they scare me a little bit. So. <laughs> yeah. Oh, one just decided to roll over once with me on its back. <gasps> no. That was terrifying. That's my idea of hell. Was yeah. it not digging at the ground first? No, it was quite a young one, and he just he just sort of sat down like on his front <laughs> bits like that. And then I thought, what's he doing? He's rolling. And then the guy roll. started shouting at me, saying, "Get off! Get off!" <laughs> <laughs> he already knew what was going to happen. He's going to roll, yeah. And he did. He started rolling. Luckily, I just did just get my foot at the stirrup. If you hadn't, that would have been a many pains. Yes. Well, it you, hurt anyway because I was still underneath him, but I wasn't stuck. I so you could get out quick. I mean, because that does hurt. Hurts when they press you. Sometimes you'd be in the stable and they decide they're going to have you and they'll press you against, against you. And you're like, ah! <laughs> yeah. They're so kind. Yeah. They're not always kind, especially the females. I'm going to stick to cats. Mm. Yeah. You know where, well, you don't know where you are with a cat, actually. Anyway, please come and see what I've got. Grey coated <laughs> quartz. Uh, now, this to me is just. A dining strand. And by that I mean take me out to dinner. I'm yeah. wearing something dazzling. We might go for a dance afterwards. Yes. Yeah, you know? it is. It's really, really lovely, isn't it? And do you know that hematite we had earlier? That would be beautiful with it, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. I think Rachel, our lovely Rachel Norris, she did some amazing designs this weekend with the coated <gasps> gemstone. With the peacock. Did you see her peacock? Oh. Yeah. Just, she's incredible. Could have died and gone to heaven. Look at these. But this is the sort of, you know, the ornate, when I think about Rachel's beautiful ornate wire work, I mm -hmm. always think about these embellishments that really lift and, you know, sort of, well, something has to be quite outstanding to marry up to Rachel's work. It does. It? So these do the job. These would work very well with those hematites. <laughs> yeah, they, they would. Perfect, in fact. Really perfect. HCGP07. Not 16.95. No, no, no. 9.95 rosary linked as well definitely yeah you look great rosary and it's it's funny because when you're looking at them on the on the um the lazy susan lazy susan there they look they you can't see the clarity they actually look quite a solid silver don't oh yes they? but there's a, a lovely amount but of clarity the light going through them is yeah it's beautiful it's like a silver blue isn't it can you see them yeah you can see that can't you i think you yeah, can in gorgeous. the studio but not necessarily on that or you can there yeah absolutely Absolutely gorgeous. Love these with the Chrysocola too. Mm. Uh, well done, Shavika. Well done, Melissa, Susan, Sharon, uh, Ilva. You've got yours. Gorgeous. Love. Yeah. They're proper lush. <coughs> Have I got some rose quartz cubes? Well, I mean, I've got coins. Oh, there they are. Oh, there They've they are. Off. That's okay then, because sometimes we call things <gasps> oh actually these That's look lovely nice together to wouldn't they just oh, that is good together oh i love that mm. yeah i've forgotten about gray and pink together oh, that's a great combo, gorgeous isn't combination it? quite an 80s combo but it's all it's dusky all back, pink it? beret the dusky gray jacket gray, yeah because yeah. the checker trousers are all back in that's a, just yeah, the perfect combination isn't it it is the 80s is coming back well, I think we're I think we're on the way into the nineties now, actually. Are we? Yeah. Why can't we make up our own style? But don't you think it's quite sad when you think nineties is retro? I was devastated last week when I found this out. What a buffalo boots going to come back in? Buffalo boots? Yeah, you know from the nineties, the big boots we used to wear raving. Wallabies. Oh no, oh, the buffaloes. The, oh, the buff yeah. Buffalo trainers. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes, they are, aren't they? They are in already. I wish I'd kept mine. Do you mm. know? But I, I kept the, my Reebok pumps. Yeah, with the pump. <laughs> they like disintegrated <laughs> in the loft. <laughs> These are amazing. The cubes are going to work really, really well in wire work pieces. And I'm thinking rings with these. I'm also thinking maybe for the groom, I'm thinking cufflinks. Yeah, definitely. Definitely lovely shape and size for cufflinks. I think, um, you, know, I, you know me, I like quite chunky, big jewellery. However... The, the trend at the moment is just having something quite delicate, just sort of on a chain, very simple. So just pick one of these and just have a, a you know, just a rosary loop either side, straight into a chain, 
Just Gorgeous. one on its own and maybe have a couple of layers of them. It'd be quite nice as a choker to start like that, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, maybe one high, maybe three. Look, we've got three chains coming up later. Ah, what about three. one here? Yeah. One right here yeah, and one, one right lower. here. Yeah. And just maybe yes. change, just go from a larger to a smaller, a smaller to a larger. I think something yes. really simple because they're quite impactful on their own, aren't they? Definitely. Mm. Oh, we've coming out with all the ideas. I think this would look lovely with pearls as well, you know. Yeah. They're yeah. going to be a great price too. Just nine ninety five, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen, on your strand. Nine ninety five, less than a pound each. Can't argue with that, can you? I don't think you can argue with it. And this we were talking about earlier, the <coughs> gemstone of friendship, platonic love. Look at the colour. <coughs> Beautiful, soft whisper of yeah. a colour, magical colour. That Are they Madagascar again. Yeah. Mhm. Mm yeah, Natural beautiful. too. Yeah, they're beautiful. Yeah, we're happy with these, aren't we? Very. U 26 is your item code for these ones. Oh, they're gorgeous. I love them. Bougie agate, did you just say? Maroon. Oh, Druzy agate. Bougie, but they do look quite bougie. They are bougie on. <laughs> they were a dog, they'd be a bougie on frise now. They look great with the, with the silver quartz that we just had, the silver. Yeah, what is Grey. It? What are they called? Where is it? The Mystic. Oh, yeah, there we are. Come back. Oh, I love these. What a colour. Yes. Oh, this jumper. matches my jumper. Yeah. But they've got that sort of um, that sort of mustard in with them as well. Yeah. Fabulous bit of sparkle yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah, look here. You see that the goldy mustard colour with them? Oh, I love these. Yeah, I think that, that looks a bit exaggerated on there, doesn't it? It's hey, these look nice around a candle. That. Yeah. Yeah. Really like them. I really like. I like them much better in the flesh than I do in that. Yeah, me too. Me too. Look at that one. Yeah, this is it. With these, I pick. I when I've, I've got these in all the different colours. We've got some lovely blue ones as well. And I always pick the, you know, the ones with the most interest. I and I use those in things like rings or the toppers for tassels or things like that, where they're going to be the focal. And then the others I, I use as spaces in amongst other things. See, that's, that's, that's nice together, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I love that. Look at that powder finish. Mm. And then the sparkle that sort of gets you. Chakra bracelets, stretchy bracelets, yep. earrings. Beautiful. And they're going for a fabulous price. They look nice for some reds as well, wouldn't they? Yeah. Seven ninety five. Brilliant price, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, you can't, you can't go wrong. RBPO50 is your item code. Uh, maroon, Druzy. Mm. Yeah. Maroon, eh? I think they're lovely. You've got the, the maroon and the gold. I think team it with gold or... What have we got? Have we got any golds around? Mm. Mm. I think it goes really nicely with the antique yeah, bronze, you know. the antique bronze looks nice. Uh, and the reds. Yeah, from the copper. In fact, would, could you reuse that instead of the Chrysocola for an alternative you could. sort of colourway? Saying it's the right size. You could. So if you were going for that more medieval look, that's probably a really good option. Yeah. To use those instead. They're gorgeous. What a regal purple that is as mm. well. Yeah. Or maroon. Yeah. I'm calling it a deep purple myself. Yeah, I think it's, it is lovely. It's very interesting. Yeah. You're going to love working with that. Seven nine five. Quick one before we go. Ooh. These I think are great because they're stretchy bracelets, they're great on leather, mm. they're definitely unisex, they remind me of the beach. Yeah, these are lovely. And they're great just for necklines, you know, if you've got a really nice wire whip pendant that you've done, it's often the challenge is to find something to suspend it on that actually matches the weight and gravi gravitas then of that piece. Ooh. So this is lovely because it sort of really holds its holds itself and follows the gemstones right through around the neckline. It looks organic. It's got that yeah. lovely colour scheme to it. And it's a gemstone for all seasons. Mm. It's beautiful. It is. So OMG P40 is your item code. You have 50 carats of picture jasper in these wheels. Oh, I think that with the Christ Cola would look very yep. pretty too. Yeah, definitely. Because uh, yeah, always, I always think that it looks lovely with turquoise and similar, yeah, yeah. similar tones. Very much. These 
beauties are coming up after the break. Lots of you are shopping with us, don't forget. It's Valentine's Day. If you spend £20 today with us, you will get a free gift. Here's an example of, no, individually, the free gifts. I've got on this strand. It could be that you get a strand like this. And uh, we have got Labrador right there. We've got Ruby, we've got Peridot, Aquamarine, we've got Citrine, Tanzanite, and Opal. That's an example of some of the things that you could get for free, which is amazing, isn't it? It doesn't have to be in one purchase. As long as you spend £20 with us today, you will get that uh, free gift. That's brilliant. It is brilliant, isn't it? A couple yeah. of strands, you're done. What a bonus. Fabulous. Yeah. Absolutely fabulous. £7.95. So the Chrysler Cola is coming up after the break. So is Gemma's final <gasps> demonstration. Yes. Don't forget our five o'clock mega deal as well that's coming up at five o'clock of course because you know the clues in the title uh, you've got that trio of silver we have got so much still to come thank you for choosing jewelry maker we will be back with that chrysler cola strand Now this coming Saturday the 15th of February, please do join me on the morning show because we have got the fantastic Fleur Hastings. Now Fleur has been given uh, an exceptional saw bundle deal. Now if you've never worked with a saw, this is the German saw, we've got all the replacement blades. So if you run out of blades and you've got the saw, fantastic. Or if you need to start cutting into your copper sheets and so forth, we've got all that for you. Now previously we had a fantastic workers craft bench, a jewellery making, wooden beautiful workbench that sold out like that. Now for those of you that possibly couldn't afford that workbench or need something a little bit smaller for the space that you've got, we have a brand new starters, crafters, jewellers, card making, whatever you want to call it, workbench for you this coming Saturday. Now we've got 50 so you're going to need to be quick if you fancy it. It is a beautiful piece of furniture. Also, we have got some multicolored, rainbow, gorgeous looking hematite as our deal of the day. So you need to tune in at 11 a.m. this Saturday for that as well. Now, I don't know what you've done to deserve this, but you've also got me Sunday morning as well. And I will be joined by the fantastically talented Alison Tarry. Now, I hear you ask, what does Alison Tarry have for you? Well, we have the incredible Naughty Do It All Tour and the travel size Naughty Do It All Tall as well, and it is superb. It's the Sandra Younger Tall. I was lucky enough to meet Sandra Younger, and this tall is phenomenal for your pearl knotting and lots, lots more. We also have one of Alison's favorite tools, the Whammer. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? So you need to tune in to look at that. And we have something brand new for you. We have got this incredible Beadalon tooling station. Now you think how many sets of pliers you've got. You've seen when our guest desires come in with their gang of pliers and tools. This is a tidy workstation for all of your tools for jewelry making. It is brilliant. It's going to make it quicker for you to make jewelry as well. Now our deal of the day is another of Alison and I's favourite. It is the endless loom that we have. If you love making stretchy bracelets and you want to take it to the next stage, this is the tool for you. Alison and I will rave about it. It is brilliant. That's our deal of the day at 11 a.m. So it's going to be an exceptional weekend. Please do join me on Saturday and Sunday morning. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share.
It's easy to stay in touch with Jewelry Maker. You can like our Facebook page and join a community of over 65,000 people. You can follow us on Twitter and tweet us your messages and opinions, send photos of your designs and enter our Wall of Fame competition. Or if you need any help or advice, you can email our friendly help team. Make sure to get involved and stay up to date with Jewelry Maker. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Don't want to miss a Jewelry Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewelry Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewelry Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations, and of course, all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewelry Maker. You can now book Jewelry Maker workshops online. Just head over to our Jewelry Maker website and click on the workshop link. We have a wide range of workshops from beginner to intermediate, covering a variety of mediums. Once you've found a workshop you would like to attend, simply click on the Book Now button, fill in the required fields, and then press Continue. This will take you through to the payment page. If you have any questions, you can contact our workshop coordinator at any time by emailing workshop at jewelrymaker.com. We look forward to seeing you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. What an amazing gemstone we've got for you. Chrysocola is such a beautiful combination of different colours, mm -hmm. like little satellite views of the earth. These are just mesmerising to me. Yeah. Chrysocola um, is found in the same places that malachite is found. Yeah. And you can see the kind of malachite greens coming through here, but certainly you've got the most striking of turquoise tones, the most amazing deep, deep, almost lapis blues here as well. Yeah. The matrix in these can um, really play with your mind. If you look into these, you get these swirls that look like bronzite. Yeah. You get this freshness that re represents turquoise. You get the malachite greens. What an interesting combination of ocean blues as well. It is. It is. It's, it's like the best combination of all the best gemstones, mm. that all in one place. And they're each so beautiful and different. They're a very striking gemstone, yeah. aren't they? Yeah, gorgeous. What an amazing strand this is. What a beautiful representation of a gemstone here. You've got two, four, six, seven of these. Mm. I was pretty excited when Becky put this in my, in my bundle for the project show. I was like, yes. It is an exciting gemstone to have, and I think often this will be the very starting point of, of any of the jewellery or projects you're going to create, because mm. you look into this and you look at the colours and you think about, I mean, they are, they make you think about, about the earth, don't they? Look at these tones. What did you think when you first got these? Where did your mind go first? Yeah, so usually it's all about being, you know, being the earth and going like that, but that's not how we sort of put this kit together this time but I just knew they needed to be needed to be the focal and so I sort of went with quite um Tudory style that's why do them. you know what that's what I, I get when I look at that piece of jewelry mm. very reminiscent of um pieces that that would be worn in the Tudor period yeah they're definitely it's definitely more that feel I went for and of course the the, the gems being so organic actually suits that that sort of genre as well a great powerful gemstone in terms of colour. In terms of the different patterns, the formation. And look how, don't you find these mesmerising? Each and every one giving you something very different to the next. They're beautiful, aren't they? 
They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. They are. We're going to give you an incredible price. This should be priced on your screen right now. Chrysocola can command a higher price. Uh, do you know, we didn't have Chrysocola when I left Jewelry Maker. No. I came back and it was new to me. Yeah, no, it's, it's been fairly new here for a while. I think we had a sample through lots and lots, long, long, long time ago. And as, as we always do, it wasn't the quality that we'd want, so we didn't take, we mm -hmm. didn't have it. So we just had the sample. And I remember that thinking, oh, I love this stuff. Um, yeah, and only having it recently, but you know, at price tags much higher than this. So we're around the £64. Mm. Uh, Mark, that's sort of what I was expecting on this. So at twenty nine ninety five, I was already happy. And I think if you're a collector of beautiful things, I think if you if you seek Chrysocolla, you find it at twenty nine ninety five for fifty carats. Mm. I think you go away really happy. And it's one of those gemstones. If you seek it, if you need it, if only Chrysocolla will do, because yeah. it has very unique properties. Yes, we're talking about elements that remind us of this, that, the other. But when you combine those things all together, that's an absolute rarity in a gemstone, and you've got it here. So yeah. that is, this is a very sought-after gemstone. We are seriously lucky to be able to give you prices like the one on your screen right now. And I can see so many names. Mm. How many do we have left? Okay, half the stock has gone. So many people have messaged me mm -hmm. asking me, is that Chrysocola this week? And because uh, I've been sort of sharing the updates on how the, the, the project's been going, and so many people want this Chrysocola. Oh, I don't blame them. Be surprised if it lasts, um, lasts very long. I, I can't imagine it lasts until the end of the show, to be honest. Well, look at all the multi buyers we've yeah. got. We've got Annette, we've got Melissa, Jackie, Alison, another Jackie, Amanda, Aileen, Wendy. Uh, we've got Annette. We've got Karen, Donna, Sheila, Sue, Jackie, another Jackie, that's three Jackies now, uh, Elaine, Collector in Angus, Manchester, brand new jewellery maker, Julie, Meg, Janice, Kim in Somerset, Karen in Nottinghamshire. Amanda's taken two. These are not hanging around. Three quarters of the stock have gone and they are under £20. It's an incredible opportunity for you just now. A great price, a phenomenal gemstone. And listen, with the PMP, that takes you over your £20, doesn't it? You get your free gift. Oh. Does it include does it the PMP? I, I think it does. We need, so. to phone. We, we need to phone about that. Um, but £20, if you spend £20 today... A when basket total is £20 or more. Yeah. That does include the PMP. Basket yeah. total. Or is that not? Yeah. Okay. Just so spend basket. 5p more. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, okay. Put something, put something like cord or something in, or, yeah. because you can use them together. But that takes you over your 20... If you, just 5 pence more. Taking you, or if you've got anything else today, takes you over your £20, you get your free goodies. So many of you. Amanda in Norfolk has two. Sue has two. Melissa has two. Uh, listen, we don't have loads left. We've only got a handful left now. If everyone checks out, these will be sold out. We are very fast approaching an over allocation. Rhonda, you've got yours. If everybody checks out baskets, we are now over allocated. You're on the phones for these. Please press one to meet the queue. There's a one minute queue on the phone lines, just over that. Elaine, check out. Meg, check out. Janice, check out. Francesca, check out. Uh, Karen and Donna, you need to check out, otherwise you're going to miss out on these. Mm. We are uh, really close to limited stock now. We are really, really, really fast uh, approaching limited stock. At 19.95, and you know Gem is about to do the project, and you know you're in love with this. We're going to leave. Uh, Lavinia's taken one on the telephone. You're coming through now, and on the telephone as well. Still a one-minute queue. We are now limited stock. There's still some available. We're going to leave those with you whilst Gemma takes us into. I'm very actually quite sad oh, to say the final demonstration. The final this show has one. gone so quick. What's that? Gone so quick. Oh, final. I thought you said, oh no, I haven't got one. Final one. Final one. Yeah. Yeah. It's gone really. It has gone really fast. Really fast. Okay. So we're going to use this Chrysocolla as the, um, the sort of the icing on the cake, really. Um, and we're going to put put the Chrysocolla in, and then because they're so gorgeous, we're going to frame them as well with an extra oh. little bit of embellishment. I love what you've sort of given them a marquee's framing yeah. which just works so well. Yeah, and it has to be done, doesn't it? It really lift, lifted them. You'll see the difference. I'll just put the Quest Cola in and then you'll see what a difference just that little frame makes. Um, okay, so here we are. Um, the, the bit I didn't show you earlier from the last demo. So if you remember on the last bit of the demo, we did um, wrapping around the tops of the hearts, adding the... Um, adding the hematite in between each of the hearts and the three diopsides in between the, the sort of cleft of each heart as well and you just do that all the way around 
and then we also looked at adding in that side that side bit okay which you can examine in more detail on the piece on Facebook later if you want to okay um, and then whilst you weren't looking whilst you were busy you. I did the same I did the same I'm going to just flatten this out so it's easier to manage so I did the same technique but this time around the bottom of those little um, dog noses we called them didn't we so wrapping for want of a better description yeah. yes but I do like a dog nose <laughs> I think it works it's the right shape so um or pretzel, maybe. Maybe pretzel's <gasps> pretzel better. Pretzel would work. Pretzel's better. Okay, so all we've done is wrap in exactly the same way as we did at the top. And then in between each of the little swirls, you, we've added a hematite. Okay, so that, mm -hmm. that's the only bit. I didn't. I haven't skipped anything that was important um, in terms of technique. It's the same technique at the top as it is at the bottom. You just add in different combination of gemstones. Okay. Okay. Great. So when you get to in between each of the pretzels, or the dog noses... Um, we're going to, um, these two swirly shapes, just in case you're not sure what I mean, we're going to add in, oh, whoops, no, oh, don't want to mind. Oh, I've got some, I've got some more here, I just like that one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to add in a Criticola. Thanks, Adlers. Um, and I'm going to sit it in between, um, sort of, so that the centre of it is sort of at the bottom of that point there. Sit it in between. Now, you're going to have to, um, with this, don't, don't let the Chrysocola sit right up to that weave and then pull the wire down. Because what will happen is you'll have it, it'll look like that. Yeah, and you'll have it pressed right up. Oh, so you need to leave, what, about a three mil gap? So, yeah, position it first. So take, it, take the wire nice and straight and position position it so you're bending that wire into place so you've got the same that's amount a brilliant, of wire another brilliant tip that spacing time. and then it will you know it sits evenly there mm -hmm. okay so add that into into there and then again wrapping around so i'm just i've got to hold it while i do the first one and then i'll take my finger out of the way so then wrapping around the sort of swirly bit of that um pretzel or Pretzel indeed. Dog's nose. <laughs> I love a pretzel. So we just go all the way across the top and again, it's up to you how many wraps you do, but what I'm trying to get is um, it, this wire to about this point here so that I can fit another little hematite in between to finish and just sort of really seal it up. So these are do it. This, this sort of um, technique or strategy then for add in these gemstones not only is it adding the lovely the pretty elements but this is making this a really strong piece structurally mm. because it's it's all little, lots of components but they're bound together top and bottom and then framed yeah so you know it's going to be a really strong it's not flimsy so if you did want to use it as a hair piece for example it would really stand the test of time and and it would take having you know um being sort of adjusted and moved around to suit sort of hairstyles and things. Okay. Right. So I'm just going to finish that one there. Add a little um, hematite in just to show you where they where they go. So they're going to go in between each of those swirls, and again, just carry on wrapping round. Okay. It's a lovely design. This. Yeah, and you know, isn't it nice and simple? Now you've seen it broken up, it's actually Yeah, it looks so complex, but actually, yeah, I suppose like anything, once you once you go step by step, yeah, it comes together at the end so beautifully, it's a doesn't nice, it? nice project to be able to break down and, and do in bite-sized parts, even at home. Like, so if you, you know, if you find it difficult to stay on a project for a long time or, you know, your hands get tired after a while, this is nice because you can pick it up and put it down. It's mm. a, bit, a bit like a jigsaw puzzle. You get so many pieces done and then put it down for a bit and then stitch so many pieces together and put it down for a bit and you can keep coming back to it right so basically this is this is what we're aiming for and we do this all the way across our eight sections i'm just gonna get that bit of wire right the way um uh, and then we're gonna frame that chrysocola okay so what we'd need for that is the 0.8 millimeter wire in the bare copper i've chose this because it gives us that contrast with the with the antique bronze and it's a little bit finer so it looks more detailed this bit and I'm going to cut a section and now um, I'm going to admit to not measuring this bit so but I'm going to go for about 10 centimeters okay that will give us a bit of excess as well so about 10 centimeters each bring my block in and I'm going to go to the center of that <coughs> 
and give it a nice sharp bend at the centre. So I've got this sort of pointy V shape. All right. Okay. You can see that on the block. Yeah. So that pointy V. And then um, I'm just going to give it a pinch to make that angle a bit steeper. I and mean, I'm trying to keep that curve. Um, so when you take the wire off the reel, you end up with this little curve. So try and keep that because that might help help out. And then I'm going to get um, my bell making pliers and try. So these are 10 mil rounds or eight and 10 mil rounds. Your Chrysocola. So we want a mandrel that's about the same diameter as the Chrysocola that you're using. Place that sort of into the point. So don't force it down. Just leave it sort of where the point is, and just use that as a guide to sort of push very gently the wire around so you get that sort of petal and um, sort of fish style petal shape okay so we like that love it like the christian fish sign yeah and then we're just gonna before we before we commit to that i'm just gonna check that it slots over the top of that chrysocola so just check it slots over yeah and if you're happy with that did you see lovely yeah it's yeah. beautiful if you're happy with that, we're then going to pull these sides up. So remember what I said about uh, making sure that you allow for the bend. So we're going to come just shy of where that crosses over, where they cross, and I'm going to bend the wire straight up like it's a leaf with a stem. Mm -hmm. We'll do the same with the other side. So just, just before, give yourself a, a couple of millimetres for the bend. Push against the pliers so we get that leaf, and it should be fairly even on each side. Great. All right. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to take that to the block. I'm only going to hammer the leaf part. Don't hammer anything else. Just around. The edge of the leaf. Okay, just to flatten it out and um, work hard in the wire because 0.8 is a little less robust than, than the one mil. And I'm just going to give it a bit of a curve with my fingers so that it sits sort of curvy. And then I'm going to take my right nose pliers, <coughs> hold on to where the sort of tip of the leaf, the sort of tip where it goes into the stem, and with my right nose pliers, and push that back on itself. So we're like making a, um, ah, you see that from all angles yeah. there. So it's like doubling back. Like a hook. Like a hook. I'm going to take those two wires, I'm going to hook them through. Ah, that's how you did it. So hook them through that sort of... The, the U-bend. Yeah, the bend in between those scallops. Hook it in, and it should just click down oh, on. Oh, clever. Okay. Yeah. So that's, that's up there. So what we do now, because it's a bit floppy if we leave it, we, it's not, you can't just leave it like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring the wires. So if I flip it over, I'm going to bring these wires and sort of try and hold them down into position and pull them out to the side like that. Hold the other one and pull it out to the side. So we're just changing the angle, right like that. And then we're going to wrap them in. So I'm going to push, push this wire through so it comes through to the front. Do the same with the other one. So it's sort of like hooking it into place. So down through the framework. I turn it back over. We've got them poking up through now. And then pull them over. And what I've done is pulled them so that they cross over so all the time you're going to try and keep that central because if you pull one side it might take it off to the side like that so keep it keep it and um, the bead sat within that um, frame allow these to cross over like so and then I've given those a bit of a pinch and it keeps them a bit more secure so pinch the wires to the frame like so and then let me just um, check, so I'm just thinking how long we leave them. So I'm just going to trim them down. We don't want too long. I don't want to make this too much too much of the detail because it's going to detract from everything else. So, But I do want to finish these wires in a decorative way. So I'm just going to trim them sort of from where they cross over underneath the bottom of that heart there. I'm just going to trim them about a centimetre from where the, the, they cross. Does mm -hmm. that make sense? Mm -hmm. Do the same on the other side. Okay. Again, this is something I, I would say to do: do them all, and then cut them all. Okay. Because if as soon as you make a spiral with a piece of wire, it, it's so hard to work out how long that piece of wire was. And um, so I would say get to this stage on each one, 
and then cut them all down so right, that you keep okay. them the same. And then you've got the two tails the same yeah. end as well. So then with the tip of my pliers there, because it's 0.8 wire, it's much easier to get a finer, a finer spiral. So I'm just going to spiral those. That snugs it in nicely, yeah. doesn't it? Spiral that that side and spiral the other one the other way. Spiral it and sit it, sit it wherever you think it looks best. So just keep continue to spiral that down until you're happy with where it sits. So I think it sits either, nice either side there. And that's it. That's all the elements to this design, sort of bringing it all together. Just lots of little bits all brought together. And actually, that's, that's quite nice just as the three, isn't it? So if you want to keep uh -huh. it even more simple, stop there. Beautiful. But you could have that at the back of the hair. Yeah, that would be nice. Now, you? you've done a smaller version here with oh, the yeah. bracelet. Yeah. So you could start like this if you want yeah. to start with something a little bit simpler. Yeah. And you've done the hearts. Yeah, so um, in terms of, yeah, it's, I suppose it's just a smaller project. It's actually mm. not that much simpler. So this is... All the hearts, they're all eight centimetres each, just exactly the same as I made the first lot and hammered down. And then you start by doing that channel set technique that we talked about when I got to the stage here on the yeah. on the necklace. Uh -huh. So we've discussed how to do that. So you do those on every one first and then you come back and do the edges and just, you know, fill them. It's beautiful. And the clasp, let me show you the clasp on this one. So it's like... Um, so you've got all the hearts and then can you see it's just like a... I love that. Just make a U shape um, and then turn the loops. So you've got loops either side, the U shape there. You've hammered it as well, have you? Um, no, that's just... I, I um, fiddled with it quite a lot of times. But, so work hard. But yeah, basically it's... Um, you do. It's beautiful. Basically, you make your... Make a, well, I did quite a squared off U shape. I thought it would work quite well with the... S sort of angles so Let's you just this. make make that shape um, and um, do a loop on each end so that's going to be where it attaches um, to the wire frame <laughs> I'm, I'm making this deliberately bigger to show you because it's easier to do it bigger so that's it that's it and then you will take um, your pliers. And you've used 1.5 with this, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I've used 1.5. I've made it a lot smaller, obviously, for that design, but you just roll that back. So that's, that's, your, amazing. that's your sort of clasp for yeah. that piece. And it sort of hides, doesn't Brilliant. it? Brilliant. Yeah, look, so here it is in the actual piece here. Yeah. Can you see? And then you undo it like that. Yeah. I love it. So you have to make sure you finish the bracelet with one upside down heart. You and went up the other wrong way, so that, that you do know what I mean. So it marries up together, yeah, yeah. So they marry up. Oh my god! So do you lay it all out before you start? Then up, down, up, down, up, down. Yeah. Well, the, each when you add in, you put the opposite way so that uh -huh. you can channel set them. Um, it's brilliant. So yeah, I just kept adding until I had enough to go around my wrist. Thank you so much. You're welcome. As always, amazing inspiration from Gemma Crow, everybody. Last few of the Chrysler Cola unchecked baskets. Victoria, Collector in Cumbria, Susan in Hampshire, Deborah in Derbyshire, Karen, Donna, Sheila, Meg, Janice. We, we haven't got enough for all of you to no. have a strand of Chrysler Cola, so you all need to check out. But you're competing with each other at the moment because only five of you are going to manage to get it. So if you don't check out now, you've got it in your basket, so we know you love it. Mm. Uh, you've got to check out or you're going to miss out. And that's, that's no way to start the weekend. Now I'm just going to bring my products towards me because what a strand that was. Yeah. We have got something very, very oh, special just amazing. now. 24 karat gold flex right. Wow. Now, this wasn't a thing Ooh, again. I, I didn't. This. Have you seen it? No. You've never seen not this? Gold, not gold. 24 karat gold. No. So, if you're making a really. So I put this for pearls. Yeah. Like, this is just something else. We are talking 24 karat gold. Please remember that because this yeah. is not going to be the same price as a steel would be. It is the most flexible of the, uh, of the range of flex, right? It's flex, right, number 49. Yes. And uh, just up here is a little diagram of how many 
you've got all these wires, beading wires here, and then you see where the yellow is? That represents that overlay of 24 karat gold. There is a huge amount of 24 karat gold in here. This really is premium quality. Um, now, it, 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 Flex Right is a beading wire like no other. You can rely on this for its absolute uh, strength. It uses state-of-the-art microwire technology. So you get a beading wire that's uh, really, really strong, of course, but it's got to be soft and flexible and durable. That's what this is. Mm -hmm. um, and it just gives you that finish, that professional finish, the one that you want. If you're using, let's say, rubies, diamonds, emeralds, uh, sapphires, of course you want to use, of course you want to use something like this, for sure, with pearls. Mm. It's gorgeous. Feel how soft it is, Gemma. I know, I love, I love Flex, right? It's really luxurious. And if I'm ever doing anything bridal, then um, it's Flex, right, is what I'll, what I'll use. Because it, it, it's its own thing. It's like a yeah. chain. You know, you, could, you don't have to cover uh -huh. this up. You know, like yes. beading thread is something that usually you cover up unless yes. you've got a decorative thing or you're going to do something fancy with it. But this, it, it's, it's so luxurious and it feels beautiful. It feels like silk, It does, it? yeah. It's lovely. Yeah. There is this nothing is... rigid or rickety about this, which you, you'll yeah. know what I mean if you've used a tiger tail or something like that. We're going to invest in pearls, like good pearls. We've got Pearl Weekend, haven't we, this yeah. next weekend? I've just heard some really fantastic rumours which i'm not allowed to repeat because i'll get in trouble so oh. well you can repeat them to me I'm well sure. let's just say no i can't in case i get fired but thing you better stay watching if but you love last pearls time, last time we were here together we left both of us very excited didn't we actually rang a few times each other i had to ring you because <laughs> you didn't say a word and i was like are you all right because you just left and was yeah i was really all right i couldn't speak because I was so excited, I was like, oh good, I thought, I'd upset, you. I thought I'd upset you because you didn't speak. No. But she was, I was like, I thought I'd upset you, did I, did I do something? Because no. that's how paranoid I am, everyone. Uh, now, 49.95, brilliant price, 24 karat gold. Let's never take away, you've got 30 foot. That is a lot of feet. <laughs> 29.95 go grab this fast we never have enough of this it goes so quickly this is one of the most prestigious elements we can possibly give you it is the only mm -hmm. element we give you that contains 24 carat gold now that is sensational i'm just waiting for your names to come through kpd no that's wrong kpb D04, loads of you there. Melissa, you've got yours. Caroline, Wendy, Isabel, you do need to make sure you're checking out baskets. We only have a handful of these. These are for you if you are doing those bridal fairs. Yeah. These are for you if you are doing that prestigious jewellery. If you're working with precious gemstones, if you want to command a higher price and you want to keep the integrity of your piece, you want it to be a pearl piece with 24 karat gold elements, absolutely, here you go. Here it is for mm. you. Just a wonderful opportunity. KPB. D04. Check out baskets, Shirley, collection Tyne and Wear. We're seeing multi buyers here as well. Mm -hmm. Look at that colour. And that is a lot, isn't it? So 30 foot is all, is 9.14 metres. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, which is which is quite a lot, a isn't lot. it? It's gonna go a long way. Yeah. You know, think That's a lot of like necklaces. 20 necklaces, 25 mm -hmm. necklaces, something like that. You know, it's it's gonna really work well for you and it, and it like I said you do, you don't have to have anything covering it it just looks lovely yeah it looks gorgeous and yeah. it feels incredible yeah it's beautiful well done to those that have got theirs uh, now don't forget to text us in have we had any texts we've been so busy we haven't looked we'll have a look now we'll have a look now one coming in here from uh, oh, oh gray in Somerset Gemma Crow just one word brilliant oh, thank with a kiss you, gray. Thank you, Gray and Somerset. Thank you. I'm glad you liked it. Oh, everyone's I loving loved it. Making it. Yeah. It, it. Just fantastic project, Gem. Beautiful. Oh, I loved it. Uh, one from Debbie coming in. Gemma, that is so beautiful. How long did it take you to make? Um, I'd say I worked on it for probably two days, um, stop start. But yeah, it's it's a good. But you did have to plan good. it as well. Yeah, yeah. So it's a good. Yeah, two days start to finish, as in planning, and I, and I'd say. That's sort of 15, 16 hours. So it's ish. wonderful. I mean, I probably did it mainly in one go, but, but that's because I, you know, if you're, you're in working, the flow. If you're working sensibly and you're doing your eight hour days, then you, know, you stop. Yeah. So you can't do that when you're a guest designer and you've got uh, time limits. 
No, it's well, it's not that. I did have time to do it. I just, you know, when you're getting absorbed in and engrossed in a project, it's hard to stop. Do you ever look up and it's 2 a.m.? Yes, all the time. <laughs> and you go, no! Yeah, very often. <laughs> Last night I did that. Yeah. I thought, oh, I've got to be at work. And me. I just shouldn't do it to myself. I have to watch telly or something. I'm like, oh, I like to be in bed by 8.30. I'm boring. No, I don't, I, no. And then I'll watch telly and then I'll be like, it's midnight, look what you've done. You've been in bed for ages and not even slept. No, I don't go to bed unless I'm going to sleep. Really? Yeah, unless it's, it's sleep time, I don't go. Oh, it's the best place ever, I'd say. Especially if there's snacks. Yeah, sport. No, see, I wouldn't work, I won't eat in my room and I won't watch TV in my room. <sighs> no. <laughs> do it. come round my ass and do it. It's my favourite thing. Oh, oh. in bed, no. But my favourite thing in the world would be in bed with like the remote control and a cheese fondue. <laughs> yeah, I know it's specific, no, but w I'd I be like, living I don't even the dream. My, I don't even like to sit on my sofa. I am a sit at the table, dining room chair person. I don't even go and, I don't even lay. lay I'm a terrible slob, aren't I? Yeah, I just I don't like lounging. Oh, I love that. I'm all about the lounge. I'm really bad at it. I get bored and fidget. I have to do. Be, you? Yeah, no. I'm, uh, yeah, I love... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they're saying I'm so bougie, I have servants to bring me stuff. Yeah. I am the least bougie person, can I just tell you that? Mm. It was a cheap skiing holiday. It was like <laughs> for nothing. I went to Bulgaria, it was so cheap, it is so brilliant. And it was the first time I ever skied. And you know what? I'm surprised I didn't get barred from the slopes, quite frankly. Have a look at this. Gemma, look what we've got, Larimar. Oh, that's lovely. Look at that. It's so tropical, isn't it? It is, absolutely. It is the location it comes from, isn't it? Dominican Republic, isn't yeah. it? It's the gemstone. Yeah. Larimar, um, it was the word for the sea, and Larissa, the guy who discovered it, um, he, that's, yeah. that's where, the, where he Larissa named this gemstone and from. Mar of the sea, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, but it is, it's that white sand and the ripply blue waters oh, on it, yeah. isn't it? That's exactly what it looks like. I'd love to go there, I would. And me. Mm. Oh, take us somewhere tropical. I'd love it. I'd love it. I don't fidget, I listen, I don't relax when I'm on holiday. Can't bear it. No. I can lie there for about an hour and I'm like, right, Off let's go, go discover something. Yeah. Let's go eat something we've never eaten before. Yeah. I'm like that, I cannot, cannot sit still on holiday. <laughs> Just think about the ocean, just think of the sea as we call it, don't yeah. we? Just think about, some people say ocean, some people say sea. Mm -hmm. What, they're different things, the sea and the ocean? I never knew that. Did you know that, Gemma? Y yes. The ocean and the sea are two different things. But there's oceans and seas. They're not they're like the same, they're a body of water, just the same, but when some, are called, some are called oceans and some are called seas. Is that why the Americans say the ocean? Because they've got oceans and we say the sea because it's a seaside. No. <laughs> I think this is another conversation for another day, everybody. Yes. Who knew? <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting better at geography since I put a map on my dining room wall. <laughs> listen, I went to, listen to what I did. I went to Bulgaria with a purse full of euros, not even knowing they had their own currency over there. That's how stupid I was. So I had to pay two lots of fees because I had to transfer pounds to euros, then euros to levy or whatever it's called. You find a lot of places take euros anyway. So you, you know, they took pounds. Because when I went there. to Hungary, it's, it's Florence, but I, that you could use euros. Wow. As well. Well, I didn't know that either. I had to take mm. euros to Hungary too. <laughs> now, here we have something that you just want a prong set. Yeah. I just want to put this in a silver ring. Oh, you could put this in your precious clay, your, yeah. your precious metal clay. Yeah. Be yeah. amazing in Argentium. It'd be amazing with your um, gallery wire as well. Yeah. Oh, I so love many ways. It. I mean, even your seed bead bezels you can use it with. Or... Yeah, it's gorgeous. I, I think I would try and keep it as simple as possible. You know, you know maybe a prong set, something mean, very simple so mm. that you really just can focus on. This gemstone, gemstone is only found in the Dominican Republic. We've only got four of them. Already we've got collectors with this in their basket waiting for the price. Look at that colour. Mm. And you know, apparently if you go to the Dominican Republic, it's very expensive over there. Yeah, yeah. Probably more, much more expensive than we get it here, mm. definitely. You're captive, aren't you? Well, and you've got to get the plane over there. 
Mm. And you've got the terrible hardship of having to have a holiday. I know, I'm <laughs> awful. ZFOQ3829.95 buys you a 20 millimeter, 15 carat Laramar cabochon. For me, precious metals, and I'd love to see this, so I definitely want to make a ring out of it. Yeah, I would, or, or at the center of a nice bracelet yeah. or curve or something like that. That would be really lovely. It does look well. Now we are super limited stock. We've got Angela, Caroline, and a collector um, a all price. wanting this. And we, I told you, we only have four left of these. ZFO Q38, 15 carats of Laramar. You do need to check out your baskets. It's about to sell out any second now. Uh, now, it's time to give you. I saw these earlier. Oh, I love these amber earrings. This is your next oh. star buy. Aren't they lovely? So you get here, I love amber anyway. Do you love amber, Jen? Yeah, I do love amber. I love yeah, it. very much. So you get two half drilled ambers. You get your, can she find the drill hole? She will. Ah, she will. You get your, um, but your posts, look. So you get that post there. Can you see, you get another sort of inner post. And what you do is you pop that into the half drill. Little bit of glue, pop it in, take it out. Little bit of glue pop it in and then leave it overnight. Mm -hmm. We've only got 35 of these left. You get the backs and these aren't butterfly backs, so they're sort of extra secure ones. Unfortunately, I don't know, I've, I'm missing a post, but you won't be, of course. You'll be able to make that complete set of earrings. If that's what you want to do, you might want to take these and do something else with them. But mm. how lovely is it to have all the elements to put together? This would make such a wonderful gift for somebody. Yeah, it would. It's so like a complete and professional looking piece, isn't mm. it? Mm. Really nice. Yeah, the, the, holes, the holes are there. Should I put one in? Yes, please. Yeah, they're nearer to you, aren't they? Here's what you will get. Your Baltic, and I love, I love the word butterscotch amber. Oops, the Daisy Tin Pots. Uh, amber gets darker over time, which makes me delighted. Because yeah. you could start these off as an, uh, these could be an heirloom piece. And as you pass these down from generation to generation, they get deeper. And I'd like to think wiser. Yeah. Unless you're a member of my family. <laughs> there you go, I've just sort of balanced it on there. But that's how it will look when it's set. It's beautiful. Tiny bit of glow. Put the glue on the post mm -hmm. rather than in the dish. Yes. And then pop it into the gemstone. Definitely. You could use like an E6000, you could use um, a clear like, glue. Like a, a clear glue. cement, yeah. yeah. A clear jewellery cement. And you only need the tiniest bit. You don't need to go, you know, go mad with it. No, little goes a lot. Oh, actually, yeah. do you know what? Um, I had a bit of glue education where I last worked. And you have, like, it was an actual thing. Mm. Do you know? half the time if you add more glue it's more likely to not stay and yeah. stick if you have a little bit you'll get more of a purchase and it it will have more air go to it so it'll go off and set a lot okay. easier yeah it's funny isn't it because mm. you think you, you you think oh slap as much glue on as you can but actually half the time the more glue you put yeah. on the, the, the more effective. problem you're gonna have yeah, yeah. <laughs> listen i could tell you about brittle glues i could <laughs> <laughs> I've become very boring, haven't I? Yeah. <laughs> to be honest, it's like knowledge you, know, you, knowledge you don't know you've got. You just, as a craft, as a craft, you sort of pick it up. But unless you, you know it, you don't, you don't yeah, exactly. know it. Exactly. You really need to know about glues in craft. It's, it is important. Because, I, you know, I know instinctively that I can't use that glue for that or I can't use this glue mm. for this. Yeah, and why? And why? You know? But I know that sort of almost instinctively. But I learned it at some point. I just... Through experience, so it's, it's good because it's... You didn't go to glue school like me, did you? I didn't you? go to glue yeah, school. Yeah, well, you'd be thankful no. for that. I'll never get that date. No, I'm glad I went. <laughs> I'm glad I did it. Uh, QBG Y74, your should be price is twelve ninety five. Oh, great price, yeah. I mean, it wasn't actual school. It was two days of talking about glue so that you could educate yourself and talk about it. I also had... Um, We'll talk about this Sorry, after. The glue your Seven eyelids open. pounds and 95 pence for a pair of earrings that you could possibly put together and sell for triple, quadruple that. Yeah. I was going to say, can you imagine seeing those in the shop window for that price? You just you, wouldn't, would you? You wouldn't believe it was amber. No. And it's a shop finish, isn't it? It's a shop bought finish uh -huh. you've got. So. Uh -huh. And you know something? You've got your certificate of authenticity. Take it and run. I absolutely mm. would. Mm. You need to. And it's, it's special deals like this. Again, we were talking about profit makers because 
let's be honest, it's not going to take you very long to do that. No. Okay, so you've done that. It's taken about four minutes of your time. So when time is money, you can afford to sort of give yourself, make a lot of these, maybe again, offer these to customers. for. If you charge them £20, you're still making a profit. They're getting an absolute treat of a deal for sterling silver amber earrings. These could be a Mother's Day gift. Mm. They could be an Easter gift for somebody who doesn't want chocolates. I mean, get me both. I want the chocolate and I want the gifts. Seven nine five. Not really. Uh, not really. Not really. I just happy for the family time. To be fair. QBG Y seventy four is your. I want more presents. They're saying. I'd l I love presents. We all love presents, don't we? Don't we? Here we go. I like giving presents more than I like receiving them. Yeah. I love, I love the look on someone's face when you get them something. Yeah. They're laughing at something. I yeah, don't know what it is. Uh, £7.95, <laughs> QBG, Y74. Now, we're going to keep going. Oh, Gemma. Mm -hmm. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're nice. What would you do? I'd ring it, would you? Yeah, rings or stitch them into like a collar or something. Yes. So that, yeah. We don't have a lot of this, but goodness me. <gasps> Oh, that is super sparkly. Yeah, gorgeous. Is it all spinel? Yeah. Wow. Oh, they're lovely, aren't they, those? I love these these drops with the flat, the straight edges. Mm. The oh, they my are. gosh, they're so junky. Yeah, I love those. Love that facet. This is a great one. So we've got mm. those wonderful squares. Love that. Great big plump drops. Then we have got your teardrops with those fat edges. Look at them. They're wonderful. Then you've got rondelles, and then you've got... Is that the same strand? Yes. Yeah, I was going to say, that's exactly it. It's the same strand, Jenny. It's graduated, yeah. Oh. It's a great bundle, isn't mm -hmm. it? Essentials. But you know what? Stash, yeah, you're right, stash builders. Utter yeah. stash builders. You always need those black gemstones, yeah. don't you? Yeah, I mean, these are luxury. luxury. I'd say use your luxury ones, and this mm. is your staple. Mm -hmm. So you've got everything, really. All of these for an incredible £29.95. Really What's fun, that per yeah. strand? This is black strand. Exactly. Look at these ones, because they haven't got spaces. They're uppy downy on them. You get way more on the strand that way. That's amazing. That's £7.50 each, isn't it? £7.50-ish each, says Gemma Crow. Gemma Crow knows. Mm. Gemma Crow knows. <laughs> Crow could be. I haven't got a crow nose. No, dad, Gemma Crow knows. The, the men have the crow nose in my family. But you could know stuff. Like, could it know. could be your own pan, little... Jewelry Maker Magazine, Gemma Crow Knows. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's good. It just came to me. What's it called? An epiphany. An epiphany, yeah. Is that what it's called or not? Is that when you yeah, have like... An epiphany, an idea, like a light bulb moment. It, it, should it be a life... Is an epiphany a life-changing yeah, moment? Probably, but <laughs> it could be. You never know. Crow, crow, crow knows. knows. Crow Knows. <laughs> it could crow change knows. my life. Crow Knows. <laughs> <laughs> And then we could have you um, going from country to country, um, you know, like looking, going to mines, looking at, and it could be called As the Crow Flies. Yeah. Do you like that? I'm coming that. out with crow puns left, right and centre. Yeah. I suppose you've heard them all before, haven't you? Yeah, sorry. <laughs> you've had that name all your life. <laughs> yeah, sorry. I it's like when people call me Jenny Clear here, And I love my name now. It's like a wicked name, isn't it? Crow. Yeah. Really good. Yeah, it is a good name. Yeah. You've That's never, never get thought married. of calling me clear a seal. <laughs> yeah, don't get married. No. I mean, why would you? No, for love, of course. It's the day of love. Of course you'd get married. Everyone loves that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I oh, like then. those. That's the... Uh, oh, these are so pretty. Is it Van Cleef? That's uh, Van Cleef? That's the uh, thing, isn't it? Is it Van Cleef? What's Van Cleef? That, that, the, that shape. What, like a Tudor cross? Yeah. That's the Van Cleef sort of flower, isn't it? I don't know. Oh. But, you, but Crow knows. <laughs> Crow knows. I'll have to ask you. <laughs> Shark fins. Oh, they're nice. Oh, that's, that's very Laura binding. She's got to have those. She's got to have them, hasn't You're she? Laura oh, binding. they could be fan shapes. Oh, yeah, they would. Because you could. Oh, sorry. I've oh, got, I've here got she them. goes, jewelry makers. I've got to have these. <gasps> Look at these little tubes. Oh, I love this bundle. Look at these. They're gorgeous top drill coins. Oh, oh I love it. Oh, I've got my jadeite bracelet on there. 
Oh, look, if you put four together, you get a circle. Oh, oh yeah. See what I mean? Yes. If you could, if you could, if I take them off the strand and do it, you would, you could sort of put them into a circular pattern. Yeah. And then that would be interesting. They're lovely, aren't they? Like the cheeses on, Never um, on, um, Trivial what's that? Pursuit. Trivial Pursuit. Yeah. yeah. It's how I'm trying to explain how to make the circle. Yeah. Like, yeah. What an amazing bundle. Yeah, I love it. Circles. Yeah, it's lovely. Got one, two, three, seven strands. All seven different. strands. Hang on a minute. So they're just less than £10 a strand. XRXC80, your rose quartz bundle here. Beautiful. Now we've got some peridot to hand, and I just think that works so gloriously mm. well. Let's also put it with amethyst. Amethyst? Aquamarine. Aquamarine. <laughs> I got mad. Well. Yeah, beautiful. And labradorite. Oh, oh, yes, labradorite. Yes, of course I can. Don't forget, if you spend over £20 here today at Jury Maker, you get a free gift. Mm. Here we go, look at this. That is a cracking bundle. Beautiful, isn't it? Very yeah. romantic, these soft pinks, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. And like all the things we've said about Rose Quartz today, it's so popular, everybody knows it, everybody loves it. You know, I think people are instantly drawn to Rose Quartz, aren't they? Definitely, absolutely they are. As lovely as that. Oh, that's so much. That is so much rose quartz. Look at it. It's gorgeous. Now we're gonna continue. Oh. Oh comes oh, in a wow. velvet pouch, so you know it's special. <clears throat> is this what I think it is? Stunning, isn't it? Any emerald with clarity, to me, oof. High, 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 high prices. This is stunning. Look at the clarity. I'm just going to grab a board here because I want to really show off those colours. Please excuse me for just a second. Oh, look at that. Look at the clarity. Mm. They've only been oiled and that's like us being moisturised. It's absolutely acceptable. Look. Other than that, other than a, a quick oiling, they're totally natural. They're stunning, aren't they? Some of them in particular are just completely clear. Oh, I love this strand. Yeah. <gasps> the colour. Striking. I just adore emerald anyway. I love green. I love emerald green. I've always mm. loved it. Um, Henry VIII's uh, favourite gemstone was emerald, That's is it. what they say. Had his um, initials um, set out in, in emeralds on a tablet. Oh. I don't know what a tablet is, but it was, it's a thing. If you look it up. Okay. He was quite bougie. Now, Colombian emerald is arguably the best emerald you can buy. And to have a Colombian emerald in your stash, even if you have no projects that demand something this high end right now, please know that these kinds of things don't happen every day. These kinds of opportunities where you've got a gemstone here of such a high caliber ready for you to make jewelry with. And in that, I mean, these are faceted and, and beautifully graduated for you with a drill hole. So you can then mm. take perhaps your flex rights with your 24 karat gold. Maybe it's going to be your argentium. Maybe you're going to make something out of your um, fine pure silver with your silver clay. Maybe you're going to take this to a jeweler and ask him or her to, to set it. it into something yeah. wonderfully breathtaking. This is May's birth gemstone. Look, we've only got one left. Are you mad? 39.95. I thought this was going to be two, three hundred pounds. Mm. You would think it I'm would I'm going to buy that. Yeah. You've got that valued. <laughs> Get the certificate of authenticity. I'm not telling you you can't sell it on. Put it with pearls. It's gone. Of course it's gone. Amazing. Now, I am absolutely gobsmacked at that price. Gobsmacked. You, you haven't seen it before, have you? I, I knew that it was going to... Did you? I haven't yeah. seen it before, no. Yeah, it's, it, yeah, it's an amazing price. It should have come with a warning, you know. Look at this sapphire. Nice. Aren't they lovely? I like the way you get a lot on the strand. Do you know, these would make lovely flowers too, wouldn't they? They would, actually. Perfect for flowers. Tiaras. Yeah. Something yeah. blue on your wedding day. Mm -hmm. They're perfect for tiara flowers. Mm -hmm. Or clusters, neckline pieces, you know, cluster the little clusters of flowers on us, like a talk style piece, look pretty. Definitely. Yeah. We've only six of these. I'm just going to grab these pearlies because I think these go beautifully. 
I do love a sapphire and pearl together. Yeah. Pretty These classic, are classic, isn't it? Yeah. And yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Very pretty. I mean, that's very bridal, isn't it? To mm -hmm. have the, something blue for your wedding day. Together with the bridal gemstone, which has got to be pearls or, or moonstone. They both work moonstone really well in bridal pieces. Yeah. yeah, they do. Another Loomberger price, $24.95. How many carrots? 60 carrots. That's 60 that's carrots. Amazing. You could just do little, <laughs> just tiny little, little drops. earrings, yeah. little tiny ones, and it's you'd have really a lot sweet. to work with. You've got about really four sweet, to the centimetre, haven't you? Three to yeah. the centimetre. Amazing. Amazing price again. Yeah. Ah, now, some information for you. We still got We've seven. had two of them bounce back, but we have how many unchecked baskets? If you checked out a basket for these and, and it said that they were sold out with two bounce back. And we, all, and we have 20 unchecked baskets. So if you would like the opportunity to get the last remaining two, you need to check out your baskets. Victoria, uh, Cumbria, Susan, Deborah, Karen, Donna, Sheila, Meg, Janice and, and more and more and more of you. Tyne and Ware, Devon, Norfolk. Uh, County Durham, you need to check out your baskets. We've only got a few of these left. We've only got two bounce back. They're £20 or 19 pounds or 19.95. And uh, if, do you know what? If you want to add something that's on our website that you find for very little of cost, that'll take you over the, uh, over the £20 mark, which means that you've also got a free strand because that's our Valentine's gift to you. If you spend £20 oh. pounds today, you get a free gift. Would you like to see? It's very um, generous, isn't it? It is, it is fabulous, isn't it? Mm. Here's a selection of the things you may get. You might get a strand of Labradorite. You might get a strand of Ruby. You might get a strand of Peridot. You might get a strand of Aquamarine. Citrine. Tanzanite. Opal. It's, it's worth it. It's going to be exciting. For it's that party, very isn't exciting. It? Do, 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 do. Chrysocola, make sure you grab yours very fast. Now, I'm going to give you a recap of the Russian dioxide that we had. Please don't forget our five o'clock mega deal as well, those three chains, because mm. they're coming up very soon. Where's the show going? Oh, no. Like so that. So quick. So fast. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Life goes by so fast, Gemma. It does. Doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it does. Look at that colour striking to the it nth is. degree. It is. It's, it's, I always think it's quite shocking, Dropside. It's, yeah. it's quite shocking and it's hard to believe it's real. Mm -hmm. I agree with you. As always, Gemma Crow. Oh, it's gorgeous. I've just popped that with a ruby and I think that's a lovely combination, isn't it? Yeah. It's a bit Christmassy. <gasps> oh, yeah. Do I say it? Oh, yeah. I love Christmas. Yeah. I opened up a savings account and everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I have to. Mm. <laughs> I have it. I just hope every year I'll be rich by then. It wouldn't matter. Yeah, but <laughs> I resigned to the fact that Jenny, you spend every bit, and then you have to wait. Like, how bad is January? It's such a long month, isn't it? Yeah. I was living out in the freezer for three weeks of January. Yeah. <laughs> MKN V48, your Russian diopside, and there's quite a few of you with unchecked baskets. I tell you what, they're really taking the mickey out of me today. Do you know, I just got, ooh, not another frozen quail's it's, it's, egg. It's the brace of pheasant style. Uh, well, <laughs> actually, on the farm next door to me, they have quails, so I get free quail's eggs if I want them. Ooh. <laughs> they go, ooh, free quail's eggs. I've oh, never dear. had a quail's egg. Oh, I have. I have had a quail's egg. Shall I tell you where I had a quail's egg? Please do. I had a quail's egg at Highgrove House with <gasps> Prince Charles. You ate a quail's egg with Prince Charles? Yes, I did, yeah. I did. Please elaborate on this story. Was he sat next to you, tucking into his quail's no, egg? He was three down from me. Why were you at dinner with Prince Charles? Um, because I was part of a fundraising. I was, I, was I was chosen. I won an award. And I was chosen to go and have dinner at Prince Charles' house and represent a certain part of the Prince Who was there? Um, I sat next to a lovely man called Lord Leonard Jagger, who was absolutely wonderful. Leonard Jagger? Yeah, and I sat next to uh, an American rugby player. I can't remember. Do you know that. they played at rugby in America? 
American footballer, football American, yeah, football, same thing. American football or hockey, was he hockey? I can't remember, Ducks or somebody. And then um, um, Kimberly Clark, who does all the things for toilets. <laughs> there was loads of people there. I've always wondered what she of, looks like. There was loads of people at this event, but it was a bank vendor, so I, I had to talk to these people with lots of money, try and get them to donate some money and to our And did you trust. like the quail's eggs? No, they were undercooked. But it's probably how they're supposed to be done by. Yeah, really? No? No, 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 no. No. Not for you. No, but I politely sort of covered it up with a lettuce leaf and... <laughs> <laughs> did you not say, Charles, do you want my quail's uh, egg? <laughs> no, Lord Leonard did instruct me on which knives and forks to use. This is like six... Go from the outside six in. Six glasses. I was, only, I was only about 19. Oh, 19 or 20. Play. Well done. Oh, lovely. Yeah, it's great. Eating a quail's egg with Prince yeah. Charles. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Reception oh. dinner. Nice. How lovely. Did you have all sorts of... Little was, bits first. It was uh, it was stunning, yeah. It was, uh, hors d'oeuvres and canapes and oh, I love canapes. I love them. Let's give you another deal. Yes, we go on. now. <laughs> oh, it's the wire. We're going to show the wire. I've got it over here. Yeah, I haven't got the pack. <laughs> Quails eggs, for Prince Charles. Does it get any more bougie than that? That is pretty bougie, actually. Yeah, <laughs> it's bougie on for a say. <laughs> One point five. We we were talking about this wire gauge earlier because yes. very very difficult to get hold of. It is. It is. And now when we sell it, we only sell it um, in three meter lengths. Mm -hmm. So you know to get the ten meters is it's a rarity. Yeah, brilliant. Three times as good. Well, it is. Yes, more than that. <laughs> uh, ten meters of that, which means you know you've got that rarity. Yeah. Uh, you get ten meters in your zero point four, and you get ten meters in your zero point six. Brilliant. So here's a lovely opportunity, yes, isn't it? Great combination, and you know I've used a bit of each in in the design, so and you will too. Nine pounds and ninety-five pence. O A X C fifty. Let me remind you of the chain deal. Um, now, please don't forget. I know I harp on about this a lot, but if you miss the show today, we repeat this show on YouTube. Go mm -hmm. ahead and watch it. Hopefully we've got some items left in stock. A lot of things might have sold out, but you can always try. You can shop 24 hours on our website, jewelrymaker.com. If you've seen anything that was on air, though it is likely these deals that we give you on air are usually only 24 hour deals. The price goes back up after mm -hmm. that to its original um, price. But always try, always try. Gemma Crow, thank you so much oh, for an amazingly inspirational project. Thanks, We've so. loved it. I've loved it. And thanks, Becky, for a great set of materials as well. When are you Super back? Good. On 18th, Tuesday. OK, well, I'll see you on Tuesday then. Oh, what show have mean? you got? Mid. Well, I think that might be me. Yeah. I bright, think it might be. Bright and cheerful, the kits. Lovely. Well, I can't wait. I'll see you after this. Thanks to Gemma Crow. Owning a strand of genuine gemstones is always exciting, but being able to use it in your handcrafted jewellery, then passing it on to its new owner with proof of its authenticity is even more incredible. Why not add one of our printed authenticity cards to your order and share that same feeling with your customers? You can also access online authenticity certificates through items you have previously ordered by looking at your order history on your account details. The certificate gives you valuable information about your purchase and is your guarantee of quality and peace of mind from Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. 
The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewellery making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. At Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Tune into Jewelry Maker every morning at 8 a.m. for our Breakfast Club. We'll be bringing you low, low prices, last chance to buy, and end of line stock. Make sure you're watching because once the deals are gone, they're gone. Check out your Wall of Fame entries in this hour and be in with a chance to win £100 credit to your account. The Breakfast Club on Jewelry Maker. This is more than just a five o'clock mega deal. We've got a triple strand deal for you. These are gorgeous. Three wonderful chains. And look how thick they are. Look how wonderful these are. I can't believe you're getting three for the five o'clock mega deal price. Absolutely love them. So I'm just going to take them back off my hand so I can show you the length of these. What is it, 18 inches or longer? They look, do you know what? I really like them just like this. Is this a Prince of Wales chain? They're 18 inches. They're all hallmarked as well. I've got it at the back here. So you've got a hallmark on these and a 925 sign. Oh, no, they're both saying 925 actually. Sorry. I love this. They can stack them like I've done here. They are all the so you get three of them. Can you see that there's three? A single drop pendant. Putting these all together, this is a great idea for a gift. Solid sterling silver Prince of Wales chain. You can't really see it very well on that white bust, can you? Will I put it on my back of my hand? I can see Dan hot footing it out the door, which means I'm sure. You don't even have to ask Dan, he just knows, he listens, which is a rarity. Thank you so much, darling angel. Thanks Dan and happy Valentine's Day Dan. Thank you. So the, you've got three chains here. give you a five o'clock mega deal price but you need to be ready because all three of these are going under 20 pounds yes 
You listen, what, right? Take yourself. These are thick chains. They're not really, really, really fine ones. They're lovely ropey Prince of Wales chains. Which I just love. Now, just picture yourself. You're in the high street right now. You go into a jeweler's. You need a chain exactly like this. You've only got thirty pounds in your purse. You're not sure, are you, whether you're going to get one? You're not sure. Oh, you de you definitely aren't going to get three for that price. But would you even get one for 30 pounds on the high street? Would you? I don't think you would. I think you'd walk into that shop, you'd have a look around and you'd turn on your heels and you'd walk out the door. 2.7 grams of solid sterling silver each for 19.95. Now we all know, don't we? Well, if we don't know, I'm going to tell you. The price of silver and gold fluctuates on a daily basis. You could be thinking, oh, I'll get that tomorrow. I'll get that tomorrow. Right now, we're giving you this deal for 19.95. Now, we give you great deals. We don't put, we, we, you know what? We are very limited stock on these. Look at, look at the stock going down. Loads of you shopping. Sue, Annette, remember the price of silver and gold fluctuates. This is a great price. At, at this price, you're, how, how much are these each then? Ah, uh, 6.65, you're just not, I mean, I don't think, I think you'd be very, very, very hard pushed to buy anything like this for 6.65. Again, it's pocket change each at 6.65. You've got three gifts there. You've got the bridesmaid sorted, maybe one little pearl suspended from each one, one little tanzanite suspended from each one. You've got an opportunity to perhaps make a profit with whatever you add to this or sell it just like it is. We're down to the last nine now and we've got too many of you and lots of you are multi-buying. Lots and lots and lots of you. I'd say 50% of those that have got this have multi-bought and you've bought in, in sixes, in twos, in fours. Uh, Isabel, you need to check out. Brenda, you need to check out. Brand new jewelry making. We're down to the last six. There is a queue on the phone. It's about two minutes long. Hit one to beat the queue. This is such a great opportunity, isn't it? And maybe you've got the most beautiful pendant. You don't have anything to put on that beautiful pendant. You don't have a, a chain to suspend that beautiful pendant on. Three left. And I've got Jeff, Wendy, Kate, Louisa, Brenda, Julie, uh, all wanting this. Now down to the last two. Two left now. Uh, I've got Julie, Wendy, Kate. Who's going to take the last two? UXXC03, your five o'clock mega deal. We've only got two of these. We've got one. I've got Karen. Jay in Kemp, Wendy, Kate in Bedfordshire, Brenda in Lancashire, Angela in Surrey, and I've got a queue on the phone lines. I think those are going to sell themselves out. There we go. I think, well, they pretty much have sold themselves. Keep trying to come through. If some bounce back, sometimes cards don't go through. Sometimes people go, oh, I can't afford that. Actually, I'll put it back. Just never know. You don't have that self-control, neither do I. Oh, wait, I could spread the cost. Fine, I'll take two. I am so bad for that. I'm paying for outfits. I, don't, I can't even remember buying. Or that my daughter's already stolen off me. Now, we've been talking about how wonderful amethyst is, particularly when it's in such a, such a lovely formation. And Gemma and I were talking about very tactile pieces of jewellery that you can make. Um, sensory jewellery, if you like. This would be a wonderful one for that, don't you think? This would be a wonderful one for a straight over the head neck. I really like the way it's knotted, just like this. Do you? Would you just put a... I'd, I'd be very, very tempted to take the last two off, save them for something else, and then clasp up just like this. Or take them all off and unclasp and re-clasp them, uh, re re knot them, sorry, and then put a clasp on. They could be really long. Oh yeah, you could do something really long, couldn't you? That would be nice. And you know, I think amethyst is a very Easter time. You've got the purple there, that springtime colour, great for the end of February. Don't forget at the end of February, it's Pancake Day. Shrove Tuesday. P-U-K, Y-87. And talking about that, it, this is a biblical gemstone, isn't it? It's a gemstone that we can trace back um, for, for hundreds and hundreds of years. February's birth gemstone, $29.95. Is not your price by a whistle or a whisker. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 on my strands. And you're about to pay pennies per gemstone. P-U-K-Y 87. 68 pence per gemstone at 12.95. I think we can, I think we can handle that. Do you? I think we can handle that. Absolutely. What a beautiful strand. What a very low price. I love a bit of purple. Colour of creativity. It's gorgeous. Becky Redican coming up tonight. Who's Becky's guest? 
Mel Green. Oh, is she launching her DVD? <gasps> Oh, let me tell you, you are in for a treat tonight because Mal Green's DVD is sensational. It's needle felting. It's wonderful. You want to see what she's created out of felt really easily. It's insane. Here's a little, uh, here's a little example. And then there's an amazing scene of like um, an African sunset. A literally amazing DVD. I filmed it with Mel and it was so much fun to film. I was delighted to, to do it with her. And it's fabulous. It was her first DVD and she was amazing. 450 carats of dog tooth amethyst. Now, we're going to give to you some sensational labradorite. Not just any labradorite. Have you ever, um, have you ever been to like somewhere where the water is so clear, it's like a, a river or a stream, and you see sort of flickers under the water as the water moves and the sun's beating down. I love days, like a hazy day. Nothing to do but paddle your feet. That's what this strand reminds me of. This is a powerful gemstone, I think. Look at how ethereal is this gemstone looking. I think it looks super powerful. These are beautiful, aren't they? Look at that. Luscious. And we can see those blues coming I mean they're very obvious but you've got flashes of incredible green beautiful reds in this I just think they're enchanted I do I think things like this just that come from mother nature that could be encapsulated wishes couldn't it no not fairies well maybe fairies but moonstone I feel is opal do you know something these could be where the rainbow starts could be fossilized rainbow drops i have never seen proof against it fossilized rainbow wouldn't, wouldn't you love that fossilized rainbow i mean there's no proof that these are fossilized rainbows i can't say there is but in my head all i need is a little bit of imagination and you look at that that's the violet isn't it Wow. I just think these are incredible. So beautiful. Labradorite is made up of layers. And the more layers you get, the more of that incredible colour and that incredible... Every single piece in this strand is just super powerful when I'm looking at it here. Peacock tones. Look at that. From the fantasy realm, I think these are. They're not. They're from the state of Labrador in Canada. But wow. Have you ever been... Have you? Ever, so I've been to... That was where this gemstone was discovered, sorry. These are from Madagascar. I've been to Niagara Falls in Canada, and it's just rainbow, 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 bounce, 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 rainbow, rainbow, rainbow. Incredible. Incredible, and this is the kind of effect you get that fluidity, you get those rainbows, and it just this is Mother Nature at her best because this is a totally natural strand. Do you think if, um, if we didn't let's just think about this if we came down from Earth or we woke up in the morning and we didn't know anything about anything, I've just lost my uh, talk back just for the purpose of my director, we didn't know anything about anything. Um, do you not think that the power of this kind of gemstone could be? more powerful than a diamond do you think do you not think that if we didn't know the value of these against a diamond if we didn't know the value of these against any any precious gemstone would these not be precious are these not just as much or more effective than any gemstone out there look at what you're getting something else that you just don't get labrador essence in any other gem i think it's one of those ones isn't it that people just absolutely adore and I know that I am absolutely I'm up there one of these in a pendant is so striking and it's one of those gemstones you wear and look at this price it's tiny in comparison to its power I think this is an opportunity for you to make I put these I put these in your argentium I put these with your sterling silver absolutely if you go to a lot of the silversmith shops you'll see this gemstone a lot and there's a reason for it I think people are, are, are mesmerized I know I certainly am mesmerized by labradorite because of its effect because it has an effect like no other gemstone on earth and you're seeing it right there in every single one of these drops and I really like the paler tones of the grays that you're getting from this because when you see those reds they're just more powerful to me anyway now we're going to leave that one with you 
And I'm now going to give you some cabochon. Oh, now we had a lot of you in for the Chrysler Color. This will go very beautifully indeed with Gemma's project. So we've got a great big oval. I'm going to just move that away. Look, we were talking earlier about the ocean colours of this, weren't we? And how, um, look, you can see, so this is a gemstone that's found um, sometimes in the same place that malachite is found. And you can see those malachite tones. When I was in Bulgaria, we, um, I took a picture, I don't know if you saw it, I put it on my Facebook page, my Jewelry Maker Facebook page. Um, there were malachite carvings, like a big horse carved out of malachite. It was incredible. And, uh, well, Alison Tarry told me to ditch the skis and buy as much of those gemstones as I possibly could. I did not do that. Now, to be fair, look at that. These are mesmerising, aren't they? So you're going to get a guaranteed 98 carats. That might be spread across three gemstones. It might be spread across, across more. I've got two here. I'm just bringing them down to the table. I do apologise there, Dan, um, so that you can see that colour. Now, would you soutache these? Would you argentium these? Would you seed bead around them? Would you gallery wire? I'd gallery wire. I'd do all of those things and more. And I'd be delighted when you, when you see this price, you'll be delighted. So these are totally natural. They're from the Congo. It's not only on Bongo. 1995 GHN V31, 98 carats guaranteed. These are just beautiful. I think these look amazing with gold. I think these look amazing with rose. Look at the price you're paying for Chrysler Cola. This is just incredible. Oh. You've only got five pence to spend after that to get your free gift. So you spend 20 pounds with us today, spend 20 pounds with us today, you get a free gift. And here's an example of the things that you might get. We're being very generous. It could be any one of these strands that you get as a free gift. That's an example. Which one do you hope to get out of these? I like all of them. I'd want... Oh, Peridot is one of my favourites. Yeah, and I love citrine, as you know. That ruby is gorgeous. Oh, they're all gorgeous. I'd want them all. I would. Now, all you've got to do is spend £20 of this day to enjoy that. Those that have sold out. Oops, Daisy. So I'm going to continue on for you. And uh, I think we've got here a very important element if you're using high-end gemstones. You want, you want some solid... Are these solid stone silver? There, there's a lot of silver and rose gold in these. Now, you've got little cubic zirconias in here too. They're lovely. Do you know, I think these would make an amazing addition to your, to your chains. Now, you'd probably want to put them on a jump ring. Let me just see how they sit if you don't put them on a jump ring. Because they've got that open space, sometimes they look nice. Um, I really love the mix of rose gold and silver. I think it looks fabulous. <laughs> we did have a rose gold chain not long ago, but actually... I think it looked lovely. Just now, you might want to you might want to put a jump ring on this. Traditionally, you would do that. Let's see how it falls. Bum 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 ba -dum -ba. Oh, I like that. I'd put it up the other way. Hang on. Do you know what it reminds me of? The Moschino heart. It's just how I roll. Oh, sorry, yes, Tiffany and co have a heart like that, do they, Kerry? Kerry says that's very Tiffany. She would know. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Oh, I love it. And you're getting five of those. Would you put them in earrings? Would they be five different pendants? Would they go on a bracelet? Now, listen. This is sterling silver... Hang on a minute, you get five of these. They're sterling silver. You, and they've got a cubic zirconia. What are you doing? These are going down to five pounds. It's lunacy. I love it. You've got to be quick. We don't have many of these left. She's gone mad. That's what she's gone. 
Oh, you girls had a Disney trip. That's why she's tired from that and she's loving it. Did, which Disney? You went to a Paris, didn't you? Was it wonderful? They had a lovely time. Five pounds is all you are paying. Our oh, Paula from Jewelry Maker went there. Did you bump into her? You were in the. You were there at the same time. Five pounds, just incredible. I'm absolutely gobsmacked. Gobsmacked at that price. ICR F69. You've got to be quick for this one. Uh, lots and lots of you there. Well done to Angela, Roz in Yorkshire, Mary in the Shire, Isabel, Sarah, Helen, Verena, Tina, uh, Suzanne, Caroline, Janet, another Angela, Amanda, Sharon, uh, Collector in Kildare. Oh, I was in Kildare not long ago myself. Now, there's an equestrian shop in Kildare that I went to. Let's go to... Boop, boop, ba -doo. I love this. This is Kerry's favourite strand. It's like a sweetie bracelet, isn't it? But much more exclusive. I love this. I think it's beautiful. And I think I'd put this in a very summery necklace or two bracelets I'd make out of this with some sterling silver uh, jump rings and I'd put a little charm on, on the end. So from the Beryl family we have Aquamarine which is March's birth gemstone. You can see the blues in there. Emerald is a form of Beryl as well. We've got some Heliodor which is the yellow. And then we've got some wonderful Morganite which is the pink. Beautiful aren't they? Now can you imagine, it, you know how much value there is on an aquamarine let's say if this is a whole strand of aquamarine i mean look at these they're beautiful and they go together and we we're talking about mojos earlier and how sometimes we lose our color mojos these all go together so well you don't have to really think about that you could just simply rosary link these you could simply strand these onto some beading wire and put a lovely clasp i put a tea bar clasp i think on it you've got a whopping 190 carats for 1995, JFKY06 Dryton Code. I think you could knot these in a pearl knotting style. I think these would work really nicely in between pearls as well. They're just beautiful. And what a price, under 20 pounds. Gorgeous, aren't they? Uh, do make sure you're quick in checking out your baskets. Don't miss out on this one. I'm just gonna have a sip of my water, please do excuse me. You get just five pence more puts you into that bracket with your free gift. So you've got to spend 20 pounds in a transaction it's a basket price, so it could be a couple of strands. It doesn't have to be one item, just that basket price got a total of £20 for you to get a free gift. It's our Valentine's gift to you because we love you so much. Are you having a lovely Valentine's Day so far, everybody? Did anyone get anything special? You got to spend it with us. Gemma Crow. Yeah, we had, a, we had a great Valentine's Day. I got woken up by my dog who was super excited to see me. and She poured me in the face. Uh, JFKY06, we got back last night. Gorgeous, so beautiful, so pretty. I, I just like the pinks and the blues together. I think they're, they're super feminine, aren't they? Gorgeous. Now, we're going to keep going, and this time we're going to give you some sapphire. These are lush. Now, we had earlier, yeah, can I just take this, look at the sapphires and rubies together. If you're feeling super posh. These make really nice bracelets, stacker-style bracelets, don't they? Now, this ruby was an example of one of the free strands you might get. You could get a free ruby, yeah. Who could you get free tans tonight? You could get... Faceted round, rondelles, sorry, of sapphire. Now, these will look really pretty with pearls. This is September's birth gemstone. And blue, it's one of the Pantone colours. It's the colour, isn't it, of the season, of the year. Look at those together. You're something blue in your bride or gemstone. We're going to give you a ridiculously look. We're taking it under £10. Sapphires for under £10. Wait, wait. Not just any sapphires. These are Thai sapphires. They are totally natural. 
I'd love to rosary. I'd put these in groups of three and rosary link them into a necklace and a bracelet set because you've got loads on your strand here. You could ombre them if you wanted to. They are graduated for you. There you go. There's your special price, nine pounds and ninety-five pence. They are graduated for you from two by one to four by three. So a nice, um, a nice graduation there. A lovely, very obvious graduation that you're getting there. ZIJ K28, you've got 28 carats. Well done to every single one of you. So lovely to see all your names. Did you have a lovely day? Don't forget to text us in 60777. Maybe you've got a Valentine's message you would like to say to somebody. Text us in. We'd love to, we'd love to give you a... Do you remember somebody asked somebody to marry them once on a text? Yeah, they did. Years ago. Huh. The things you do. Yeah, on Jewelry Maker. It was lovely. How cute is that? And what a very unique way to propose. Maybe you want to do that. Get your messages in. ZIJ K28. I could be happy to assist with any proposals. Hey, listen, it's always nice to do something different, isn't it? That would be a different one today, wouldn't it, Jewelry Makers? Now, I feel like it's time to give you the pearls that we keep grabbing, or I keep grabbing, because they are gorgeous, and we've had so many messages that it'd be rude not to. It's time for your next star buy. pearls in your collection and particularly these because if you have a look they're flat at the bottom and then domed at the top now this works really really well if you want to stitch them into something like a backing foundation because and, and do you know what it also works really well if you want to do something bridal and stitch in a bridal gown pearls this works perfectly just think about the trimming on a veil watch our sister channel sewing street keep your eyes peeled for that because there will be some combined projects we're very excited now you've got a very natural strand here of different colors and i adore that don't you love the way these go together i think they look great like that i think i'd use a toggle clasp again or something a really pretty clasp and then make a bracelet I'd make a necklace out of these two. I think you could do like a really tapered piece. So have these two as a choker and then a big pearl in the center as a pendant. I think it looked gorgeous like that. QRQ, F14 is your item code. These are hand selected, which means they've been hand selected for their color. They are totally natural. These beautiful mini Baroque pearls are going to add that touch of class and elegance to your piece. You can tell they're natural pearls straight away. You can see the organic formation of these. There is nothing quite like the way pearls make you feel, is there? They're definitely one of my, definitely in my top five gemstones to, to grab here at Jewelry Maker because they feel so regal. They feel so classy. They're also a bridal gemstone. They're also one of the birth gemstones that represent June. They are such a well-known gemstone and well-known for being expensive. And I feel like they make you look expensive. They give off that vibe, don't they? That power. For just $17.95, you've got such a long strand here. Now, you've got them. They're drilled sort of through the side rather than at the top. And like I was saying, one side gives you a flat bottom. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just show you that. Now you're gonna have to be quick with these. We don't have loads, these are hand selected. They're all totally natural. So you've got that flat, flatness on one side, which I'm just gonna see if I can show you. So do you see how that's got a sort of flat back to it? And then I'm gonna flip it over if I can. And then you've got that lovely dome. They're just beautiful. Aren't they gorgeous? I love them. Do you love pearls? I adore them. I'm all about the pearl. Oh, we're getting multi-buyers here. Susan's bought two. Helen and Meg are in for this one also. Uh, do you know there's three ways you can shop with us? On the phone lines. It's a free phone number. It's on, your, on the bottom of your screen right now. www.jewelrymaker.com. If you're doing it in a webby way, uh, if you haven't got the app, download it. It's free to download. You can pay with uh, debit card, credit card, or PayPal. These are hand-selected. 
they're absolutely gorgeous. This could be the one that takes you up to £20 for that free gift as well. And maybe you're going to put these with Tanzanite because they absolutely belong there, don't they? They absolutely do. That could be one of your free strands, by the way. I'm going to leave that one with you. Lots of you are there. You do need everybody, everybody bar one person has multi bought on that one. So we're going to give you some deep amethyst faceted nuggets. I really like the way that these are set out and they have little glass beads in between them. I think that gives us a nice, um, a nice bit of inspiration, actually, on how you might want to use them. I think that would make a lovely necklace just like this. I'll pop these on a bust for you so that you can see. Now, if you look at this like this, you'll think, mm, actually, I really like that. I think it's a brilliant way of, uh, and just simply add a clasp. Obviously unstrand them, maybe put them onto something else, maybe knot them. In here we've got little bicones that you get with them in between. I think they're glass. It doesn't say they're anything else but glass, so yes, I'd, I'd, I'm a, the assumption here is that these are little glass beads in between. Isn't that lovely, just like that? You could put like a cross, a wire work cross at the bottom. And again, that's a very Easter piece of jewellery. So just imagine a cross coming down here. I mean, what a great gift for somebody. Deep amethyst, rich amethyst, February's birth gemstone. A gemstone that is mentioned in the Bible, a gemstone that has that depth of colour. It goes so well with greens. I've got this peridot strand next to me. I just love those together. What a great juicy combination of colour you're getting there. And you've got a lot for your money here. You've got a, a huge carat weight of 310 carats of gorgeous amethyst. A biblical gemstone, like I just said. But, uh, you know, so much more than just that. If you are into crystal healing, go and check out the healing properties. It, this is said to be, if you believe in that kind of thing, you might think it's stuff and nonsense. So it's absolutely your prerogative. But this is said to be a gemstone to give you a, a peace of mind. Now, if you believe in that kind of thing, if you do, on Sunday night... We've got a bit of a special for you. Oh my gosh, look at the size of this emerald. And you don't just get one like this. I really want this, I'd love a ring. Look at the size of that in a ring, that'd be sensational, wouldn't it? Now these are top drilled, or corner drilled, should I say. So they will sit like this if you, if, if they were, oh, they're amazing. I love this one, look, that is a, big chunky emerald just this one i would pay the price we're going to go for just this one you haven't just got one this is a birth gemstone of course emerald is uh, is may's birth gemstone we we're talking earlier about it being henry the eighth's favorite gemstone and him having his name um his initials outlaid in um emeralds because you know he was he was king henry that is extra isn't it it's very extra of henry the eighth to do that I mean, I, who doesn't want their, their initials spelt out in emeralds? Who's going to say no to that? You've got earring opportunities here. I, I do think I want to go down the gallery wire route. And there's a proper emerald cut as well, aren't they? Now, I've got six on my strand. So for 41 95 I am not arguing with anybody. We're going to give you such a low price tag. And if you do do Rock and Gems shows, I would... Um, Separate them. Absolutely, I would. Twenty-four ninety-five. I've got those rubies. I want to put next to the. I love emeralds and rubies together. It's quite a Tudor combination, isn't it? And they like their wealth there. I think uh, green is is the colour of regality too, isn't it? Greens, purples, reds, very regal, very striking, very statement colours. When you can see, I can, you can easily identify these straight away as emeralds. They're totally natural. Um, did you know that each, well, I was told, I, don't, I, I hope this is true, that each, <laughs> they're all laughing like, oh, what's she going to say? No, it's nothing bad. Um, every emerald mine gives you a slightly different green. That's interesting, isn't it? Isn't that interesting? COV R69. <laughs> they're always worried when I say, someone told me, oh, what are you going to say? It's not about fossilised fairy wings, is it? Look, you, you can live by science if you want. Sometimes, isn't it just nice to live by magic? <sighs> you are on my side, aren't you? You are on my side, right? 
Yes, we have a director called Paul who gets very angry when I say peacocks accidentally forgot to go back to Fantasyland because they couldn't fly up to the vort to the hole, you know, where they go back through and it closes up. What's that called? When there's a hole and you go through it and you go back into your own world. Is it a vortex? Something like that. I don't know where my vortex is. I'm stuck on Earth too. Yes, the dragon thing does bother him. Now, Eunice, you've got yours. Uh, Verona, you beautiful name. You've got yours. Amanda, Diana's multiplying. Why wouldn't you? Uh, Suzanne, you've got yours. Uh, Cheryl and Marie. Oh, gosh, we are busy as bees. Paul said if I say one thing that bothers him, he's just leaving, did he? Well, take your pick, Demirs. Twenty-four ninety-five. <laughs> Because I think dragons, actually, were just the last dinosaur. I think one day someone w walked into a cave, like many years ago, like George and the Dragon Age, and were like, oh, a drag I'm going to call you a dragon. But they're very similar in description to a dinosaur. Could it have been? Now, turtles and tortoises, they live a very long time, don't they? Dinosaurs might have lived for hundreds of years, too. Oh, turtles are dinosaurs, though. They're related to dinosaurs. So are chickens. COV R69. It's, they're laughing at me, but it's true. Now, we're going to keep going. <sighs> yeah, but look at a chicken's foot. That's like a dinosaur's foot. Think about it. Think about it. Look at this. Look at this. Beautiful, isn't it? Now, do you remember earlier we had the grey version of these? What an amazing combination. The blues that you're getting from them. To me, this is a strand where you're going out dancing or you're going out. Look, putting one in each ear. Oh, these would be amazing for cufflinks. They'd be fabulous for that, especially for the groom and the ushers. Wonderful. Oh, and the best man. Let's not, let's not discount the best man. Look at that. What a pizzazz of colour. I love it. I love it. Petrol blues. Put it with peacock greens. Gorgeous. These are strictly come beading. Twelve ninety-five. You cannot argue with that price, can you? Two hundred and fifty carats of blue-coated quartz. Now you've got that. You've you've got the knowledge that it's a genuine gemstone. Then you've got that incredible colour over the top. So you're getting the wonderful clarity that you would enjoy from a quartz, but you're getting that in fabulous coating, that mystic coating over the top. You've got all those facets. You've got all this wonderful light play. These are beautiful. I'd love to see these in earrings. Look at those together. They're gorgeous. They're gorgeous. Don't forget the wonderful Becky Redican is up tonight with Mel, and Mel will be doing her DVD launch, which we're very excited about. Now, have a look. I love that. What does this remind you of? Mosaics. Do you know what it reminds me of? If you've ever got a, have you got a scrap box of fabrics? If you are a bit of a sewer, bit of a seamstress, bit of a quilter, it reminds me of my scrap box of fabrics. You know when they all sort of overlay each other. These are beautiful. I love these. Have you ever seen that patchwork elephant? That's what these remind me of. Like this reminds me of patchwork. That's what it is. They're gorgeous. I really love that every single one is giving us something entirely different. I really love the idea of doing macrame bracelets out of these. I do a purple base, and I thought, oh, you could do these with wire if you wanted to. But what great stretches these would make! One of these in a wish bracelet because you've got all that colour. One of these is you could really home in on each one of these, couldn't you? OXG P23 is your item code. You've got 320 carats going down to 12.95.
actually, no, we're going to give you an even better price. Eight pounds and 95 pence. Eight tiny pounds. Pocket money price for you. Really effective as well. Oh, these would be really fabulous on Mother's Day. And again, you can make wish, wish bracelets for Mother's Day projects. I'm going to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, thirty-six. That's thirty-six wash bracelets, which would be twenty-five pence per gemstone. I think we can deal with that. Does it remind you of, of of patchwork? They just do. You know, things just remind you of different things, don't they? They're gorgeous. Love them. Are you thinking about Mother's Day? What is it about a month's time, isn't it? About a month's time, our Mother's Day. Oh, I do. Ooh, a nice roast lamb on Mother's Day. You can't beat it, can you? Love that. I love it. Now, we're running out of time, girls and boys. Ooh. Is this lava kite or black labradorite? It is lava kite. You know thunder clouds? You know when you get sheet lightning, not fork lightning? And it seems to light the clouds up. This is what this reminds me. I love a thunderstorm. Do you feel like when, or is this just me? Do you feel like if there's a thunderstorm and you cast a spell, it'll, it'll happen? Or is that just me? Oh, come on, I get extra dramatic when there's a thunderstorm and I suddenly think I'm like some kind of witch. And I'm like, thunder. And I take the energy from the thunder. I am really weird, aren't I? It could be anything. I could be like casting spells of loveliness because obviously I'm a white witch. Look at that. Do you see what I mean though? That thundercloud and then that flash, that, that sheet lightning that just lights up the sky. Mesmerising, isn't it? That electric energy that seems to flow from this gemstone. I think... Do you know something? I think I'd separate these because they're huge. And I think I would make something like, I don't know, like a, oh, actually, yeah, I'd put them in a necklace and I'd put a tassel underneath them. One of these and just use that to weigh down the necklace. And, I, and maybe I put a labradorite running through some smaller gemstones. One of these is going to make a dramatic entrance like that thundercloud. PGT A45 Lava Kite. For seven, look, these are huge 60, we don't really get 16 millimetre rounds readily and freely, do we? They are just something else, aren't they? Very, very majestic, if you're me. What do you think? And again, these could go into your chakra bracelets, couldn't they? We'll be doing chakra bracelets on Sunday. I'm getting very spiritual. I can thank you for that, Becky. Becky, Becky put that together for me because she told everyone I'd like that. I would like that. Oh, Kerry, sorry, I, your voices are very similar. Now, let's give you Look at this concave facet. Now you've got drops here of smoky quartz. So you've got a national gemstone of Scotland. Um, I think I'd really want these in a necklace and a ring matching. They're, they're just lovely, aren't they? Now they're very slightly graduated, so you could... Ah, well, you've got a suite, haven't you? I'd do earrings, a pendant and a ring. Earrings pendant ring. Yes, you could do two sets of that. They're lovely. Now, what's really interesting about this strand, watch as it goes around. There's no flat side to these. They both have what, what we would call a coulee. They've got a lovely edge. So you can house those uh, in, in many different ways. You can 
you can use your flat wire if you can get hold of it. You could use your um, your gallery wire. You could you could sue tash these. I, I'd want to I'd want to let them move though. You could prong set these now. A very finely drill hold at the top. You can totally take advantage of that. What a lovely, lovely strand this is. Look at that colour. Like little golden fireworks. And because you've got that incredible cut, you're getting more than just the gemstone. You're getting, well, now let me tell you, I did a bit of research on this gemstone, in fact, and I was having a look um, at where else you could get them. They were about £60 each. This is a very, very difficult process. Think about how much wastage goes on. Think about how much, what size of a gemstone you would need in the first place to then get it down to not only on one side, that concave fasting, but on the underside as well. You'd have to have a pretty large piece, wouldn't you? There's a lot of waste that goes into this kind of cut. But the reason we do it is because it gives you the effect that you're seeing now. So we don't mind paying that extra because you get extra, you get more in, a, in an effect. So yes, these are a much more expensive cut. Why? Because we want this kind of effect, because we want that vortex. We want to be drawn right into the center of these gemstones. PMR U86. Now I've seen these for more individually elsewhere. They're 39 pounds and 95 pence. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on my strand. You should have the same. 39.95. What's that per gemstone then? Because that cut makes such a difference. Eight, my darling angel. 4.99 each and I've seen them individually out there. This is, oh, do you know what? Let me just tell you, the ones that I saw, and this was a couple, a couple of months ago, so that was when I, I price compared these. Um, the ones I saw were only concave faceted on one side. Look at that. They're gorgeous, aren't they? They're gorgeous. There's something so different for your collection. I do have some rainbow moonstone. You know what I like about rainbow moonstone, don't you? I think that when fairies come to the end of their um, duties on earth, they lay down and they go to sleep and they are made into fossilized fairy wings, also known as rainbow moonstone. Now I have absolutely no no proof to no proof to back this up whatsoever. But just think about this. You know if you ever throw a coin into a wishing well or you ever look up to the sky and see a rainbow and you think it's so special that you're going to make a wish. This is the sort of gemstone that I would think could grant wishes. And again, I have absolutely no proof. It's just the ethereal quality of this that makes me think it's a gemstone. You would, make a, you would expect a wish to come true. You could tell it your wishes. And maybe those are wishes just floating around. Maybe they are. Holding in all our hopes and wishes and dreams. Moonstone is a gemstone that, of course, because of that ethereal blue, that inner magic, has such a strong connection with spiritual healing. And if that's your bag, you will be energizing these in the next full moon. If it's not, and you think that's stuff and nonsense, you will indeed still look at the sheer beauty of this gemstone, won't you? Don't you love that blue iridescence? I would absolutely adore to put this in a ring because I want to see that. I want to see that power. Look at this price. If you were to put this in a ring, this is a big cabochon. That's 25 carats, June's birth gemstone. Now, I think you could fetch a very large price for that. Now, when you put it against the skin like that, it kind of drowns out that, um, that blue iridescence. So I would definitely want to raise it up a little bit, allow the light to travel around it. And you can do that in lots of different techniques. You can do that by prong setting. You can do that by gallery setting as well. There's lots of information on our 
on our um, website and of course on our YouTube channel. Now we only have a few of these left and we have hundreds of you shopping today and this is just £9.95. 30 day money back guarantee is of course yours with everything you purchase. I would absolutely get the certificate of authenticity. You can see, can't you, that ethereal blue, that enchanted gemstone that's right in front of you. That's what I think if you were to walk into an enchanted wood. Maybe you'd see a moonstone or two. ETN V20. You know when you look up at the moon, you see this blue hue. You get that bright, brilliant white and that incredible blue. Could moonstone be a little bit of that? £9.95. Gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Can I? Oh, we've had a lot of you asking uh, if you can have another little look at the Russian dioxide. And absolutely, we'd be delighted to do that. A gorgeous strand of Russian dioxide that is so striking. So this was part of Gemma's challenge today. If you didn't get it and you're just getting in from work and you're thinking, what has gone on? I need everything. I love Gemma Crow's work. I've seen it on Facebook. I've rushed home. We still have some of the Russian dioxide left, but you're going to have to be, oh, it's seriously over allocated. We have over 20 in unchecked baskets. These are micro faceted. They're two millimeters. They're super striking. They're go we did take these to a crazy price, yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, this is Russian dioxide, and these are teeny weeny facet. Can you imagine how difficult it is to facet that small? And you know what? It's not borrowers that do that. It's actual lapidrists. You think that you're going to do that with tiny little fingers? It's amazing, isn't it? MKNV48, 15 carats of Russian dioxide. For fourteen ninety five. Now remember, we have far more unchecked baskets than we than we want, which we are seriously over allocated for this trend. It will sell itself out. Uh, I just want to give you a little reminder. Uh, and if you've just joined us, Rebecca Redican takes you through to this evening with Mel Green. And you know something? Mel's got her brand new DVD. It's incredible, and it is all about needle felting. You will be mind blown, jaw on the floor with these designs. They are. Fabulous. Uh, I hope you're going to, maybe you're going to be needle felting for the first time. Now, if you didn't know and you've just joined us, if you spend £20 today on Valentine's Day, got to be today, because only Valentine's Day today, uh, then we'll give you a free gift. Here is an example of some of the free gifts you might get. So I have, and this was just sent to us as a random selection, uh, you might get one of these. So you might get Labradorite, you might get Ruby, Ruby, Labradorite, Citrine, Peridot, Aquamarine, Tanzanite, Opal. That's just a random selection. That This is a very fantastic opportunity for you. And isn't it exciting getting something for free? Isn't it exciting not knowing what you're going to get? Who doesn't love getting things free? I love it. I love it when there's somebody in the street giving out ice creams just because they're promoting. And I'm not even hungry, but it's free. I love it when I get so Do you know what the greatest thing about this is? You're getting something for free that you could potentially make a profit out of or a present out of. Now that, that is good, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You're getting something that could last forever. Better than an ice cream for me. Oh, you know something? I don't know where our Chrysler Cola is. We couldn't... It, it, yes, if somebody is shopping for the first time today, they're going to get not only their free goodie, because if they've spent over £20, but two free strands and a Get Started DVD. Today would be a, a really wonderful opportunity for you to shop with us for the very first time. Now, your Chrysler Cola rounds, unfortunately, I don't have them with me here. Are all yours are just 19.95. Again, this was part of Gemma's challenge today. If you didn't see it or if you've rushed in to get it, we've only got, we literally have two of these left and they are over allocated. So we know you want them. You have to check out your baskets for these. Don't forget that the prices always go up back up the next day here at Jewelry Maker. Um, with very few exceptions, the prices will go up back up again the next day. A H and V45 is your item code. You've got 50 carats of Chrysler Cola in your plane rounds, uh, but now is definitely the time. They're beautiful, aren't they? They were part of Gemma's challenge. If you didn't see it, go onto our Facebook page. I, I put it on my Facebook page. Gemma put it on hers, and we also put it on uh, jurymaker.com. You can also have a look on our Instagram page. Now, 
Paul's livid that he's, um, he's missed so many of my references. Fossilised fairy wings and wishes for the moonstone. He gets so angry, such a scientist. Which one now, darling? We've done... Do you know what? Let's just talk for five minutes then. No, we've done everything. You want to hear a Jenny story? Um, okay, so I, I accidentally... Right, so me and my daughter went skiing this week for the first ever time. <coughs> now, we're going to put Gem Gemma's project uh, wire on the, while I talk. Um, so we accidentally got on the wrong... We are, we are so bad that my daughter... Let me tell you what I did on the first day. I was being taught, and the guy that was teaching us, Lupo, was getting quite angry and saying, no, you, um, you must listen because your insurance and all of this lot. And, and me and Mia got the giggles. The angrier he got, the more I was like... <laughs> But I couldn't stop it, and I knew I had to listen to him for the safety of... He was saying, for everyone's safety, please listen to me. So I was going down the ski slope, and I thought, okay, I've got this, I've got this. I was getting faster and faster, and I was like, yes, yes. Then I looked up, and I thought, no, I can't stop. I went straight through the fence that... Um, that was the cue for the lift, for the ski lift. And my skis went underneath it, and I basically was going, ah, ah, like this. So that was quite funny. Then my daughter fell off the ski lift. That was also really funny. Then we accidentally got the wrong ski lift to a black run. My daughter got taken off by snow patrol because it was clear she was a... It literally went like this. It literally went like this. And there's, like, these eight-year-old kids going down it like this. Uh, my daughter went down it and just started snowballing, so the snow patrol took her, held on to her and took her down. They left me at the top. Now, I have never been so frightened in my whole life, so I snow ploughed down, stopped, snow, and I was crying all the way down. It was horrendous. There were tears, but I got to the end of it, and it was so much fun. What else did we do? We, did some re we got ourselves into some very funny scrapes. What else did I... Oh, just so... Then when I en we ended up in karaoke bar doing duets all night. Oh, it was just hilarious. We loved it. We were terrible at skiing. Absolutely terrible. Till the last day. Then we... After we'd done that accidental black run thing, we were fine. Because nothing's as scary as that. I've never been so frightened in my life. Um, but that's, that's about all the stories I've got for you, I think. I think that is all the stories I've got for you. But please don't forget... Have you got a picture of Mel Green's pieces? Because we had that earlier. Mel Green's DVD is about to launch. Now, on Sunday, I've got a chakra bracelet show. We are going to be allowed to talk about the spiritual connections of gemstones and chakra bracelets. Now, I am mega into this kind of thing, and I think it'd be a really nice gift for somebody, particularly if, if you're making for Mother's Day. So please tune in. Thank you. Look how cool these are. Please tune in. I just wanted to show you Mel Green's amazing needle felting projects, which you are going to learn how to do if you get Mel's DVD. It's launching this evening with Rebecca Redican. Aren't these sensational? This is, we did film this together, um, but this is just a small selection of the things that you can create because there is so much more. There's a sunset, like an African sunset with a gorgeous tree in the middle. So Mel is coming up with Rebecca Redican just now. Don't forget, if you spend £20 today, you are going to be getting a free gift, and that's all in one day. So it doesn't have to be on one item, just as long as your basket price uh, totals £20. Now, I'll see you on Sunday. Thank you so much for shopping with us here at Jewelry Maker. Do not go anywhere. Rebecca and Mel with that fabulous DVD coming up next. <laughs> Don't want to miss a Jewellery Maker show? Then download our app for Android and Apple devices by searching Jewellery Maker in your relevant app store. Stay with Jewellery Maker wherever you go. Don't miss out on our amazing deals, inspiration, demonstrations and of course all the fun. Create, wear, share on the go with Jewellery Maker.
Are you new to Jewelry Maker? Shop with us for the first time and you'll receive a free gift. The free gift includes two beautiful gemstone strands in an organza bag, plus a DVD ideal for jewelry making newbies, featuring tutorials essential for getting started and so much more. As long as you qualify as a new customer and haven't shopped with us before, then your free gift will automatically be added to your order when you make your first purchase with us. It's really that simple. Gemstone strands are selected at random, so gemstone size, shape and colour will vary for each new customer. Why stop there? Once you receive your new free gift, we'd love to see what you create. Share your designs with us via our Facebook page and join our creative community of jewellery makers. Start your jewellery making journey with us today. Create. Wear. Share. Now this coming Saturday the 15th of February, please do join me on the morning show because we have got the fantastic Fleur Hastings. Now Fleur has been given uh, an exceptional saw bundle deal. Now if you've never worked with a saw, this is the German saw, we've got all the replacement blades. So if you run out of blades and you've got the saw, fantastic. Or if you need to start cutting into your copper sheets and so forth, we've got all that for you. Now previously we had a fantastic workers craft bench, a jewellery making, wooden, beautiful workbench that sold out like that. Now for those of you that possibly couldn't afford that workbench or need something a little bit smaller for the space that you've got, we have a brand new starters, crafters, jewellers, card making, whatever you want to call it, workbench for you this coming Saturday. Now we've got 50 so you're going to need to be quick if you fancy it. It is a beautiful piece of furniture. Also, we have got some multicolored, rainbow, gorgeous looking hematite as our deal of the day. So you need to tune in at 11 a.m. this Saturday for that as well. Now, I don't know what you've done to deserve this, but you've also got me Sunday morning as well, and I will be joined by the fantastically talented Alison Tarry. Now, I hear you ask, what does Alison Tarry have for you? Well, we have the incredible Naughty Do It All tool and the travel size Naughty Do It All tool as well, and it is superb. It's the Sandra Younger tool. I was lucky enough to meet Sandra Younger, and this tool is phenomenal for your pearl knotting and lots, lots more. We also have one of Alison's favorite tools, the Whammer. Sounds interesting, doesn't it? So you need to tune in to look at that. And we have something brand new for you. We have got this incredible Beadalon tooling station. Now you think how many sets of pliers you've got. You've seen when our guest desires come in with their gang of pliers and tools. This is a tidy workstation for all of your tools for jewelry making. It is brilliant. It's going to make it quicker for you to make jewelry as well. Now our deal of the day is another of Alison and I's favourite. It is the endless loom that we have. If you love making stretchy bracelets and you want to take it to the next stage, this is the tool for you. Alison and I will rave about it. It is brilliant. That's our deal of the day at 11 a.m. So it's going to be an exceptional weekend. Please do join me on Saturday and Sunday morning. Did you know that when you book a jewellery maker workshop, you're given exclusive access to our jewellery maker shop? You can browse through special items and offers, be privy to selected discounts and deals that you can't get at any other time. Shop whilst you learn and grab yourself some amazing offers. For more information on workshops and available dates, contact our call centre. Love Jewelry Maker but don't have an account? You can now purchase items on the Jewelry Maker website through our guest checkout. To do so, select the products you wish to purchase and head over to the shopping basket. Simply enter your email address and select Continue as Guest below. After this, the checkout process is simple. Select your quantity and delivery option and then check out securely. Enter your billing details in either a credit card or PayPal account and proceed to payment. From here, you still have the option to create an account if you wish, making shopping online easier for you. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. A 
Jewelry Maker, we are always looking at ways to provide you with a fantastic shopping experience. With this in mind, we'd like to welcome you to our new pre-order option. Selected items throughout the day will be put on display and made available for pre-order. When the presenter informs you that the pre-order service is available on an item, this is your chance to pop it into your online basket or speak to one of our brilliant call centre team members and be one of the first to secure your purchase. Good evening! Welcome to you. How on earth are you today? It's Friday. Yes! The weekend is here. We have got a real Friday fun day for you this evening, in particularly as I have got some extra special launches. Brand spanking new for you tonight, a DVD launched, made and created by the wonderful lady beside me it is the one, the only Mel Green. Hi. Hi Mel, how are you? Really good, thank you. Be honest, it's your first DVD? Yes. Yes. How are you feeling? <laughs> nervous. <laughs> oh, don't be nervous. Are you excited? I'm very excited, yes. Can I ask you, are you going to be buying some? Yes. Are you going to be gifting some? Yes. Oh, that's so <laughs> lovely, isn't it? That's just so wonderful. We have got this launching for you tonight. This is brand new, never before seen. These creatures, these figures are absolutely one-off, unique and individual. We are going to give you everything you need to replicate these tonight, as well as the pendants which you also get to learn on the DVD. Pick out your favourite one because there are so many here. You have had a lot of fun with these. I've told you already I'm obsessed with the giraffe. Yes. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know that giraffe's my favourite animal. You have just given such an incredible sense there of, you know, the not only the animal itself but actually the surroundings as well. You can learn how to put your own spin on these. Yes, I've got the pendants for you. Yes, I've got the DVD. DVD and another launch <laughs> is you get to meet and make and create with the wonderful Mel. We are giving away a workshop tonight. Now this is a workshop unlike anything else I've ever 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 seen. I'm wearing one of the pieces that you're going to be sort of learning, let's say, in the um, in the workshop. The workshop won't just teach you how to make.